How's it going, chat? <laughs> you couldn't hear Hello, me for a second. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome Allie. on in to the Offensive Charm Podcast, everyone. How are you doing this evening? Hope it's well. Uh, I am Alex. The most just call me Jazz. I am the charm. Over there is my adorable little sister, Rosa. She is definitely the offensive. Hi. <laughs> And the special guest this evening is the one, the only, Mizuhana uh, Oshibe, was it? Yeah, Oshibe's fine. <laughs> Most people just say yes. Mizu and they don't even bother. <laughs> yes, M Momo. Mizuhana Oshibe from the Under I the tried. Tea crew, the final of the three to feature here on the uh, on the, yep. on the, on the events of Charm podcast. We collected them all. We, we got all three. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. Mizu, talk for a second. Hi. Just talk for a second. Yeah, what's up? How we Dude, doing? A little bit of, it's a bit of crackling on your mic. I don't know if that's just me. Again? It's well, it's different this time. It's just it's like crackling. It's not like uh like buzzing. Hmm. It's weird. It, it's it's not super like obnoxious or anything. Okay. Either I mean, your guest is eating, like or they're muted. You mean Mizu? Mizu's uh moving their mouth a lot. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm maybe his. Sort his mouth He's just tracking is struggling. It's fine. It is. It, his. It's you're fine. like a, you're like a femboy or something, right? It's part of being a VTuber. Isn't that your thing? You're like a femboy or some shit? Oh yeah. Okay. Lisa, yeah, would, would you like to tell Chad who you are and what you do? <laughs> yeah. Aside that. from uh, being the, the third of the Under the Tea uh, podcast. Be fair, I'm the first. It was my also, idea. <laughs> <laughs> True. Wait, didn't, didn't didn't you guys actually have like a company name or something? Uh, they invited me to their VTuber group, which is Juniper Inc. Juniper Inc. Yes, that's the one. <laughs> oh, it's me. Tell us more. Tell us more. Yes. Uh, please do. Juniper Inc. doesn't have much to it yet. No, because the man. You. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta have, you gotta be clear and clarify. Uh, no. So. I, first off, Under the Tea was my idea. I'm the first of Under the Tea. Just okay, okay. So we're all clear. We went in reverse mm -hmm. order, chat. Yeah. We had to I'm move the way offensive off. one <laughs> on Under the Tea. Yeah, you can ask, where it's due. You can ask anybody on Under the Tea. I'm the one that everybody hates. I, I don't know <laughs> anybody who has gotten kicked off Twitter more than you have, like, personally. Not even Dev? <laughs> I'm on, like, no, seven No, not even Dev. Dev's close to that. Wow. I should clarify, mm -hmm. the Mizu account is on, like, seven bands. <laughs> Wait, so you've gotten the same account back over and over again? Yeah. Okay, that's what- that's unique. <laughs> They've never <laughs> given me a reason for why I'm banned. <laughs> but, like, they just keep banning me over and over again. They must think you're a bot. That's they won't even, like- I can't I get my appeals, account back. <laughs> when I put in appeals, they won't even like send me a denial message most of the time. <laughs> and then one day, it'll I'll just put in an appeal and it'll just come back up like nothing happened. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> they just yeah, really I really hate me. I lost my main account and hmm. uh, I tried appealing it and they were like, no. And I was like, can you can you double check? Do you have a person check? And they're like, we did. No. And it's like, but why? No, it's like, no. well, here's your re here's the reason. You told people to, to that you were going to kill them. It's just like, well, they called me flat. And they were also my mm -hmm. friends, so that was obviously a joke. That was also a fucking year ago. Why does it matter now? And then they ignored me. Mm -hmm. Well, what is the, the way of the world, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> it seems so. It is what it is. Um, it is what it is. We, we, we didn't really tell Mizu how our podcast uh, like is structured. So, uh, the way we typically start things here is that we'll go ahead and go between us, see what we've been watching, playing, reading, you know, any anything of that sort, we, what we've been up to over the past couple of weeks, essentially. Uh, after that, we will get into the news, and my, is there a lot of news to get into. I'm sure you're all very well aware at this point, but uh, yeah, there, there's been quite a lot going on. Uh, and of course, aside from all that, we've also got the Q&A section. That'll be at the very end of the show. And if you'd like to ask us ask us some questions you want answered, uh, you will find it right up there in the in the chat window. You'll see his little, little question thing. So go ahead and type your questions there, and, uh, and we'll get to that at the end. Uh, you can put them in like any point during the show. 
So feel free, please do. We'd love to uh, give you guys whatever, tell you guys whatever you oh. want to hear. <laughs> what was that? Mizu has the, the water dropping boobies though. Oh yeah, Ruby is dead. Ruby is oh, not dead. Ones. That's not true. <laughs> I guess that is. is <laughs> yeah, that's not. Nah, Ruby is dead. Can... She sewer slided herself after her sister came out as gay. <laughs> She did. That's canon. Uh, you know, I guess you're right. That uh, technically, those I don't think those events are directly linked, but they did happen in that order. So that is I, true. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that is very true. That's the best part about Ruby. Oh fuck! Oh no. But uh, in anyway. celebration of Rooster Teeth shutting oh. down, I posted a homophobic Ruby edit to our Twitter. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> Those memes are so fucking funny. But, um, just to get through our weeks, uh, I'm gonna go first this time. I don't normally go mm -hmm. first, but I, I want to go first, because I've actually done a lot of Go for it. All right. We have. In fact, right. we've done a, a so, bit of, of, of something together that we could, we could talk about. I don't like the way you said that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, that's... Hmm, but, not, uh, not quite what I meant. Anywho. But yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. man, so... In the last two weeks, right, since the last episode, uh, mm -hmm. I finished the D&D campaign that uh, I was in, uh, where uh, Yuna from Dual Leveling was hosting. Um, so we finished that, right? Uh, we we started playing uh, fucking uh, the Dark Souls 2, con Dark Souls 3. Dark Souls 2 is forever in my brain, constantly, 24-7. The Dark Souls 3 converted to mod, and that's been so fucking super fun. Um, which I think you can talk more about that later. Um, yes, yes. Let's see, let's see what else, what else, what else, what else, what else. Uh, mm -hmm. I got through all of my Sekiro playthrough. The Thanks. entirety of it. Uh, entire playthrough that I had to do, uh, I got done with in the last couple of weeks. We just finished it this morning, as a matter of fact. Uh, so that's fucking fun. Uh, I wore fucking Lifesaver's gummy... Uh, rings on my toes. That yeah, was a new happen, experience. Yes. Uh, it sounds like a fetish. It's somebody's fetish. Uh, and I think that's about it for me. Uh, I'm trying to think of. Oh, uh, mm -hmm. since since the uh since last the last couple of weeks, I did also finish Warrior, which I remember I was talking about uh before. Oh and, uh, yeah 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 the the show. Man, let me tell you guys. The ending mm -hmm. doesn't feel like an ending. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I spoke about it with uh, Helmsman a bit afterwards, and apparently, so what ended up happening was is that basically uh, HBO sold the so uh, sold the show to Netflix, uh, and that, that's why it's currently oh, airing on both huh. sites. Uh, even though oh, it is an okay, HBO original, sense. it is actually on Netflix, which is where I watched it. Hmm. And I didn't realize that till after. I was like, oh yeah, that does say HBO on it. Um. Uh, hmm. And I, uh, I guess why. it seems like Netflix is uh, testing the waters to see if people like it before they uh, invest hmm, in making okay. more of it. So, uh, you mean please, they cancel it in a week. go watch it. Go watch it. Go watch Warrior. It's really, really good. It's <laughs> so do, good. I do need to, it's so good. I do need to go back and finish it. I will, I will probably be I doing have never that. Had, I will definitely I have never had so many <laughs> slurs inserted into my vocabulary within such a short span of time. <laughs> Oh, for God's sake. It's magnificent. Yeah, one, uh, one of these days, I need to make some time to to go back and watch uh, mm -hmm. the rest of Warrior, because I, cause I only ever got, like, back in six or seven or so episodes in. But that game, that was really great. Like, of, of what I watched of it, very good. Very good. Mm -hmm. Lots of fun action, you know, political intrigue and all that good stuff. Yeah. yeah. It's very Actors interesting. Actors Real, just acting the fuck out of it, you know, just, just good stuff. Dude's ripping out each other's like throats and shit. Yeah, that that was a pretty that was a pretty great fight scene in the saloon. Blood, yeah. murder, stabbing. That, that shit was solid. So much cool stuff. There's women. There's boobies. Okay. Oh yeah, HBO, right? So <laughs> previously HBO. I apologize. You had me at boobies. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good. Good. But yeah, it's, it's, it's just a good show. You should definitely go check it out. Uh, I can't think of anything else to really add. I mean, if anyone's played Sekiro, Sekiro is Sekiro. It's not, I didn't do anything special with it. I just kind of ran through the game uh, as a chat requested. And uh, 
Wait, did you actually finish, finish it night? today? Last or last night? Well, this, this morning. morning. I finished this morning, like seven <laughs> yeah. in the morning. Damn. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I was at. I think where I left off was right before the big gorilla fight. Like the the dude that like brings his head back on. I was just like, you can't just call people that anymore. Fucking watch me. Ah. <laughs> Twenty twenty four. We uh, don't use that word anymore. How much? Uh, how, how, how much of Sekiro did you play, it, Jazz? Have you played Sekiro? Uh, yeah. Okay, okay, so, so I didn't just... finish it. You Not didn't finish a whole, it whole lot. No. How far did you guys get? I, I, I do want to get back and finish it some point. I remember there was like this area with a like gigantic fucking snake, like massive, massive That's fucking like snake, and I think that game. was the last. Yeah. Did you kill it? To... <laughs> I think I did. Yeah. If I if I remember correctly. I was I past it. the snake. I played it back when it first came out. This is a while ago. Okay. It was so... a while ago. Do you remember Yobu days. Masataka Oniwa? Yes. Do you yes, remember Genichiro shooting lightning down at you? Maybe? No. Deflecting lightning. No, no, I don't think I no, maybe I didn't fight that guy. That doesn't sound familiar. Okay. Do you remember like a big like fighting like a big bull? A big bull? Yeah, a big bull like running around. Like a kind of enclosed space. Mm, that doesn't sound familiar to me. Yes. Question mark. <laughs> okay, so uh, where I left off was past where both of you apparently have played the game. Um. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, so uh, I, I I left off. I think like right before the fight with this is big gorilla that you fight. That after you kill him, it's like oh you did it, you beat him, and like it leaves you in like this pose like in front of the boss, like because you you jump mm -hmm. up on him and then you cuff his head, right? And his head, like, his body lands on the ground, his head lands between you and him, and you're, like, facing away from him. It's, like, perfect for a screenshot. And it's just like, ah, like, mm. you, you killed him. And it gives you, like, the, you know, like, like you get, like, like the, like, boss defeated thing in, like, every Souls game. It gives you, like, the, mm. the, the Sekiro version of that. And then a few seconds later, he gets up, grabs his head, holds it up to his oh, face, that, and screams the out thing. through it. Yeah. Yes. So, uh... Yeah, yeah, the big, the big ape. I remember that thing. I killed yeah. him! I, I watched that's, you fight that's, it. Yeah, that, that's pretty much where I left off, at, like, right before that, uh, that fight. Uh, killed him, killed the snake. I just kind of ran, just ran through the game. We got to the, uh, the first point where I could have ended the game, uh, with, uh, like, right before the owl fight. You could choose to side with owl. Uh. Always side with the owl. And, uh, mm -hmm. chat, chat told me not to. I had chat oh, vote. chat lied to you. I, I, well, to be <laughs> fair, owl fight's probably the coolest fight in the game. But, uh, I, 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 I told chat, I was like, hey, I could end the game right now if we just, you know, side with Owl. Or, if you'd like, we could not, like, I could save Scum, right? Save Scum before the choice, fight Owl just for the fun of it, because I really wanted to see me fight him. And then I could, you know, reload and then end it. And we can move on. Or I could just run through the rest of the game. And they all, like, they've, I think, like, 40% of people voted for just run through the rest of the game, so I did that. And I didn't think I'd be done in that night, but I did, I was. I just kind of zoomed through it. Um, it's just a good game. I, I always, like, my my one complaint with that game has always been there isn't a DLC. There, there isn't more of it. I just want more of it. <laughs> That's my only complaint with that game. Um, thought, but yeah, uh, it's just a solid uh, rhythm game. Well, excuse me. I thought, um, I thought Sekiro was one of, like, your least, like, Souls games. I mean, yeah, because it has no fucking replayability. <laughs> also, because I can't make my own character, which is, like, a big negative to me. Uh, but the game itself is fun. It's really fun. It, it feels really, like, satisfying to play. The combat is generally really good. Um, mm. But I, it's, it's it's satisfying in the way that, like, a rhythm game is satisfying. Like, it, the game is literally a rhythm game. Um, but yeah, I mean, th I did that. And, uh, and, and Uno cool, and Bon cool. paid me to put a fucking, uh, <laughs> I put out a fucking teaser uh, for... Mm. Well, first I put it on a poll. I asked people if they wanted a fucking teaser for Ginny Jin. Uh, or if they wanted uh, a picture of <laughs> my feet with the fucking Lifesaver's Gummies toe rings, because the idea happened during the first Sekiro stream. <laughs> and we talked, we like joked about it. Uh, mm. And the Ginny Jin tease won. We actually had, that's on YouTube. Uh, but uh, Un Unwan Bon asked if, uh, if if we could put the loser on the funding list and so we did and then he funded it and so there's a picture of my feet with fucking lifesavers gummies on twitter 
<laughs> well, I hate my community for color. <laughs> I hate it here. Rose is still uh, so it. much of a gamer girl, even when she <clears throat> is uh, in this hot topic light. I want. I like character creation. It's fun. <laughs> Fuck you. I love. Uh, I wanna. I want character creation. All right. It's. It's. it's I fucking knew it. The, if you the, can't sorry, spend just, 20 hours in the character look, creator, are you look, really playing a game? Look, I, I remember really early on, it's like the Destiny cycle, one of the devs said something that like really kind of rung with me, right? And he was talking about his philosophy for like designing like, uh, like not just like the story, but like a bunch of the stuff for like, for like Destiny, right? And like the epicness of Destiny and like building your character and stuff like that. And he was saying how like, when he, when he plays Destiny, he thinks about like his time working on Halo. And the way that he kind of tries mm -hmm. to put himself into the perspective of whenever he's trying to make content for Destiny is he, he gets himself into the mindset of, yeah, Master Chief is cool, but, like, my Guardian's way cooler, right? <laughs> and so that's kind of the mentality he gets himself into to, like, make stuff for, like, for Destiny. Way back then. This was back when the game was good. Um, Before they all and, looked gay. And that's, that's kind of like, I'm like, yes, like, that's exactly how you cater to me. You just, you just let me make my character, let me make my character cool, and then you have my attention and my money and uh, my hours of gameplay. And don't yeah. let Sweet Baby touch it. <coughs> never. That never. Too. Rosa plays Sims. I do, actually, I do not play Sims. Sims are boring, all right? Sims are fucking boring. I'm sorry. No, Sims was great back in Sims 2. The only Sims game Jazz I've ever Master enjoyed... Chief. The only Sims game I've ever enjoyed is the the fucking. We're all uh, Master Chief. I think it was like Sims Pets for like the GameCube. Wasn't that Nintendo Dogs? No, 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 no. It was Sims. No, but, 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 but oh, you can okay. have dogs and cats. Oh, you can have that okay. in regular Sims. Maybe it was like a game that was like more focused yeah, on the like, pets it was, it was and like shit. Yeah, it was like focused on it. Yeah. Yeah. This is like way, way back, back in GameCube era. It was cool. Back when games were good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, right. that, that's, that's so, basically so, so. my week. Um, I, I scratched another one off of the funding list. Uh, Q. So. Cool. All right. Well, uh, I mean, I suppose I can go next real quick. I, uh, in these last couple of weeks, I decided to join my brothers and sisters in the fight for democracy. <laughs> <laughs> and I jumped in on some fucking Helldivers too. And hey, guess what? That game's fucking incredible. That game's fucking awesome. It's a game's really, really good. <laughs> As uh, I'm sure Mizu here can attest because Mizu joined in for one of those sessions. Yes, we played uh, together. It was, it was quite a time. Yeah, we had a great a time. Uh, Lumi Lo 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 killed all of us several times. It was, it was, it was good. Half so a that, dozen. That is a very Lumi yeah. thing to do. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, for those who don't know, which I can't imagine is anyone here, I, I, I know literally everyone's been playing this fucking game, except for Rosa, because she has like motion sickness issues. But, um. I honestly watched the game, the game. I'm not really interested either. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so so the game the is straight up the. I believe in her Majesty. <laughs> All right, the game is a straight up unofficial Starship Troopers video game, essentially, pretty much, right? Because you, except instead of fighting just bugs, you also got the robots, and they're like on opposite sides of the galaxy that you're fighting in but uh your job as a hell diver is to defend super earth just defend the whole fucking planet and you're proud as fuck to do it because you believe in democracy and freedom and liberty <laughs> and it's just all in on like this hyper uh it, it's it, it, you can't really say nationalist it's more like a globalist thing i guess because again it's like the whole planet it's fucking super earth the entire planet is working together to, to fucking fight the rest of the universe, I guess. But um, the game is just really good. Uh, plays incredibly smoothly. Uh, the the online play is also really smooth. Very good. Uh, a lot of little, pretty pretty solid weapon variety. Uh, though honestly, as far as like your player character, your your human sized being, you're not 
super duper focused on what you can do as a single person. It's more about what you can call in with your fucking bombardments and like your fire bombing and 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 like machine gun runs and all kinds of crazy shit uh, that you can you can unlock as you uh, as you level up throughout the campaign. Uh, but you can yeah you can call in like firebomb runs and or just normal giant ass like nuke runs. You can call in turrets to put get put in the ground and like just mow down whole armies of bugs or robots depending on what you're fighting. Uh, it's just it's just a really fun good time. Though I will say that game is fucked difficult when you're playing solo. <laughs> playing solo is not the best time. It, it feels like it's definitely built to have like two at least two. But definitely most fun with four uh, people rolling with you. Now I feel challenged. I'm going to go play that game solo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Also, I mean, it's, I, I'd say do it. It is It is nice because it is only $40. Like, this, this, is, this is a fucking, like, complete ass I forget that. video game as video game for, for only 40 bucks. You just sold so it. It's a, pretty, it's a pretty solid deal. Yeah, it's a pretty solid deal. Uh, I mean... I mean, I, I know you I know you just said you want to play it solo, but if you do get it, we, you know, we have to play together at some point. We gotta. Nope. We gotta. We, we gotta. Nope. We gotta. You gotta play with me. No. We nope. Fight d democracy together. Come on. Nope. <laughs> Come on. Ah, uh, well, well, at any rate. Uh, yeah, I mean, just I've, I've had been having a lot of fun with it. Can't wait to play. Can't, can't wait to play some more of it. Uh, maybe Mizu, you and Lumi and uh, Oko will be up for more at some point. I would have fun with that. I would enjoy that. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. And apparently they are, I think they already put the update out or they're going to very soon. But they're adding in fucking mech suits a la. Uh, That's already out. Uh, yeah, like a la Titanfall. We got some mech suits in there. Although they're way dumpier looking than, than Titanfall. They're basically cubes on robo legs <laughs> with, with some machine guns attached. But like, it's it's kind of it's kind of charming in a weird way. They're so fucking stupid looking. <laughs> And they got some, uh, they got some like jeeps and shit in there. You got like some actual like cars in there too. Because like when you go down to do uh, a mission, it's like a, it's a fairly large area that you're in. It's like a, it's like a few, like a couple miles across or so. Like well, you see, it's, it's a, a battlefield. A... Yes, yes, it is. It's like, <sighs> you, you ever played the Dynasty Warriors games? Dynasty Warriors. No? Dynasty Warriors, yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. Like Samurai Warriors, any, any, anything in that like you know fucking Muso vein, right? I so think the of a map one. in one of. <laughs> okay, there you go. Think of a map in like one of those games, and that's yeah. it's comparable in size, I would say. Okay. Maybe like a little bit bigger, but com comparable. Uh, yeah, and like you usually just go down into one of these areas, you do your missions, which might include uh, you know, blowing up enemy positions or, or rescuing hostages or you know shit like that. Oh, there is a there is one mission where you have to launch a like a whole ass ICBM. And I will say that like they really went in on the realism on this one. Cause when that thing goes off, when it fucking explodes in the distance. The explosion is so bright that it actually hurts to look at. <laughs> like even though you're looking at a screen in a fucking video game, it's still it's it's like that bright. It hurts to look at it for too long, <laughs> which I thought was pretty funny. I but, sense um, weakness. Oh, I stare at the sun for fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you? Yeah. How your I, eyes doing? Pretty good. I can't see without glasses. <laughs> mm, I see. Well, there you go. <laughs> Uh, right, bring in the dreadnoughts. They're more like the dreadnoughts of 40k. Oh yeah, that's um, yeah, I guess that's true. Um, because there's the thing like uh, you're launching from like a like a spaceship, like a like a fucking fleet kind of spaceship in space. And the cool thing is that when you go to a planet that other players are playing on, you'll also see their ships in orbit and whatnot. And uh, if you if you're in if you're playing a, the extreme mode, which I had to play because my friends are assholes and they threw me into the deep end as soon as I started playing the game. You're but um, when you're when you're playing on extreme, uh, there's every chance that like uh, another team will just get completely wiped out while they're on the surface. And if you were on your ship when that happens, you will see their ship get fucking annihilated. Like it, it just explodes in space. So it's it's like it's 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 crazy how like interconnected all the all the players are in this game and how they like show you that inside the game itself. It's 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 super wild. That's it's cool. really cool though. Yeah. Uh, so there's that, Going and that game's tonight. really cool. Uh, From the moment I understood yeah. the weakness of my flesh, I acquired glasses. <laughs> <laughs> the weakness of my, your eyes, you mean? <laughs> weakness of my eyes. It disgusted sure. me. 
<laughs> wanted to like like I, I imagine Rose absolutely would if she lived in the cyberpunk universe just get those bitches taken out and get the cyber eyes put in. Oh dude, yeah. I mean Shit. I would too. Bro, I, mean, I, I would have, I would replace so much of my body, Are you kidding me? Dude, I have so much, like, I have so, like, I have these skin conditions and, like, all sorts of shit. I got allergies to, like, everything. Bro, I would chrome the oh, fuck man. up so fast. I'd be You're... like, bro, I never have to be itchy again. <laughs> you kidding me? Let's go. I guess, guess what, chat? There's a, there's a hidden, uh, Cyper Psycho boss in the, in, in the DLC. Looks, looks oddly like Rosa, oddly and strangely enough. You, you, hmm, weird coincidence, that. <laughs> Just, just immediately, like, just throwing all the robo shit on. Cyberpunk goes up using mutant no blockers 24-7? Nah, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, you're, well, you're, you're cycling uh... for sure. You are not built different. <laughs> fucking, fucking, what's his face? Thought he was built different, too, and, you know, you see, we know how that ended. Well, uh, you see, Cap, what's his name in here's, the, in the, here's in the my show? secret. I've, what's what's I've, Edge Runner's boy's name? I've been a psycho all along. <laughs> I'm always psycho. I can't remember his name. I always forget his name. God damn it. I think Cyrus Psycho Rosa would be more sane than me. Rosa with a psychedelic rocket hammer? That would be kind of Wait, are there rocket hammers in fucking uh Yeah. Uh Cyberpunk? Fuck. Yeah. I need to go back and I need to go play again. I did one goddamn stream of it and I haven't been able to circle back to it because shit keeps coming out and I keep getting distracted. Can you go block or stop allergies? I'll take them. I'll take all of them. Do they also put you to the fucking bed like Benadryl? Mm -mm -mm. Benadryl doesn't work for me anymore. Ooh, that's rough. That was rough, buddy. Yeah, uh, Helldivers, good time. Uh, I also started playing Lies of P, which is the uh, Twink Souls. I think, I think it's. I think it's a yeah. It's like it's like a Korean studio. I think. Do you just call it Twink Souls? That's what twink people souls. call it. They call it Twink <laughs> I mean, Souls. To be to be fair, to be fair. The, the the player character who is unnamed but is probably Pinocchio is absolutely just all twinked out. Just, you know, he's got the little boyish face. He's very lean in 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 frame. You know, you can put the little frilly shirt on him and shit. Like he, he's absolutely it's it's twinked out for sure. Um, got all you know, the I know you in all the right places. <laughs> Christ. So Rosa, I know you took a crack at Liza P a while back, and I uh, the demo. and we're not impressed. I didn't like it, no. And I know you weren't you weren't a huge fan. Uh, I'm I'm digging it, honestly. I'm liking it. Uh, I do notice that the, the combat system is very, uh, very parry coded, right? It's, it's 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 got a lot of emphasis on actually getting your parries in and whatnot, and I think that's pretty cool. Like it it it, it felt bad when I couldn't parries get my timing are right. Uh. Well, I mean, Perry's Perry. in the same way that, like, yeah, it's, it's, it's in the same way that, like, uh, Sekiro is, where, like, you're trying to perfect time your block to do, like, a... I didn't get that Like, the empowered block that is kind of a... Uh, well, I mean, like, again, like, it's... It's very similar to that, right? So when when an enemy tries to hit you, if you if you block with perfect timing, you get like the cool like like better block noise that yeah. means like oh you're break you're like you can't see the the parry meter that like like you can in Sekiro, but it is there. And like when a, when an enemy's life bar flashes white, you can do like a strong attack and and cripple them and like do the you know the cripple attack and all that shit. Yeah. Um. So kind of you know similar to to um. Actually, is that a thing in Elden Ring too? Can you like perfect block in Elden Ring? I you can do no. the thing where you can do like a, I think you can like just hold your shield up and like when somebody hits it, you can do the the counter attack thing that usually cripples people pretty quickly and easily. So sort of like that, but it's definitely more skill based in Liza P because you you just have to do the the perfect timing, which is pretty tight. It is it is pretty tight timing for the for the perfect block. But um, but I mean it, it is very satisfying when you actually get it right, and especially if you get it right several times in a row when you're doing uh, boss fights and whatnot, and you start. You know, I recognize the patterns and shit. Um, I very much appreciate how the weapon system works in this game. And the thing where you can, uh, like, change around the the hilts and the blades of different weapons that you get. So, hmm. you, you let's say you get, like, a fire axe, right? And then you also find, like, a spear. You can change your... You can switch it so that the, the fire axe's head, like, the actual blade of it, is on the, the length of the spear. And you're swinging around, like, a, uh, a fire axe head on the the spear body and it'll have uh you, you turn into a form yeah pretty much so would, would it work so, so like there's different attributes uh that are tied to the different parts of the weapon so like the like the actual damage like like damage type 
and shit is usually tied to the blade of the weapon while the move set and the like the special attacks are usually tied to the hilt uh so like you know mixing mixing and matching with different shit that you get uh, as you go through the story and, and find new weapons and whatnot it's, it's pretty interesting it makes for a very interesting uh gimmick in that regard so I, I i dig that and i've been trying out a lot of different combination of things like some work some don't uh it, but it's, it's just like the fact that you can you know just mess around with it a whole bunch it's it's, it's fun to experiment with that sort of thing hmm. um yeah uh, aside from that like you know the the, air, the areas are pretty fun the the bosses have been interesting to fight uh, I mean, there's not a whole lot I can say about like the entire game just yet. Cause I'm still, I'm, I, I don't know if I'm like halfway through by now. Uh, I've gotten to a point where like a, a big cutscene played because I killed like a, the first wave of bosses. Like, oh, now we can get to the real game. Essentially, it's like it's like a guy yeah. in a cutscene. Like that's that's paraphrasing, but essentially that's what he says. Like, okay, okay, now we're getting into the 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 meat of this. Where we're seeing what the actual deal is. Because the the initial setup is that uh this city is uh built up by geppetto right it's like it's literally yeah. just geppetto like that's his name it's uh, atomic and he's... heart <laughs> is it i never played atomic heart <laughs> all the robots go crazy and you start killing people okay I, hmm, let me just look back for that game since i heard it was all right um but yeah you essentially that that's what happens he i did you did you got me that game for my birthday a, a, atomic heart i did yeah hmm, i don't remember wow that was antagonist a while ago. talks too much but the game is fun Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I might have to look into it. Um, but yeah, essentially the deal is um the, these guys found this weird uh like space uh fucking mineral material called Ergo, which is essentially like the souls of the game. Like when you like kill stuff, you get Ergo and you level up with Ergo and you buy shit with Ergo, etc. Et um oh, yeah. and that's what's in all the puppets. And uh, all of a sudden, while everybody's just, you know, going about their business, living their lives, whatever, the puppets all go fucking nuts all at once, start killing everybody, burning the whole city down, etc. And now it's your job as the, the one not crazy puppet, Pinocchio, who's also, you know, extremely, extremely uh, human Twink. looking. Yeah, like what, what I mean is like in regards to like the, all the other puppets, which absolutely just look like, you know, Tinker Toy ass puppets. Yeah, they look like robots. But you as as Pinocchio look like you got like human skin on you and shit. I don't know how they made him. I, I, I imagine it involved some some fucking horrific, uh, you know, crimes, some scientific crimes might have been involved in making this puppet for how human he looks. I'm just saying. Um, but yeah, and so your job is just to go, you know, fig get to the bottom of what the fuck's going on. Uh, and there's also like a lying mechanic where you can like interact with certain NPCs and lie to them like because like obviously everybody's fucking super upset at the puppets and like distrusting of them but you look human right so you can lie and tell somebody that you are human and not that you're a puppet like some NPCs uh, somehow already know that you are but yeah, every once in a while you get to do it and I it's, it's like implying that there might be some morality system involved there I haven't actually seen any payoff of that just yet but I'm assuming maybe it'll be like one of like uh, like potential endings of the game. I'm assuming the game has more than one ending, and I imagine that's probably tied in with that. But I'll you know more on that as I go uh, go further in and see what's going on there. Hmm. But yeah, I'm having a good time with it. I like the gameplay. Uh, it's it's definitely a little heavier than like Sekiro or like or especially Bloodborne. Like Bloodborne's the more direct comparison, right? Because of the environment and everything. Um, but I would say it's, it definitely feels a little heavier than those games do. Uh, but I mean, it is, it's, it's still pretty good overall. I still like the feel of it. So, I mean, hopefully you'll enjoy it once you actually get a little further yeah. in on your playthrough. I will uh, say it is, it is hard as fuck, though, because there's like... Chad did fun <laughs> it for me, so it is on the list. I have a few things to mm -hmm. get to before I get to it. Um, to be specific, mm -hmm. next is the Bloodborne one-handed. After that, I have a You Laugh, You Drink, which is easy enough. It's like a one-stream thing. Mm. Then I have Coffee yeah. Randy and Lele, which I don't know how long that game is. But after that is Liza Fee. I don't think it's that long, but I believe uh, the creator of Coffee and Coffin, Coffee, Coffin of Andy and Lele is like putting out more of it. Like the game's not actually complete yet. It's hmm. it's like got an episodic thing going on, and I believe they're about to you know, release more of it. So, you know. yeah, but what it, what it exists currently, I don't I don't think it's that long. Uh, but anywho, anywho, uh, fuck, what was I going to say? There was one other thing. Uh, oh right, the one thing I I am kind of annoyed by with Lies of P is that like. Yeah, you know how in Souls games, like you'll see an item glowing down a hallway or some shit, and you'll just, you'll just like rush to get it, and maybe some guy will jump out at you or like a rock or fall, or, you know, some shit like that, a trap, whatever, yeah. right? Like, it feels like every single fucking item in the game is trapped. 
there's always an enemy or or a fucking rock or or something or other like every single item is booby trapped in in fucking liza p and it gets kind of annoying after a while but aside from that i'm enjoying it so skill issue. <clears throat> yeah that's how we skill shut issue. up shut up hey okay um imagine so falling for every single trap in the game <laughs> Look, I know, no, I got to the point where I just started like checking, like, 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 like feverishly, autistically checking for traps every time I saw a glowy I can't thing. I for like the final like, like... game where like nothing is trapped. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, fucking welcome to the trap house. Nothing is trapped, are, where, except the last item, and the last item like is that, a trap be, that just kills you and deletes your save. That'll be the name of the area too, which is call it the trap house, and there's actually no actual traps in there anywhere. <laughs> oh, that'd be pretty good. Okay. At the very well, end of the game, it's revealed that Pinocchio's a girl. It's like you were the trap all along. <laughs> Wait. Oh, yeah, I guess that's. Yeah, I guess that's how that because he he wears mostly masculine clothing, so yeah, that's how that would work. Yeah, it'd be a reverse um, trap like this. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? Would you say that Jesus? <laughs> is that what you just said? What the fuck are you talking? <laughs> That's like super what, inside joke when you worry about it. <laughs> uh, Jesus, the world's first reverse trap. <laughs> fuck. Don't even worry about it. It's just a joke. You the, the original reverse trap. Fucking like hell. It's an inside. The joke. primordial uh, reverse trap. In one trap. of the in one of the like like uh like first campaigns I ever DM'd, like one of my players was mm -hmm. like, "Can I believe in Jesus?" And I was like, "Well, Jesus isn't like." in this like <laughs> world it's like, okay well can i just make right. up my own and i was like yeah sure and he's like okay i want my deity to be jesus it's like but 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 it's secretly a woman it's a trap it's like <laughs> like a reverse trap he's like yes and i was like oh, okay <laughs> Yo, what is this what is, what is this what is this mikola shit going on that's what this sounds like it sounds like the fucking mikola bit with they just the, really uh... want a close relationship with jesus yeah it was it was I very guess. entertaining it, it was, they it want was Jesus very inside of them. Je Jesus, the outer god. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, where's where's my where's my Jesus covenant in the convergence mod? We'll find it. Oh man, we will find it eventually. And I do want to talk about that before we get into that though, because that's going to be like both of us going back and forth and talking about that one. Uh, I would like to say that I read something. I got fucking sick of waiting. You can so read. I just... Damn. <laughs> wow. Lamel. Wow. In the in the month after Black History Month, Mizu, goddamn. I'll celebrate <laughs> Black History Month. In the year yeah, in which Black History Month exists, <laughs> I cannot believe this. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Mm, okay, no. Yeah. I got sick of waiting and I decided just fucking start reading the manga for my dress up darling. Because I'm what, sick of waiting for season that? two. Uh, so, so that was the, you, you might have probably seen the, uh, the main, the female lead from that show. Cause she was like the big waifu, like the big anime waifu of the season. Like bleh, it's an two, anime two, about two? an autistic incel that falls in love with a cosplayer. Yes. This still tells More me nothing. <laughs> like, do you hang understand on, how we'll little that narrows it down? Yeah. But, uh, uh this yeah, one no, actually no, so gets the girl. In the first season. Do you understand how little that narrows it down? I don't know what quite. you're watching. Not quite, buddy. Normally they do the will they won't they for like a couple seasons. Well, well yeah, but that's still like they, they haven't actually like become official. Even at this point, because I, I read official, the entire. They're don't even. They're not. No, 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 they're <laughs> actually. Are you, are you caught up on the manga? Because I'm caught up. I'm fucking caught up on the manga. Are you caught up? They're basically together. Motherfucker, they Mizu, just don't the fucking know question. Mizu, are you caught up? God damn it. No, I refuse. Yes or no? I wow. refuse to read. Go fuck yourself. Okay, well then, what are, you, what are you shooting your mouth off like you know shit? Fuck out of here. <laughs> you don't know nothing. Uh, anyway, no. Oh, is this the one with like, the fucking <laughs> blonde chick that everyone likes? Yeah. That makes yep. porn mm -hmm. That's okay. the one. Okay, got it. That's the... Yeah. <laughs> I recognize it from porn, which I respect. <laughs> yeah. One that Kevin Every gets time. in trouble for all the time. Yeah, right. yeah. Anywho. Yeah. Okay, okay. So so what the deal is here is that uh, the story is about uh, Goro? Fuck, is his name Goro? Fuck, I forgot his name. Anyway, the male lead uh, is a kid who actually is, like, he, I, I think he actually is an autist. Like, 
undiagnosed. He, he, like the way he acts and the way he goes about moving through his world that he lives in, he, I, I feel like he might actually be autistic. But um, his whole deal is that he is the grandson of a guy who makes Hina dolls, which are like those fucking... Uh, those like porcelain Japanese dolls with like the kimonos and shit that you probably saw in like, your grandma's those. house behind a glass case. Yeah. I love so those. He, he, his, yeah. So his grandpa makes those and he also wants to like make them. Like he, he's training to become like a Hina doll maker. Right. Uh, and what happens is that uh, his the sewing machine breaks at home where he's something. making like a little. What? Nothing. Go on. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, the his own his own machine at home breaks, so he has to take it to school to make his little Tina doll outfits, right? That he that he makes, uh, and as chance would have it, the most popular, most charismatic, prettiest girl in school happens upon him while he's talking to like a head of a Hina doll because he's fucking weird like that. He's got weird fixations, um, but she is unperturbed because what she notices first the fact that he apparently knows how to make clothes, and then she pulls out her attempt at cosplay and it's basically just like a rag with a, with a hole for her head in it and it's it's not great uh but at this point she decides okay why don't i ask this guy for help uh and because she didn't make fun of him for liking dolls which he apparently has like he's got like fucking ptsd from as a child when like some girl was like oh you're weird you fucking weird gross creep <laughs> but she did not make fun of him so he's like yeah fuck it i'll help you and this kind of goes into the story of them getting closer as they, uh, you know, explore different cosplays. And it turns out he's like a savant at making cosplays because he's 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 like he's an autistic creative, essentially. Right. Which means like, yeah, he can barely function in real life. But like when he tries to sit down and make something, it becomes like the, the fucking most incredible version of that thing in existence. Right. So he he's that kind of guy. <clears throat> Helmsman. Wait, Helmsman's here? Oh, Hel hey, Helmsman. Helmsman. What's up, buddy? Prizes a costume. And so it's it's just like a very lighthearted uh like slice of life, uh very, very cosplay enthusiastic manga. Cause it's like one of those ones where it's like you ever read one of those manga where it's like it's like teaching you about the thing that it's about in in, in like excruciating detail as you read it? You ever you ever read one of those? Mm -hmm. Like uh like how like how 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 heavy are the dumbbells you lift? How that one was like actually explaining different workouts and shit to you. Like this one's like, oh, this is how this makeup works, or this is how you alter a wig, or this is how you do uh like cosplay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a lot of these like mangas just straight yeah. up have like fucking like 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 wiki tutorials, tutorials and shit inside in them. Yeah. them. Yeah, they're really funny. Yeah, yeah, essentially. So yeah, it, it does I, a lot of that, and like it. I, I read a fucking manga once. It was like a cooking thing, and it was just like straight up like, here's the recipe. Here's how you make it. I'm just like. Are you trying to make me hungry? Like this is worse than porn. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm distracted. I mean, hey, in food in, in food wars, it kind of is porn when you think about it. Food wars but, is just um, me, IRL. Yeah, you you, you 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 eat food so delicious that it your fucking clothes explode off your body. Is that what happens? Sometimes. Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't I'll, go to I'll restaurants very mind. often. Most of the time, the clothes aren't I, on to I, start with. I, I appreciate the fact it's that true. we said I, that one... I have enough, you know, like, self-awareness to take them off beforehand and, like, set them aside, keep them, just keep them out of the splash zone, you know? Mm. I just, I appreciate that you kept your clothes on the one time that we went and ate together. <laughs> I right. appreciate that. Thank you. Um, So, yeah, it's just a lighthearted thing and, like, it, you know, gets into, like, uh, like cosplay mentality. It's like, oh, this is why I got into it, and this is how I feel about it. And it's like, oh, you're telling me I could keep doing it even even when I get older? It's like, yeah, I know this guy's like 50 fucking years old and cosplays like Super Sentai common writers and shit. And it's like, oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> just like yeah, you know, it's very lighthearted, very fun romantic comedy type thing, until it isn't, and until the switch, until the fucking script gets switched entirely, and it gets into a bit of a. a uh, you know, fame destroying uh, relationship story, which is kind of where it's at right now, and it's kind of frustrating because it's it left off at a really like a bit of a low point for our main characters, and and it's like ah fuck, I want to want to <laughs> know what happens next because now it's leaning towards that story of oh okay, so what happens when you have somebody who is again like a savant at making cosplay costumes to the point where like people think this is like official like like officially made shit and uh, combine him with with a model who is like like born to be a model essentially 
Like Marion's extremely attractive, you know, she's very pretty in the face, got a nice body. Uh, she's been actually clothes modeling uh, up until this point, since like middle school, up until high school, whatever. Um, the fact of the matter is, people start to take notice, and a lot of people start to take notice. In fact, too many people start to take notice, like they get insanely popular, and now that popularity is kind of like driving the wedge between them, and it's and that's like where oh. the story's at now. So. Yeah, so we want to. I want to see where that goes, but it's it's, it's becoming more than it was, and I, I do appreciate it for that, right? Because it could have it could have just stayed the romantic comedy slice of life thing, and that, that would have been fine and fun and dandy and all. But now I'm like proper invested into the story, and like I want to know what's going to happen with these characters. So, and that's pretty cool. That's a, that's a, that's a good bit of fun. So looking forward to more of that as it comes out. Uh, aside from that, I'd say the only other thing I touched was a was a certain little uh, mod that people have been enjoying. For a little game called uh, Dark Souls 3. Rosa, perhaps you've heard of it. Oh, the sex mod? I can agree on no. calling it little. It is little and pathetic besides Dark Chad Dark Souls 2. <laughs> you know, like the one meme where it has, it's like, it's like, it's like, like the virgin so-and-so and the Chad so-and-so. And it's just listing off yeah, like, yeah. Mm. I should make one of those. But it's just like the virgin Dark Souls 3 and the Chad Dark Souls 2. <laughs> All right. But do we, do we want to talk about the convergence mod for a bit? Um, it's good. It is good. It is good. So for those of you who are unaware of the uh, the Convergence mod, who, who are fans of the Souls series, uh, if you play Dark Souls 3 on PC, you have access to some Nexus mod type shit. And in there is a mod called the Convergence mod. And what that is, is a complete remixing top to bottom of the entire fucking game. That also adds a shit ton more spells and weapons and shit from the other two Dark Souls games and some shit from from Sekiro for some reason, <laughs> some Sekiroing in there. Uh, and it's 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 pretty interesting. It's pretty cool. Uh, first off, there is the fact that the uh, the starting classes has gone from like 10 to like 30 different starting starting classes. Mm -hmm. uh, each one has yeah, a bunch of different new mage classes that are focused on the different uh, magic schools that they've added in or altered to be like more specialized yep. uh and and that's that's pretty cool the magic is a lot more fun in this game even i want to use magic now and i never gave a fuck about magic in yep. any souls game so but um magic's, magic's a lot more fun to it's, use it's effectively it's split between like the three different types right you have like your 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 pyromancy you have your uh fucking sorcery you have your mm. faith right miracles oh uh, your yeah, miracles is but mm. basically it's split between <clears throat> those three and then also damage type between different elements yeah and yeah, so, so subdivisions have, of those three. Yeah, exactly. And so, like, you'll have, for example, like, your, like, dark miracles, your, like, your, uh, uh, lightning miracles, your etc. miracles, right? Mm -hmm. and so, like, you'll have, like, variety between each type and, like, different versions mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And they all, like, they all kind of scale the same, um, but they all have, like, a huge variety of, like, different spells and stuff you can do. Yeah. Very, like, lots of new and interesting stuff. There's, uh... Like, for example, just today, uh, when I finally got the the second grouping of, like, wind magic spells, which is what I'm kind of focusing on. I'm doing, like, wind and uh, wind and lightning magic for the most part. Rose is doing, like, dark flame and normal flame? Yeah, I'm just I doing dark and, dark and fire is what I'm focusing on, yeah. Yeah, dark fire and normal fire. Um, yeah, but, like, in the in the wind school, there's, like, like, now there's, like, buffing spells and shit that work in weird ways. Uh, there's one called like wind form that you were like you buff yourself to essentially run at sprint speed while while walking <laughs> and it also lets you like use Power your estus mode. what yeah yeah essentially and it's also it, it lets you use your estus while still moving at that speed so it's like it's it's kind of busted and it like it, it uh, doubles your your casting speed uh, I mean, I mean, like, like, like shortens your casting speed to like half the time it normally take uh, and, and shit like that. Uh, there's stuff that like lets you put a like a killing aura on yourself, like what Rosa uses, where it uh, it yeah, gradually replenishes just, her health. All I have to do is walk around and people bleed to death in my presence. It's beautiful. Yeah. While you just regen health the entire time, even if you're not hurting anyone in the mean in, in your vicinity, which is it's just kind of busted, but pretty solid. Uh, is Mizu's model a full model? I believe, I believe so. so. Yeah. Mizu, you're a full model, right? He's just like allow me Mizu? to demonstrate. He's demonstrating. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah. I think. Yeah. I have toes. I can't see. They're, they're down there you somewhere. Bring, bring, bring them up more. Bring them up more. Up, up, he's, up, he's, <laughs> up he's, Show me them toes. Let me suckle. There they are. 
There you go. You may have my feet. Mm -hmm. you, go, you know, this looks really bad out of context, I'm sure. Mizu's a people pleaser. Yeah, my fin boy. Does it, just, the fact that you're hanging off the top of the screen <laughs> just, just does not look great out of context. <laughs> not another one. <laughs> Yo, Doki Doki moment. No, no, I'm the other kind of feminine person. Ah, I see. Good, good, cool. Go uh, any, anyway, <laughs> but um, yeah. So there, so there is that. the The magic system's been overhauled to shit. There's a bunch of new weapons in there. It's 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 pretty cool. Uh, the other big thing in there is that uh, the the bosses, the at least the ones that don't have like a a cutscene attached to them, have also been remixed. Uh, we've only seen a couple of them so far, me and Rosa, but. Uh, I'm sure pretty much every boss that doesn't have a cutscene attached will probably be yep. like, changed to something else. So like the the first one, right? Uh, Champion Gun uh, Gundir? Yep. Gundir, right? Well, uh, the... Yeah. the Champion or Ludex? I think it's Champion Gundir. And U no, no, it's Ludex Gundir. And Champion Gundir is the one that's in like the, the past version of the yeah. of Fire Link. Yeah, okay, yeah. So so Ludex Gundir, instead of him... It's a it's a big fucking fire dog, like the one that shows up in uh, Irithyll on the bridge, or under the bridge. On the bridge. I don't know, but um, on the bridge. Okay, yeah, yeah. So so I think you get if that instead. He, he'll jump down to get you. Yeah, and uh, like in the in the foot of the high wall area, the the undead like Berg or Burrow, whatever the fuck it's called. Uh, instead of the the corrupted tree, now there's a completely new boss there, like a completely. Well, not completely originally designed, but it is it's like a reskin of uh the the owl, was it? Mm -hmm. From uh from Sekiro? Yeah, the owl from Sekiro. Except he's like a druid. <laughs> and and once you beat him, you get to find like this cool druid altar where you can learn like higher level druid spells and shit. Yeah, so there's like there's like also different altars throughout the world now, which uh like give you advanced spells of every like element and class. Uh right now we've only found like three of them. Because we found, because we found the the one, the nameless king one. We found the druid one, obviously, and then there was also the the assassin altar. I guess yeah, that one's not a magic one. That's more like, like a like equipment. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess there's also maybe there's like specifically like dex and strength. Like maybe there's like a warrior altar somewhere deeper in where you can get like cool warrior abilities cool. and and weapons and shit. Yeah. I mean, hey. It would be <laughs> why not right um so yeah there's a, there's a lot of interesting stuff interesting stuff going on in there we've barely scratched the surface so if you guys want to know more about that definitely check out um mine or rose's channel because we both stream it uh, when we do those sessions uh but it, it's it's been a lot of fun so far and i'm very interested to see uh what else we we get to we get to discover in the game right before we ended the session uh to come to the the podcast I found a pair of soul fists, which literally just take like the the texture for like an item on the ground, but it's a cestus, so it's like you get glowing fist hand, uh, glowing soul fists, oh. <laughs> and it, it and it does like this cool like spinning fist attack going forward. It's like a lariat that also like sends out like a like a hundred little soul projectiles at home in. Like shit that was wild. Cool. I actually need to yeah, I want to buff that weapon and see what the fuck is going on with that. I, I will probably be doing that like right after this, uh, right after the podcast is over. But um, yeah, so that's very cool. And I'm looking forward to checking out more of that. And you can check out more of that on the uh, twitch.tv slash uh, digital soul spark or twitch.tv slash Ginny underscore mercurialis. Either one of those. Uh, we will let you guys know when, oh, uh, when that's going to happen. Well, below. <laughs> or the YouTube channel, that too. Rosa, Rosa Multistream. So there's that. Uh, but yeah, I think that's that's more or less it for me as, as far as anything worth mentioning this week. week. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, what Mizu. about you, Mizu? What have you been up to the last couple weeks? What? Nothing. I've been dead. What? They took <laughs> yeah. my Twitter. They took my... Uh, I haven't been streaming. They took my Twitter. No new games have really come out other than the Helldivers. Oh, yeah. I mean, I've been would bored you, would you like to? Would you like to tell us about your experience with Helldivers? Like, is there anything you want to say about it or... Uh, you just think about your experience, but literally every day. Oh, okay. Wait, what's the name of your ship again? Plus you also get to, like, boy. name your... Uh, fanboy. Fem mm -hmm. Wait, does he fanboy? Oops. You said fanboy. Fan, 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 There, it's a fae fan boy. Fame boy. <laughs> Jesus Sorry. Christ. No, don't, don't um, put that on me. <laughs> if I have any nickname, it's gonna be the one I've chosen for myself. Which is? Mm -hmm. Killer Sea Star. That's pretty good. I like okay. that. Okay. 
I dig it. It's because people it. kept saying I was the Keemstar of just, VTubing. I just imagine, I just imagine a That's fucking great. ninja. Except, like, instead of shurikens, he's got fucking, like, stars, like sea stars, and just throwing those at you Little instead. Starfish. Yeah. I learned today that there's, like, a giant fucking starfish that's poisonous, and it just goes around killing coral reefs because it's a menace. Jesus really? Christ. Those things are, those things are probably actually be pretty dangerous when they're... Yeah, it's like, huge. You... Things like the size of a, like, twice the size of a basketball. It's just like... Just, just it just goes around on? killing coral reefs because it's an ass. Wait, what? what is it? <laughs> It's this? a starfish. It's like a giant a starfish that just eats coral reefs. Huh. Wow. Sounds like fucking like Starro from DC. <laughs> I, 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 I want like a like a fucking anime where it's just like ah yes, it's like it's like, it's like a coral reef and it's like you have like the protagonist defender fish that are trying to fight off the great the great evil starfish. <laughs> Here, just so you guys can get an idea, I will share it with you in the chat. It's literally oh. called the oh, Crown of Thorns. <laughs> that's those things that's are fucking cool big. Name. That's fucking metal. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, that is a very metal name. Yeah. They just I, go I, around I, it, killing like, coral it, reefs because they're dicks. <laughs> it, given the way it looks, it kind of did definitely earned that name. God damn, that thing is. I think it's spiky. On, on stream. That's the kind of starfish I am. <laughs> Here you go, chat. Are you? You're a starfish. Yeah, if I want to be a killer sea star, that's the kind I am. Oh, I assumed you were something else because you got like the, the fins on your head. Oh yeah, no, so I'm, a, kind of I'm fish. a triton. Like a fish that has fins. A what? I call myself a sea nymph, but I'm technically a triton. The fuck's a triton? Uh, it's a son of Poseidon. I wait. I thought that was the name of the son of Poseidon. Like that's just the moniker for any son of Poseidon. Yeah, they're tritons. It's the species. Oh. I it, thought that it, was actually just it's one of those things the name like, of the son of like I thought that was just his name. <laughs> yeah, it, it's hmm. one of those things where like people would call him like a triton, but they would refer to all fish people as tritons. Hmm. Well, all right then. <laughs> there <laughs> are thirty four known yeah. tritons. You can learn more about yeah. it by looking up triton on Rule Thirty Four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> That's the be that is certainly the best way to go about it. I know some of my artwork ended up on Rule Thirty Four. Oh yeah. Mm. Weirdly yeah. enough, I, there is I mean, exactly one piece of art of my old voice acting OC that had like no like like no one really cared about it. Uh, I, mm -hmm. I did not have anywhere near like the same platform like when I did voice acting. There is art mm -hmm. of her uh, on Rule Thirty Four, but not of Rosa. Even though like tons mm. more fucking porn exists of Rosa. <laughs> People are weird. Well, shit. Yeah. How about it, eh? Even the porn of me on Rule 34 <laughs> only mentions the other people in the picture with me. It doesn't even mention <laughs> me. That's funny. I told Lumi and Oka the other day, I'm basically the Voldemort of VTubers. Nobody will say my fucking name anywhere. <laughs> mm. That's really What was it? They linked me. I, I, one of my tweets, old tweets, showed up in an Alara video the other day. She said the name of every single person whose tweet she showed, except mine. I am literally <laughs> the fucking Voldemort of VTubers. Damn. I can't believe you got snubbed like this. That's crazy. It's funny. They that literally can't say my name. They're terrified of it for some reason. Like fucking hmm. Beetlejuice or something. Yeah, if, if, I, if I say Mizu in the mirror like five times in a row, are you, you going to just fucking show up in, in my condo? <laughs> No, nah, you do that one too many times. There's some weirdos doing that. Yeah, man. <laughs> like, it's, it's literally, you're having the fucking Biggie Smalls problem from that one episode of South Park. No, that reminds me. The fucking, Have you seen the, fucking the um, episode? It was a meme tweet of, like, a Walmart or something where they put the fucking camera for the front door all the way on the factory roof, or the warehouse mm -hmm. roof. And somebody yeah. took a picture of it and says, I'm gonna play the fucking Sadako tape on this thing and see what happens when she <laughs> pops out. Oh, yeah, 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 I did, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. There's like yeah, a million the, fan the, arts of Sadako just falling art through yeah. the roof. Just eating shit as, as she falls out of the TV to the floor. <laughs> oh, uh, man. I think one of my favorite ones was like the one where it's like, she, she comes halfway out like she's gonna fall, but then she just pulls out two guns and points them at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite one is the one where she's crying and they've got the firefighters with the ladder going to get her. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs>
There's a lot of hentai of that, too. I don't know how they turned that specific prompt into hentai, but they did. Well, there's just a lot of hentai that character just to begin with. People yeah. really like her. <laughs> and I do not understand it at all. Well, that's because you're not? a woman. Yeah. Nope, I don't. I sure you, don't sure? understand it at all. Women don't yeah. understand the call of the void. Yep. I I, I could I I know See, I want to about... believe you. But I call the void as Satan. The character from the ring at all. I'm fairly certain we have on record you saying, and I quote, uh, oh, hang on, sorry, it's upside down. Uh, I love women who could kill me. Yeah. Yes, I believe, I I believe we have that on record times. for you. Yes, I, I'm sorry, I, I believe that you all will have to, uh, uh, have to reevaluate your statement there. No. My statement is proper. <laughs> No, Angel no, no. Never that understand was a statement. The fear? Oh, me? <laughs> yes, you. Pretty sure we have you. We, we have you on record saying that you would love a woman who could kill you. I do. I, I do love a woman that could kill me. Was the other... <laughs> thing you also just said is also true. Like I, 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 I do. I have a very weird understanding of fear. I am not afraid of these women. I just find them very interesting, and I, I, I hope, I hope they succeed on their mission. Take have you away. watched The Ring? I've not. I have not. I'm the not big only, on, on scary shit at all. The only ring movie worth watching is there's a ring movie where Sadako goes to fight like a another Japanese spirit that possesses houses. Oh. Okay. Yeah, because somebody watches the fucking ring movie and they're like, oh god, I'm gonna <laughs> die. How am I not gonna die? And they go see a Japanese medium. And the Japanese medium is like, okay, so there's this house with this other spirit that will kill you if you go in the house. But mm -hmm. Sadako won't let you die any way other than by her. So if you go in the house, they'll kill each other and you'll be fine. Did, is that what actually... I'm never going to watch it. Is that what actually happens? Or? They The they entire just movie is them like... Out? Because they're both spirits, they can't like yeah. fully die. There's just mm -hmm. like this gratuitous violence of them killing each other in like the most gratuitous ways possible. Uh -huh. Until they both like run face first into each other, fall into a well, and they mm -hmm. pop out as like a combined spirit that is twice oh. as powerful as the spirit they were. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I, I, I hope the person that they were gonna murder fucking left uh, way before that happened. Because holy shit. No, <laughs> then they make it worse. Because like, stuck around the, to watch the boxing match. The thing with the ring. Do is if you like watch the tape she's gonna kill you no matter what mm. and it's what, what's that movie where like the ghost is a sexually transmitted disease and the only what? way to keep it away from you is to fuck somebody else that way the ghost will come for them before it comes for you what <laughs> that's a thing what what are the other people who watch the film had like a, a similar idea of if Sadako's coming for somebody else, she can't come for me. So they upload the fucking video on the internet. So now oh. the super-powered mm. double-spirit Sadako has been seen by everybody in the world on YouTube, and she's coming for everybody. Oh, well, <laughs> fuck. That's funny. <laughs> uh, it's not like anything. a happy ending movie, it's just like a you're all like, fucked ending. <laughs> oh, like Freddy vs. Jason, Sadako matchup. Yeah, it sounds like, um, like, yeah, I, I was thinking fucking and Alien vs. Predator, And this film is the video, now you've seen it too. <laughs> yeah, that, that literally sounds like they were just taking the page from, like, the Freddy vs. Jason or Alien vs. Predator, like, you know, this murder versus that murder fucking trope that had been going around for a, yeah. a minute and, like, the... Oh, it was a I don't know, movie. man, here's the thing, here's the thing, here's the thing, Jason. I think, I think we can mm -hmm. negotiate, okay? I'm just saying, I would watch the ring movie, I'd be like, okay, now that you're here, hear me out, you can kill me, just give me, like, 20 years. <laughs> no, you have seven years. days. We, no, why? That's her rule, seven days. That's How is she gonna kill everybody in the world in seven days? Because she's based. If you upload the video, how? You know what, that's it's, fine. It's, it's that's that's still okay. For those seven days, can we just like, like, can we just like make some sandwiches and just kind of sit in the park? <laughs> I, I think she's stays on the TV cool. for those seven days. I can play the TV. I have a, I have an extension cord somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> just put her on your phone. 
<laughs> like that, that's that's what I, that's actually one of my favorite Sadako like things. It's like it's a non pornographic like it was like a four coma comic sort of like series. But there were, it was, what the deal was that like the dude uh, watched the video, but he watched it on his fucking phone. So when she came out, she was like she's like the size of a doll. <laughs> she was like she was she's like a fucking foot tall. That's cute. Um. Yeah, and it just became like a whole story about them kind of getting along as they fucking <laughs> as they, she has to deal with being tiny. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> that was a version of Sadako's was normal. <laughs> no, we went. Oh, it's, like, it's like an Indian, Indian in the Indian in the cupboard type Mechaku shit. Mechaku City uh, actors. So this is like a Dharmin Mew. Which one? In uh the uh the manga Kaguru Days or the anime Mechaku City actors, uh, Na is one of the characters, and her basically her story is that basically she got she became like an AI. And so she's mm -hmm. like downloaded on like the main character's phone, and he just kind of takes her around mm -hmm. everywhere. Oh, oh, okay. No, yeah, but like in 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 the comic, like Sadako's like like physically manifests, but like like just yeah. a tiny person who can't really that, do anything. That's way cuter. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's pretty good. I'll, I'll, I'm, I'll, I'm, I'll I'm, I'm 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 recalling it. the uh, the like miniature Ronnie meme. <laughs> 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 ah. It, it it does not go in that direction. This one's a wholesome comic, <laughs> just so you know. This one's awesome. But it doesn't have to be. Fan artist, you know what to do. Well, okay, there, there, there is a little bit of, like, doll dress-up for, for fucking Instagram type shit going on, but that's about it. That's, like, the extent of it. Um, but then, yeah. It's good. It's good. Um, fuck, what were we even talking about? We got so off track. Yeah, we, we, went, we went so far what, what off the, track. What the fuck were we talking about? I <laughs> we, have we no about, I handle, uh, his, his week. His, his how week. I handle under the T. Yeah, fair. I had That's to fair. bring some of that here. Uh, I, you know what? I appreciate that. Um, but yeah, no, no, no. So we, you, you're, you're playing Helldivers. We're gonna, you're gonna give your thoughts on it. But I, was, I asked you, uh, what'd you end up naming your ship? Oh, this is the uh, fucking meme. I found, I found the meme. I found the meme. Damn it! We just finally got back on track. <laughs> Sorry. Go on. Go on. Go on. I'll, I'll just send the meme and I'll just put it on the screen and Chow will yeah, know what I was I'm talking about. That's all that really matters. Yeah, I was just gonna say that. Um. Yeah, you're you're also allowed to like name your ship when you when you fucking like start playing Helldivers, and it's like a bunch of like patriotic esque like op like like name options you can put in. So what I ended up naming mine was the Fist of the Constitution. <laughs> it's fucking great, and it was only made better when Mithrin came through and was like, uh, uh, tagline: "It's a suppository." <laughs> <laughs> that That's good. great. That's fucking great. Right. I fucking love it. This is the meme. So yeah, chat. I'm never changing. I'm never changing the name of it. But what's the name of your ship, uh, Mizu? Patriot of the Stars. That's pretty good. You know what that sounds? That never mind. It sounds like fucking something from uh, Legend of the Galactic Heroes or something. That's what that's, that sounds like. <laughs> uh, it's a good name though. I dig it. And yes, I do remember that that comic, the the miniature, the miniature. I always <laughs> wondered why I was born with a miniature cock. But now I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. It's so Mizuhana. funny. Sorry, sir. No pets allowed. Excuse me. That's my wife. Wait, is this a comic re in reference to that one dude on fucking Deviant Art that like literally married his his Twilight Sparkle plushie? Most likely. Is it oh my god. <laughs> that's that's one of the that's one of the greats of all time. Internet is remains undefeated. I swear. Oh God! All right. Well. But yeah, you, you, you don't want to. You don't want to add any thoughts on 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 Helldivers? Is there anything else you want to talk about, or is that it? No, not really. I think I, I thoroughly uh, fucked that. <laughs> Fair <laughs> enough. Yeah, I, I, I guess I could do it in, in everything else. No, is like news related, and I think you have like a news segment. Yep. We do, we do, and I suppose we'll be getting right to it, because, wow, we, we managed to get to the news segment before two hours passed. That's crazy. That's a first. That's a first. That's Congratulations, a first. Busy. You were, you were here for uh, the first. Before we go into the sweet baby, <laughs> mm -hmm. b b before I become the sweet baby and my two gay dads lecture me on the sweet baby-isms <laughs> of the internet. Wait, who's the, wait, hang on. I'm only the Mizu's gay, I think. I'm bisexual. You're both my gay dads. Yeah, there you go. Currently. So you're, you're half gay. For this podcast. Yeah. That's yeah. why they don't I'm, give me an F word pass. I'm I'm fully heterosexual. <laughs> thank you. 
Remember Whatever. We were talking to Deb about my, this my, we were talking about that? My mutually oh, my fucking non-gay dads. Uh, oh, which for me, me, me the sweet baby. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's it? Before all that, yes. What's up? Uh, can we talk about John Cena? Being yes. naked? Yeah, there was something yeah, that Mizu said to us and I forgot what it was. Yeah, but it mattered so... to me then and it matters to me now. For those who don't know, the Oscars or the Grammys or whatever the fuck it is, I don't care. I don't care about these Hollywood yeah. award shows. They're yeah, dumb. who gives a shit? Yep. The yep. only thing anyone cared about it was John Cena comes out halfway through it, butt naked, to announce specifically the winner for best costume. And the reason mm. he was naked was virtue signaling. Because mm. the Costumers Guild is going to go on strike <laughs> soon. And they had, they had announced their intentions before the Damn. Oscar to go on strike. So he shows Another up naked strike. because no costume, because <laughs> strike. Yeah, no, I, I, I picked up on that. But damn, another one already. It hasn't even been a full year since the last one. It hasn't even yeah. been like half a year since the last one. Jesus, fuck. Hollywood just cannot stop getting its ass whooped. It was a stunt on multiple levels. Oh, man. All right. What, what, what the fuck are the costume people, like, bent out of shape about? Like, what's their deal? Oh, I have no idea. Are, I don't are, care. Are they, not, are, they, are they just not getting paid enough, I'm guessing? Like, like the writers and the and the actors? I, somebody's going to say something about AI. I guarantee it. It's not going to have anything to do with their job. And they're going to be AI, AI costumes are coming. <laughs> How the fuck does that work? They're physical objects. The answer is actually, I actually, I actually have the answer to this question, Jez. Yeah, what's okay? Go for CGI. it. CGI. I'm, I'm here. I'm ready. I Think about how many costumes get... over the last couple of years have come out. Mm -hmm. Like, oh yeah, no, actually, he's just wearing like a like a suit with dots on it. Everything CGI. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. I. I get. Yeah. I guess so. Eh. There's huh. your answer for that. For the AI costumes. Damn, but like AI is coming <laughs> for your fucking your physically based your re, your physical reality based job is not safe from AI. <laughs> I could have put a dress on that alien, but you went with CGI. Uh, <laughs> completely. Oh, so shit. here's the thing: this article came out a couple days before the Oscars, and it was a quote from the Costume Designers Guild, like head or whatever, and he said, "You're naked without us," which is probably why Tom Cena showed up naked. Uh, the only thing I find funny about this article is the very second paragraph. Mm -hmm. The guild is 87% female, and about 20% of the membership identifies as LGBTQ+. Okay. Well... I mean, that's, that's kind of expected. Yeah. It's like, 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 when you go to a fucking salon, right? Like, you don't expect your fucking, like, your, your, your male, like, like, hairstylist to not be gay. <laughs> you know? They're like, oh, I'm, sur I'm, sur I'm surprised! <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> to, yeah. To be to be fair, there probably are some straight ones out there, you know. But it, yeah. the, the the prevailing uh, percentage is probably homosexuals. <laughs> I we're not trying Serial to be mean. We're not trying to be rude. It's just that's just how it is. Yeah, Trinity twenty percent is honestly. actually surprisingly low. Yeah, it's like, important I'm, to I'm note shocked. that they're eighty-seven percent female because they're apparently supposedly piggybacking off Women's History Month. Ah. Of course, uh, another month we have no real need for anymore. <laughs> is it Women's History Month? Women have a history uh, month. Uh, yep, yep, that would be this month, isn't it? Right, right after Black History Month. First, the blacks get their turn, then the women get their turn. And of course, if you're a black woman, you just get to eat good for two straight months. How about that shit? <laughs> why? You why get two a whole month? In a row. Why a whole month? I could cover I, the entire thing with a thirty-minute PowerPoint. I don't fucking know. You know, actually, no, we do know. We know exactly. It's a fucking month. We I have why. the answer. I have the answer. I have the answer. Yes, Rosa. It's easier to tell people you have a problem than actually go up and do a fucking speech about what the fuck your actual problem is and how to, like, what you want fixed. That's the answer. The answer is they don't actually fucking want anything. They just want your attention. Oh, man. That, you just know, like that black certainly. <laughs> The costume you know, you, like, head person says we are ninety percent of the screen. Oh my what? god! See, this is this is what I've been, I've been arguing. I was arguing people yesterday and a little bit the of today. The set designers are not gonna like that. Because you're, you're joking, Rosa, but like this shit's so real to me right now because the fucking uh, the race swapping 
like an art shit has come up again on Twitter. I don't know. You, oh, yeah, because an Asian person made a little art piece of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they, shit, let me see. And if I can people find got that real mad quick. at them because they drew themselves as having slanty eyes. Yeah, people yeah. got mad at them because the Asian des design character has slanted eyes. And that wasn't like, even the intent. Well, like, that didn't even, that wasn't even the point. It had nothing to do with the conversation. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. It's They're just like, okay, oh, we get your point, but like, grr, how dare you draw slanty eyes on the Asian characters? Like, motherfucker, I'm Asian. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like, it's like, I would, I would understand. It's like, I'm telling you, we should just kill fucking, them. Fucking, yeah, it's like, because I've, I've seen plenty of interpretations of Asian characters and stuff that have like, you know, actual pronounced squints. And that's fine, because Asian people have fucking squints. Like, that's a thing. It's, it's, I it's can't observable wait. reality. I can't but, like, wait. Like, <laughs> We get but these motherfuckers the are acting. Oh, go ahead. I can't wait till we get to the point where people start accusing like Asian actors of squinting on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> here, here. I, I found the, the tweet there. with the actual image. With the actual image in question. Um, but yeah, no. Like it's just it's like I, I they, these people are acting like the the, the image. Why is are you like squinting? Squinty... Open your eyes. Stop propagating racist stereotypes. Just open your eyes. What are you doing? Oh my open god. Open your eyes so like a normal people... person. <laughs> people Says are, the people are acting. <laughs> people are acting like it's the squinty eyes and like fucking buck teeth and like the, the fucking rice farmer hat and shit. Like they're acting like it's the whole fucking thing, right? But it's just squinted eyes. Like relax. That's not the fucking point. Oh, yeah. But yeah, I, I I linked the the image that people are yeah, all getting bad and out of shape about, and I, I decided to jump in on this shit too because every time I see this, I I get annoyed because it's it it's like because there it, it is like the double standard every time of uh like black people getting their fucking panties in a twist if like somebody draws like not even as a white character just as, with a lighter skin tone like you guys remember that one time somebody drew fucking uh, Nessa from Pokemon that uh the the one like the black chick with like the blue streak in her hair somebody drew her with like a slightly lighter skin tone or with the other one person huh? oh no I'm, I'm, I'm definitely i'm thinking of the other person yeah go on go on no no yeah yeah so, um but yeah somebody drew like somebody drew like slightly lighter on twitter and that started like a whole fucking shit fest uh that lasted several several days and like that that i think that ours got like chased off the platform and shit by people who are just so fucking mad about it and yet like every time somebody draws like uh i don't know black tanjiro from fucking demon slayer or some shit everybody's like oh that looks so good this and you know like it's a whole fucking thing like it's like yeah are we, so so we don't care that this person just like changed this character's ethnicity completely Oh, it only matters if it's somebody being changed from black to something else. If it's too black from something else, then it's fine. Right? So, like, I just, you know, I, I the whole song and dance. I I wrote up my tweets. I think you saw them. I'm pretty sure you put a like on them, Rosa. But like, just like I'm, I'm so fucking sick of the double standard, man. It's it's such stupid bullshit. And the fact that like they they try so very hard to justify it. It's they try so hard. Oh, you don't understand because there was pre there was racism in the past, so that means we we have to take their characters and make them black. And it's like, what? I just I I are you I not creative nothing, enough to make I, your own? Exactly. Like, yeah, that's that's where I went. Right. That's that was my post. Like, if you absolutely have to have a character that looks like you, if you lack the empathy to to understand a character that doesn't look like you, then for God's sake, just learn how to draw, make make a character yourself. Like, f fuck. Christ, instead of sitting up on Twitter complaining and bitching and like stealing someone else's <laughs> characters, that they took the time to learn how to draw so they could bring that character to reality. But nah, nah, that's that's a little too much for you, right? It's, it's too hard. So why don't You're you just take somebody Jimmy. else's character instead? Like, what the fuck? It's the dumbest shit. Uh, guys, it's not that they can't. Paint bucket brown, I fix it. <laughs> okay, wait, what, what the fuck? Why is Holocaust trending? <laughs> what the fuck? What? what no, what I is happening? Why is? I love hang Penn on. so much. I fucking love Penn Emerald so much. He's so hang he's on, so hang fucking on. dumb. This might generally he's be the so worst funny. thing I've ever tweeted. I'm so sorry. I saw Holocaust trending, and they just thought was oh shit a new Hollow Hollow Life France. <laughs> so curious, right? <laughs> Wait, but like, I I but I thought Niji Sanji was the Nazis. 
Oh, well, no, 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 the, the hollow they're just, they're just the racists. Never mind. The hollow, the oh. hollow part. No, is no, a joke. I, no, 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 I got it. I got, I got it. That's it. Because they're both big feature companies. Also, I was also unironically, Holocaust is trending in arts and culture because Stone Toss got doxxed. Oh yeah, ah. that was a big thing. Fucking Stone Toss ended up getting doxxed, and every there, there's quite a few people, of course, very you know left leaning people. Who are very happy about that, about the fact that he got doxxed and, you know, are hoping worse happens to him. So, Please you know, tell me you know, he's the, black. The, the, uh, no, no, he's, he's Italian. I, he's That's Italian. actually but, the funniest oh, thing ever. Oh, sorry, history. and Latino. So okay. Latino. He's, makes sense, he's a, makes sense. <laughs> he's, a, he's a white Latino. <laughs> this and checks his out. Name, his name is legit Hans. Oh. Hans? <laughs> he has a hmm, fucking German okay. name. Yeah, he's, so, he has so, like the most. I want to find it. Like I don't, because I did. I just. He's with literally me. Yeah, that's Facebook. what I was thinking. I was like, bro, he's literally me. <laughs> but yeah, that's. that's I like saying that's his full the... name, even though I don't believe in doxing people, because I find his name hilarious. It's Hans Christian Grabener. <laughs> Grabener. <laughs> oh, that's that's fucking amazing, bro. Yeah, and he's where Latino, we are. So. I love you. I also I kind of love Stone Toss. His, his comics are pretty funny. They're, they're um, so but yeah, he's so that's that's one of the uh, that's the other war that's going on on Twitter right now. Uh, aside from the Sweet Baby stuff and the 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 blackwashing stuff, there's the Stone Toss war that's also happening at the exact same time. And uh, yeah, some people are happy he's getting doxxed. Others like you know it's like oh you fucking hypocrites stop you know why would you be happy about people getting doxxed? That's fucked up, etc. And so on and so forth. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's just it's, just, it's fucked up. It's, it's a whole fucked up thing. I don't know, man. I, I feel like they're, like... I, I, I'll never understand the, like, insane fear of, like, being doc. There's so many people whose, like, names are just kind of out on the internet. Like, they just kind of, you know, publicly showcase who they are. And it's like, yeah, you could get, like, fucking swatted, which is fucking scary, right? Yeah. But, like... <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm not too, like... I don't know, maybe it's because I live in fucking Florida and you kind of expect people to, like, have a bit more fucking caution down here. Especially, like, cops. Like, you mm -hmm. have to be cautious if you want to not fucking die. <laughs> so... Oh, he, he's, he probably feels pretty brave because he's in Texas. Yeah, exactly. No. Like, he'll be, he'll be fucking Fair fine. Enough. And so it's just, like, one of those things, like, if you live in, like, in, like, one of these, like, states, right? Like, again, like, I live in Florida. Chat. I, I live in Florida. Mm -hmm. I, I live near Miami. Um... <laughs> And like one day people are gonna find me, and that's okay. The worst they can do is send me a box of shrimp to try to poison me. <laughs> like that's the worst you could possibly fucking do. Um, mm. cause again, like in these states, like cops are fucking careful. Cause if you don't, if you're not, you're gonna get fucking shot. If you're in a state where people are illegally allowed to fucking defend themselves, cops are not gonna just barge to your fucking house. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. Uh, live, live real estate where you can defend yourself. You're gonna be fine. Yeah, exactly. Uh, couldn't be me. Not, not, couldn't be me in California. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, like it, it's, it's a fear that I, I'll, I'll never personally comprehend. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not too worried about it either. But I mean, there's, there's something to be said for like, you know, fucking with people's anonymity in the internet, right? Because that's like the one yeah. thing we all have, and a lot of people, you know, for a lot of people, it's like a, it's a very much like a, an important thing to have, yeah. a, a safety thing, right? And like I'm some people YouTuber, just really, really don't. Don't want their their names and shit out there. I and just like, and, and there's also like the the fucking uh, the factors of like people trying to go after other aspects of your life through your for your like real identity. It's like people will try and get you fucking fired from your job and shit. Like you know, it's so like for a lot of people, it's real important to not have their actual you know information out there because you know they don't mm. want their, their their real life getting fucked over by their stupid internet life, <laughs> right? So I can I can understand it. I, I still think it's fucked up, in general. I, I I would I would not want to be doxing anybody for anything. I don't really. know, man. If I go for like a job application and like the person like like interviewing me is like, well, so we looked into you a bit. We found out you're actually a VTuber, and you you say really offensive shit online. I'd be like, yes. Does that bother you? And uh, they they refuse to hire me for it. I dodged mm -hmm. the bullet. Yeah, probably. I mean, that that might be a. A pretty like heavily um <laughs> in influenced esg type company at that point so yeah know. like uh, if i'm getting into a company and like they're freaking out over like stupid fucking nonsense like motherfucker i just came here to fucking sell your product like i don't give a shit 
about any of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I came here to perform a job. Right? Like, I, 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 I used to work, uh, a lot, a lot of people know this, but I used to work at GameStop and I used to be a manager. And I've said yeah. this publicly before, but, uh, like, if I see, uh, you're not, you're not supposed to discriminate, right? When you're hiring. Mm -hmm. But also, when you're looking you through, uh, huh? But you do. Everyone well, does. Yeah, everyone does. But when, when, when you're looking through applications, like, when you put in your reason why you deny an application, you can just put that there was a better candidate. So what you do is you just look through all the fucking candidates, call up the ones that interest you, right? Figure out which one you are going to end up keeping, and then the rest of them you just put in that like you found a better candidate. Nothing wrong with the person, you just found the better candidate. Right? Mm. But I'll be fucking full on. That always me off. If like, I interview somebody, <laughs> and they feel the need to tell me, like, their, like, their sexual preferences in an interview, I sure as fuck didn't ask for that. Why the fuck do I care? <laughs> I, 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 brought, I, I brought you in to sell video games, not to, like, fuck anybody. So why does this matter to me? That tells me, like, two... First off, it tells me this person's obsessed with their sexuality. Probably. Second off, it tells me this person's gonna cause me issues. Because they're gonna make their sexuality everybody's problem. And it's like, unless you're trying to flirt with me, or trying to give me a heads up that you're gonna flirt with clients, or staff, I have no reason to know what the fuck your sexuality is. I'm not gonna hire you. I'll tell you right now, I'm not. I will fully discriminate. Mm. Not on paper. That's the truth. And everyone does this. <clears throat> mm. You're only two in certain sectors, though. Huh? That's why I wanna, when I eventually make, uh, my own business, I'm just gonna have it classified as, like, a strip club. Because <laughs> <laughs> for whatever reason, if I just have, like, on the application only big titty women, that suddenly it's okay, because it's a strip club. <laughs> and it's gonna be something Damn. like a fucking Target, where we're just selling, like, useless junk. <laughs> Here's your groceries. Here's our big titty cashier. Have a good day. <laughs> that means, hey, I love like, this. Like good... great. I like I like this store. This is a good idea. Uh, I'm gonna make a I'm new here. target. It's gonna have blackjack and hookers. <laughs> I'm here to provide a service, or am I here to push the message? Yeah, exactly. It's like I, uh, <laughs> if if you can't tell me your fucking work qualifications without fucking spilling in your sex life into it, I, you're not the right person for the job. <laughs> I don't know how I would react if I was interviewing somebody and they go. Hello, it's Janelle, they, them, how are you? I'd be like, what the fuck, what the fuck is, what? <laughs> I just, like, like it, it's, it, it, uh, smacks of the fucking, that recent thing that was going around, the video of the, the person is like, uh, it's like when you go to the barber and it's like, oh, do I have your permission to touch you? And it's like, fucking, yes. Yes, I came here to get my fucking haircut. How are you going to do that <laughs> if you don't actually, like, touch me at all? What the fuck? <laughs> I'm sorry, ma'am. This position identifies as was where. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Jesus Christ. God. I uh, forgot okay. to do the video thing, and I'm just now realizing I look fuzzy as fuck. No, you do look good. a little fuzzy, but it, it's okay. It, like, it, it, like, fuzz and defuzzes as your internet kind of fluctuates. Yep, yeah, there's, like, a mm. setting you can check, and it fixes it, and I didn't check it, and I oh, forgot, yeah? and now I feel dumb. Oh, you, you should tell me what that setting is because I was not aware of this. I I, I just kind of allow it to to, to 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 do its 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 bidding. Video inherently rate limits I guess how much internet it can use. Oh, uh, you don't get to, uh you don't get this at the moment. You sit in the chair for the haircut. Yeah, yeah, it's really odd. You're like it's just like, it, <laughs> dude. I, I saw like one of the replies. This has to have been vague, but I saw one of the replies. It was someone saying that like if you've ever like kissed or like hugged your girlfriend, uh, without verbally saying that it was okay for you to do so then you sexually assaulted her. I was like I was like wow I cannot believe I grew up being sexually assaulted by my entire Latino family kissing me all the time and hugging me mm -hmm. I cannot believe this I cannot bro it my is... I sexually assaulted my mom as a baby she did not give me consent verbal consent to suck on her titty I, I said I said it before, man. But this generation coming up, they they, they got they they were born with glass bones and paper skin, just just straight uh, up. Like, I, I, I believe we call it retardation, and I think it's the fault <clears throat> of the schools and the parents. 
Yeah. And the yeah. internet. Being raised on the internet does things to you. I just, I just, I just wonder what what happens if like <laughs> you go to the to the barber and they ask for your your for your permission. <laughs> they, they wait. They ask for your permission to touch you. What the fuck happens if you say no? Like, do we find uh, out that the LGBT has like fucking like the force? Like, they just, they just like the hands are removed from the from the hair trimmer and it just starts floating towards you. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like we we find out they have methods for actually fucking cutting your hair without actually physically touching you. <laughs> you still have the Holocaust on the TV, by the way. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I let you know. The way you wore it, that was not ideal. <laughs> that is that is that is a that is a phrase out of context that is quite interesting, I must say. Someone please chat. clip that. Mm. Someone please clip that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to be fair, yes Lord. means yes policy started in California's universities in 2015. What does yes means yes? If what you don't I... have enthusiastic verbal consent, it's right. Ah. They so have what to constitutes... verbally. Well, enthusiastic, they kind of define as um, that you have to ask for consent throughout. Mm -hmm. So anytime you like change up positions or you change up where you're touching, <laughs> you have to get a new consent to, to change the position. Hey, hey, babe, I'm thinking of switching it up with the full Nelson. You uh, you go with that, or? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to cut this strand of hair. Now this one, are you sure? <laughs> oh, my God. Just checking. It's horrific. It is. It's why I would never live in California, and why we need to cut it off and let it fall into the ocean where it belongs. I mean, God. I was I was born I was born here. Okay, <laughs> I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say in this instance. I, I've been considering maybe uh, moving out of state though, like mostly because it's just come to Florida. Uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see on that one. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know. It's it's getting too expensive to fucking live Sir, here. Sorry, I have like, consent to ship to the other side of here. Yeah, it's fucking wild, dude. Like, don't get me wrong, like, consent's fucking stupid, important, stupid, stupid but, like, ass. nuance and basic common sense is also important, and extremely severely yeah. lacking these days. Just yeah. say this, just because it's so dumb. In California, you have to get consent if you want to switch sex positions, but if the mm. other person intentionally gave you AIDS, that's not even a problem, because yeah. they decriminalized that. That's wild. They, that is so they decriminalized wild. not informing your partner of AIDS? They decriminalized intentionally infecting your partner with AIDS. What? <laughs> what? Wait, 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 wait. It okay, is hang now on, a hang on, hang on, misdemeanor hang on, hang on. to intentionally infect somebody with an STD. What? <laughs> is this... It, it, okay, so so that is this implying... Because the way I put it, you said not that intentionally. Is, is this implying that the person who is being infected with the AIDS is also aware of the AIDS, or...? No, no, no. The, I think it, the implication the is that you... The other person is trying to infect them. Yeah, you you knowing that you have AIDS... Yes. ...had sex with someone and gave them AIDS without telling them or giving them any sort of warning, you intentionally went... And did the deed and spread your diseases. You can imagine the guy who introduced the bill. Yeah, that, like, Timothy, that absolutely smacks of, like, the king just signed a new law in so that he can do something super fucked up without, like, people questioning him over it. Like, yeah. like I, I recently read a manga where it's, like, a similar thing. It's like, oh, this guy put in a law that, uh, that lets the king fucking divorce people if uh, he f he feels that there's like reason to do so like the the woman's unsatisfied or whatever the fuck and it's like the only reason for this was that the the king could fucking divorce this one dude from his wife who he wanted to fuck so that he could take his wife and you know, get in there right so it's like that this smacks of like the the completely self-serving law that yeah, you no, made you... just so that you could do some horrific shit. <laughs> People think they know how bad California is. They don't. It always gets worse. There's always a, just a layer deeper that just makes you... We need to get rid of it. We need to nuke the state. I hate it. I hate it. Uh, prima and I'm sorry for the normal Californians that what are in, is... like, the farmland, but you're, you're going to have to be a worthy sacrifice for democracy. 
Sorry. What the, Sorry, wait, what the, fuck, what the fuck is Prima Nocta? Yeah, all of the... I, every single California I personally know is super chill. Oh, the ride of the first night. Yeah. Oh my god, I remember that Also, shit. I learned something, chat. <laughs> I learned something, uh, actually, I think also within the last two weeks. But... Or actually, it might have been before that. But... The I most, fucking remember that shit. The, the, the largest demographic of viewers that I have is from California. Like, more so than any other state, more so than any other country. I have more people watch me from California oh than I do God. in all of fucking England. Like, and, I, but like, dude, just the, the, <laughs> I just, I, I'm sorry, I can't get over that because I can't think like, like, what do you even, like, what is the step? Like, what do you call that? Like when it's like, the, like it's, it's a law that's signed into, into like, it's signed into being that is infinitely worse. That Like, how do you even make a, a law worse than Prima Nocta, which is the right of the monarch to just fuck anybody, even somebody's wife on the night of the marriage? right to the first like like when you just like this is just like prima nocta kawami or something this is prima nocta gaiden like what the <laughs> fuck are we doing here? for a short time that was a thing in iraq <laughs> i don't know it might still be who knows uh by the way for for the sake of the audience uh kawami translates to extreme so <laughs> uh. there you go yeah that, that, that sounds like the fucking like like the fucking plot of like an ntr uh Oh my god. god. Oh, what are we talking worst. about? <laughs> um Damn, I'd we keep we keep going on. <laughs> we gotta shift back before I start fucking uh getting getting racist on you guys. Oh man, I, I think we're, I'm we're like what, what's, what's on the screen right now is still the the race swapping thing. So I guess we but we kind of said all there is to say about that really. It's just stupid bitch babies on Twitter, you know, doing the typical Twitter bitch baby thing. Um I don't know. Aside I'm from that, though, to make them black. You can't make them white. <laughs> when I'm in a racism competition and my my opponent is a progressive, a liberal. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. Like... liberal yeah, progressive. <laughs> but what if, what if it was what, if, what if it was even worse than that? What if your opponent? Follow me on this music. What if your opponent was the one and the only sweet baby ink? <laughs> Because as a matter of fact, there's some, there's a whole fucking saga to go over at this point oh that is pretty much boy. led into the actual GamerGate 2. So let's let's start at the beginning. Their parent we, we're, company we'll, has an even worse name. Yeah, we'll get we'll get there. So we're starting with let's see, is the the Steam Group uh, Sweet Baby Inc. detected, which is a Steam Group that was made specifically for the purpose of listing games that uh, Sweet Baby Inc. worked on. So that people would know and of course it draws its uh information directly from the, the sweet, sweet baby, baby Inc. Site. website which is public and all this information is public now <clears throat> the thing that happened though is that uh somebody took issue with with sweet baby ink detected quite a bit of issue as a matter of fact uh and that person would be chris kindred who as a matter of fact is an employee of sweet baby ink uh, so let's see. The exact quote here is, uh, anyway, report the fuck out of this group and report the creator since he loves his account so much. So we have a sweet baby ink, uh, employee inciting a fucking harassment campaign against a steam user who is a, uh, a Brazilian man, by the way. Uh, I who is doing nothing other living. than spreading information that is on the website for the the company that he works Already. for? Already, yes. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, I God, I just remember the name of the name of the guy who's uh, who actually created the Steam Group. is is a Brazilian dude. He's he's pretty chill. He was he actually uh, he was on he was on with Asmund Gold. He had like a whole interview with him, uh, and he seemed like a pretty chill guy. He's like, yeah, like all I wanted to do was let people know which which games these are. You know, just spread the word a little bit, letting because we're all kind of sick of. You know, the whole fucking gaming industry kind of going downhill with all this bullshit. And I thought I would let people know what was happening. So I made the Steam group. <laughs> and and that was that was all I was trying to do. More people are <clears throat> the fucking Steam group than the fucking game. <laughs> yeah, so 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 trigger the uh the Streisand effect in full effect. Which is to say, this team group, like a lot of people point, is like yeah, this team group was there and it was fine. It was, it was doing okay. It was it was at like I don't know, a couple thousand people, right? Uh, after Chris Kindred decided to take a shot at them, that number jumped up to like six thousand, 
then 7,000, then 8,000. Uh, yes, the at the time tales. of speaking, yeah, at the time of speaking, this group now has 100,000 people in it. Uh, <laughs> I'd heard the number 200,000, but what I'm seeing on the actual Steam page as of this moment is 100,000, so I don't know. I kind of I kind of doubt there actually was 200,000 and then just like 100,000 people dropped out since since somebody last looked at it. I, I kind of doubt that's what happened. So maybe it was only 100,000. Somebody uh, grabbed the 200,000 number added nowhere. I don't know. But anywho, uh, this triggered a fucking snowball effect across both Sweet Baby and uh, gaming journalism, as a matter of fact. Uh, so after after uh, what was it? Uh Chris Kindred went in. There was uh, another user who uh, is known for causing trouble. I forget what their name was. Fuck. I wish I, I wish I gotten more uh, more posts hey, to like go through the entire anyway, thing here. The fuck out of this group. <clears throat> yeah, it's. It so yeah, being employee advocates for certainly inclusion. Tries to censor Brazilian user from Latin America. Oof. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's. It's been a whole fucking thing. Wait, Wikipedia just shut down edits to the Sweet Baby Ink page? <laughs> really? Oh, no! Hmm. I wonder if it's accurate. Hmm. <laughs> I see. I wonder why. I wonder if it has anything to do with the, like, constant fucking back and forth editing. Yeah, so, so, yeah, I, I don't remember the name of the other person, but, um, they, they jumped in and decided to fucking go at people who were arguing with Chris Kindred about the, the whole uh, Sweet Baby Ink Detected group. And that devolved into, like, just outright racism because uh, the the whole thing with uh, some, some interviews with the Sweet Baby Ink CEO, I forget what her name is. Uh... See her stuff. I God, I can't remember her name either. But um, she there's been a few like there's been some interviews that have come out and like some talks that she's done that had some very interesting content in them, including but not limited to uh the the plan like teaching people how to uh get people's marketing departments and uh, terrify them with the idea of like getting canceled on Twitter and whatnot if they don't comply with all the ESG uh inclusivity all that shit right so that that was a whole thing and there was another thing about uh a recent one this is a more recent uh interview that just came out actually you should put this one up because this is this is interesting this one you should put this one up on screen real quick uh let me just send it to the this oh, 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 oh. Uh, about there yeah, hang on and and let the audience see that one in case in case you guys have missed this one somehow. Should I play this video? It's uh, yeah, yeah. So you can get, let me get the audio. Let, one. let me give them the audio. Mm -mm. Uh, hey Maya. We work very hard to get marginalized talent into the industry to protect them the way that we would want to have been protected, to lift them up and to Sounds get them so into an industry mm -hmm. where they're too often shut out. And basically, I think to take over, take over, take over, take over, take <laughs> over <laughs> in, the, in the hopes that some really dope people will be able to lead into kind of an, a new era for an industry that's been kind of, you know, the same way too long. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, so like, it, it's like, it, it's funny. It, it, I, I immediately think of fucking uh, Shabiri from fucking Elden Ring, right? Where it's like, Shabiri's talking to you. He sounds real calm and he's explaining stuff. And, and it's like, what he's saying makes sense for a little bit there. He's just like, oh, you, hey, you want to save your firekeeper, right? Then you, you got to do it, man. He's got to save her. She, you, you love her. She's great. She's been helping you this whole time. Like, come on. And then, you know, at near the end, the, then we get to the part where it's like, may chaos take the world. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. All right. Well, well, now I see where we're actually going with this. Yeah. <laughs> may ESG take the fucking gaming industry, right? Oh, no, <laughs> I always hate the start of those, too. Like, Shut out. Because I know how? a lot of people... If you don't tell us and you don't get in, I'll explain you how. The reason is that a certain demographic of people has a really hard time understanding that sometimes your skills don't mm -hmm. qualify, right? Yeah. And... Even if, even if there are other people of that same demographic being hired, right? There is clearly no signs of any actual 
like malicious intent to uh, uninclude certain people. Yeah. If you specifically yeah. are not put in, why all of your narcissism piles into the oh my god they must be racist, phobic, tist, etc. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And so I'm very racist, phobic, tistic. Yeah, and so <laughs> <laughs> racophobatistic is uh, my new title. I like that. Um, but anyway, and so like that's that's just what it happens, right? So these people just can't understand the idea of just get better forehead. Just get good. Yeah, yeah. They so, can't get good. So this has been compounded by the fact that uh, after the the, the 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 battle has kind of spread out from Twitter at this point and into da, 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 game journalism because we we love our game journos don't we yeah but i guess you guys haven't noticed anything these people touch and make is fucking dog shit so you know it's not yeah. hard to put two and two together and say hey maybe the reason why you guys were getting you know why you guys weren't being led into companies to begin with jesus christ jazz uh sorry i took my camera back <laughs> uh maybe the reason is because people weren't fucking skilled Oh yeah. What a concept. Yeah, I mean, here's, this, this, this image here, is so here, here's, I'm gonna <laughs> Yeah, here's here, here's the thing. Like cause like they 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 cry and bitch and moan about you know uh inclusivity and representation and all that shit, but it's like we we had black people and Asian people and and, chi and fucking uh, I don't know Latin people and women and even, even gays they all existed in video games before you guys came in and tried to like put even more of the, like there it was there was a natural thing happening i don't it, know it was, you kind of struggle like, we were, with that kind of struggled your way through that kind of feel like you want to be we got the ching chongs we got the homos <laughs> <laughs> but, no, 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 i'm being real I'm, I'm being real for a second i'm being genuine because like th these like this was already happening in game like because because there's a difference between like the the natural progression of inclusivity and yeah. representation and all that shit and then there's the extremely forced at gunpoint do it or you'll lose your fucking job and never be hired in this industry again version of inclusivity and and diversity and all that right there's the fucking terrify your designers and, and developers the people who are actually talented into doing what you want them to do so they don't get labeled a, a racist or a fucking homophobic or the big wouldn't all that shit right and that's that's what sweet baby is and it sucks because like i just I, I hate it when it happens where it's the the fucked up person who is using like a a normally good thing as a shield to do fucked up shit because like the yeah. ideas of inclusivity and and representation and uh and diversity and all that shit like that's great those are good ideas those are that's fine right i like those ideas i think we I could disagree. use more of this that and the other but wait, 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 hang on I'm let, me, let, me finish. <laughs> let me let me finish let me finish like these things are good where they make sense right where they make sense to happen and i'm not i'm not saying yeah. like we have to make like a game needs to be made for everyone instead Some of making should only a game be made that, for yeah. people. I get what you're saying. So like instead yeah. of like instead of uh, inclusive the way that they're doing it, where it's like, oh, this game has people of every demographic sitting in like fucking China, right? In yeah. about yeah. equal parts. Instead, it's like, oh, mm -hmm. here we have a game that's like dedicated to like the Chinese people and like their culture. Here we have a game dedicated to you know black people and their culture. And here we have a game that's that yeah, yeah, like yeah, and we have that. We have mm. that. Yes. Can... What's this fucking game called? Uh, it's Def Jam. You guys remember Def, Def Jam? Yeah, Def, Def, Def Jam's so fucking good. Oh, but they ruined Def Jam, though. When when Icon came out, they fucked up that whole series. Yeah, but, like, you get what I'm saying. It's like, we had uh, good shit. Yeah. We had we good shit. We, 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 we always have. And like and it's, and it's so disingenuous, too, because, like, you, you saw the, uh, they, they dragged up some some tweets uh, from some sweet baby people. It was like, oh, I can't believe this moment. I finally got a black dude on a, on the, the main case of the game. And it's, like, talking about Suicide Squad, right? About fucking uh, Deadshot. Who they fucking race swapped because apparently he did exist in the Arkham games before uh, Kill the Justice League came out. He was a white dude, but they like put in some fucking story in uh, in Suicide Squad about like how apparently that guy was an imposter while the real Deadshot was in jail and it was a black guy the whole time. And it's like, the fuck are you doing? <laughs> like, and obviously it's like there's been plenty of games before now that had like black protagonists on the box art and yeah, you could Snake see did, them and they were there Snake dude was you know, just like, talking like, about Mike Tyson 
Punch yeah. Out. Yeah, 50 Cent. Yeah, 50 Cent had his video games. Fucking the, the protagonist of Prototype 2 was a black dude, et cetera, and so on. You got Coltrane and Gears of War and, and, and so on and so forth. Like, it's it's literally the shit where it, it's the same shit that's happening in, in movies, right? Where it's like, oh, this is the first strong, uh, deaf, female, whatever the fuck. It's like, no, there's already like a, a strong uh, black female whatever character in this movie from like five or ten years ago or like shit like that. Like it's a, you're not the first to do this shit. You're not breaking new ground. You're not shattering a glass ceiling. You're not doing any what of this shit. What was the really you're stupid just, one? You're just virtue signaling. That's all. I forget who it was. It was like Emma Watson or something. Who in like 2016 who mm-hmm. released like a new movie where she was the star and she mm-hmm. goes on an interview and goes, "This is the Emma first Watson. time." I know exactly what you're talking about. It was, uh, that was the woman who did, uh... Was it Hunger Games? Hunger Games, yep. It was the Hunger she, Games lady. I remember this. She gets up I... on the, um, in the interview and she says, this is the mm-hmm. first time <clears throat> the main character of a movie has been a woman. And it's like, <laughs> what the f*** are you talking <laughs> about? <laughs> she, she turned oh, around like apologized for it uh, afterwards. And, you know, yeah, I, Lawrence, I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think she like admitted that, like, like you know, she was just kind of in the moment, and you know, she kind of like, a, which I, yeah. I can, I can respect. If, if you can admit that you were, you had a fucking tardism for a yeah, moment, yeah. that's fine. <laughs> yeah. All right, that's uh, fine. Yeah. All right, you, you can but have like your these... fucking like tard moment. I get those all the time. Absolutely. But, I but get these to make sweet fun baby people are moment. just. Yeah. Yeah, but <laughs> these sweet baby, these sweet baby people like. Like they've had people point this shit out to them, and they still just they they just they just they do not see it, right? They fucking turn away. It's like uh, no, nope, oh they see it. No, nope, no, nope, we were the first. Yeah, well, yeah. Either they're completely <laughs> ignoring it, or they or they just don't give a shit that there's like so much proof to like shoot down every stupid fucking utterance that they make at this I, point. I have a much, theory. I think these people are fucking ignorant, and they're <sighs> they're like complete fucking uh, tourists to like like the the, yeah. the areas that they're going into. These people don't watch movies, yeah. they don't care about things, they're just narcissists who want to roll and to want to be in, seen in public. That's all it is. Exactly. And this is and this is why I can never get a, a good answer to the question, okay, so you want to see this, that, and the other in, in a thing, so why don't you make a new thing with this, that, and the other? And of course, they never. There's never been a satisfying answer to that question. And the reason why, I believe I know the reason why, is because the only thing more painful than a narcissist... Uh, being called out on their bullshit by somebody else is having to call out their own bullshit themselves and that's exactly what answering that question would mean if they're answering it truthfully because they know that what they're really there for is the popular thing they want to take over the popular thing they don't want to make a popular thing themselves they don't want to put in that work they want to take the thing that's already popular and serve themselves in that my desire and call to make it a and like turn around call it their own my desire my, <laughs> my extreme desire to make a racist joke <laughs> Make one. Fuck it. it. Is it? it it's, the, one? it's the offensive charm it. podcast. <laughs> offensive charm podcast. What's the name podcast. of the uh, of, of, of of that one company? The 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 like black hmm. black black gamer girls. Something black, like that? Oh, black 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 girl gamers. I think was the yeah. Was the other one. Yeah. What's the deal with black girl gamers fucking propagating racist stereotypes about black people stealing things? <laughs> Stop stealing Ooh, our IPs. Baby. <laughs> but yeah man like they just they, they 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 these are the kind of people who don't want to put in the work they'd rather just put in the grift because the grift is so much easier and for the last like decade it's been extremely effective and people are only starting to turn on it now but they are starting to turn on it it's happening and i'm i'm hoping that i don't know i don't maybe think it's ever to... been that effective yeah i don't think so either because the only <laughs> the only times they've ever released any product that's done remotely mm. well quote unquote is when it's tied to something else well but even then I mean, it's always done worse than the one that came before it no no no, no. okay so you, you misunderstand i don't mean it effective in the fact that it's actually like doing numbers and selling copies and shit i mean effective in that they're able to stay in there while it's fucking up everybody's shit and still like leech money and then get out scot-free that's what i mean it's oh, it, that's the just grift, business, the, though. The, that doesn't even surprise me like, yeah, the grift is successful, not the businesses being grifted. The grift itself is what's successful and has been for the last decade. See, that's, though, that's that doesn't the... surprise me because we have stuff yeah. like how hmm. when Netflix tried to sell themselves to Blockbuster for like peanuts and Blockbuster turned hmm. it down because they're like, people will never <laughs> want digital shit. Like, <laughs> I don't, businesses being idiots and not, like, being able to see two steps ahead really doesn't surprise me. I guarantee there's a ton of businesses 
Because you see this a lot specifically on the Japanese side, where the only reason Japanese developers even go along with it is because their mm -hmm. interpreter goes, well, this is what sells in America, yeah, so if yep. you don't do this, it's not going to sell. Yep. And then they mm. do it, and then they immediately fucking pull out, because they don't have any actual skin in the game, which is why I, I genuinely believe that, like, mm. there is there is something... Let me pull my tinfoil hat real quick. <laughs> no, go for it. Well, it's like, it's like, it's like people, because, like, this whole, like, the word conspiracy is being thrown around a lot lately, right? Yeah. But, like, is it still a conspiracy when the fucking CEO of Sweet Baby just comes out and says they're trying to take over the industry? Like, she literally just says it in the interview we just watched. She's just saying it. Is it still a conspiracy? Is it, is, is it, is it, or is it, it just what's happening? Is it still or is it just a conspiracy just what's happening? when the fucking Department of Homeland fucking security? <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, well, that's, that's Homeland all Homeland Security, yeah, we'll is that it was? It was, it was Homeland Security, right? Do, or do, do we, do we, do we, do we, fuck it, fuck it, we'll get there. Let, let's see, where is it? Uh, da, 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 da. I think what I find most interesting about this is that where it's proven it? to me that the Japanese side of the industry is not nearly as, like, tight-knit as the American gaming industry. Yeah, no. Oh, because they all kind of fall every individually, thing. then back out, yeah. Yeah, each of them will come in individually, they'll realize how shit it is, and then they'll never do it again. And you see it over and over with different Japanese developers. But they never yeah. tell their friends. Yeah, they yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is. It, it is very, very funny. But like, and, and that's what I'm saying. Uh, like, I feel like, like, dude, the, the, these companies. There has to be something else that they're fucking gaining for this to be fucking worth it. To not immediately be like, "Wow, that was terrible. We're never believing these people ever again." Oh no, I, a good I, product. I actually know the oh, answer yeah. to that. Go on. Uh, but yeah. Uh, do you guys know why a lot of indie companies choose to take epic exclusivity deals? Epic ex exclusivity deals? Don't doesn't Epic yeah. like pay them a shit a shit ton for the exclu uh, exclusivity? Like like Epic a shit ton more than buys Steam a certain number of copies of their game if they choose to be exclusive. So it is right, guaranteed right. revenue if they sign on mm -hmm. with Epic, and right. because they buy the copies instead of just giving the money, it actually counts as the game being a success. So mm -hmm. I found this out while I was reading through Sweet Baby Inks, uh like who was funding them. But when mm -hmm. you finally get to like the top company, Baby Ghost, when you go to their funding section, Baby Ghost, yep, that fuck, yeah, that's the it mentions fucking... that they give out up to something like two hundred and fifty thousand dollars to indie studios that they're friends with and they've worked with in the past yeah. uh, of guaranteed yeah, yeah. Oh. income, and it even says that until the company makes money, they don't have to pay it back. So it's just yeah. guaranteed we will give you this and you will make money. It's yeah, the same sure thing that Epic some, does. Uh, so, They're doing yeah, it the, because it's a flat guaranteed income at the start. Well, yeah, yeah but yeah, it's heard, for these I other smaller companies. Where the fuck thing, is Baby right? Ghost getting their fucking money? If they're uh, just Alex handing Chalupa. out... Like, if they're just handing out... Yeah, but how much fucking money does this bitch have? She's just fucking handing out fucking trillions of fucking dollars out to these companies that never fucking produce anything that actually makes anything worth fucking while. Like, these, these no, companies, Alec, they well, never make a fucking, like, a return. Alec Haluka's dead. Uh, his game actually did sell well. Yeah, that uh, was Night in the Woods, they, right? They, yeah, Night in the Woods. And they started funneling money out of his company and into Baby Ghost That's after right. he died. Good night, Brother Doom. Well, I Sorry, guess, but how, how deep is this fucking well? I think it's that way with a lot of companies. There's probably a lot of... You know, what What's the quote? Behind every great man, there's a great woman or something. Uh, mm -hmm. In this case, it's behind every great game. There's scam artists trimming some off the top. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it, it's like, and it is being reflected in just the way the game industry is trending lately. Because we're we're in March right now, and we're up to what, like eight thousand layoffs or something across the industry. I believe I, I believe that's the last number I heard. It's it's the number's pretty fucking up there for like it's three crashing. months into the year. Yeah, it's 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 fucking nuts. And I imagine I, I do believe a good number of those layoffs are coming from like the 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 ESG. Uh, departments and, and shit like that right i know what's happening with uh because a matter of fact this is starting to circle up to uh to blackrock and whatever but, but before that let's talk about the, the, the department of homeland security that reza just mentioned uh department of homeland security funded take this just put out a document demanding that game companies denounce gamergate 2 responding to gamergate 2 hate harassment and toxic behavior have no place in games Oh man, tell that to the the Modern Warfare 2 lobbies. I'm ready for Gamergate too. It's gonna <laughs> by be taking funny. Direct, 
By taking direct, targeted action in a timely manner, we can mitigate further harm to talented, dedicated folks in games and help prevent additional recurrences to these uh, of these harmful events. Now, fucking the the what's it called the. The, the, this is all circling back. But I, I want to remind everyone: this is all circling back to the the initiating incident, which was the creation of Sweet Baby Inc. Detected a fucking Steam group that does nothing but tell you what games Sweet Baby Inc. has a hand in. That's it, and the rest of it, the entire rest of this whole fucking thing, is Sweet Baby having a giant fucking bitch fit and getting everyone in on it. Every fucking game journal going in, writing articles, defending Sweet Baby, none of them, oddly enough, mentioning the fact that this whole thing was started by a Sweet Baby employee harassing somebody on Steam who happens to be a Brazilian man, you know, not, not <laughs> you know, not, none of them are mentioning that part of it. Weird. Strange. Hmm. I, I wonder why that is. <laughs> It's like the most disingenuous bullshit, and it's it's just reinforcing everyone's already held belief that we've all had for a while now that games journalism is fucking worthless, which, you know, it is. It is just completely fucking worthless. And, uh, yeah. Uh, oh, do you want to read through the whole the, the, the response? <laughs> do I actually go through it? I'm just, do you want to? I mean, we it. could. Do you want to? I'm, I'm curious to see, it's, like, what exactly it is. It's not very say. long. I'm oh, down. <laughs> okay, fuck it. Let's see. What do we what do we got? Re re <laughs> Take us through it, Rosa. If you're reading this, you've probably been hearing about what's now called Gamergate 2. It's the latest targeted harassment campaign within the game industry, and it's aimed at Sweet Baby Inc., a Montreal-based narrative development studio. The campaign has also been mm -hmm. impacting entities and games associated with Sweet Baby. To lists covering the issue, and others associated in various ways with targets, you also may be at a loss to know how to talk about this issue. And what, if anything, you can do about it. That's where we come in. Mm. Want to read the rest? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Discord, Steam, and X have been the predominant platforms where the abuse and harassment has been taking place. In these spaces, lists of game studios, companies, and associated organizations are being circulated for targeting, er, for targeting by members of the mob. Large-scale harassment campaigns like this fuel and are fueled by political events. As political rhetoric heats up ahead of the U.S. presidential election later this year, this kind of online activity is going to ramp up, and it's important to understand that these phenomena are interrelated. I'm yes, glad that everybody. they said it so I don't have to! It's it's all the fault of right, far-right extremists who hate you and your diversity and your video games that have the diversity. <laughs> now that they've said it, now that they've said it and I don't have to... <laughs> Can I, yeah. can I, can I say something? By all means, before we read the rest. Yeah, the, the numbers just don't add up in my head how this fucking company can continue to send money to all these other companies and fund all these, all these fucking failing fucking projects without somebody mm -hmm. influxing money into that particular company. And there's no way it's just some fucking dead dude and his, like, like, popular indie game. Like, I'm sorry, I just don't it's believe all, that. It's, it's, it's all Orange Man's fault. I, I, I oh genuinely... God. Imagine Trump actually gets mentioned in here somewhere. I, I, I don't see his name. I doubt but. it. But I, I, dude, I am telling you, like, this shit is politically funded somehow. I'm calling this shit now. I mean, hey, Department of Homeland Security is getting in on it, so. They yeah, said it. So. They, they said it. They, they, they said it. This is, this is intertwined with the politics. Ooh, the politics hang ahead on, of the on. U.S. presidential election. <laughs> Hang on, hang on. I'm turning into as, me. As, <laughs> as scholars and journalists have noted, scholars have gotten in on this <laughs> fucking video game controversy. Really? The scholars are getting in on the fucking video yes. game bullshit I, happening on Twitter? This word means fucking nothing yeah? today. I want you guys <laughs> to know mean... that. That word... And I'm a philosopher, okay? <laughs> <laughs> that word means fucking nothing today. All right, <laughs> fucking what's his face? Fucking uh, uh oh, Osama God. something. That one fucking uh, the oh my God. Bin Laden. No. <laughs> Different Osama. <laughs> Different. Um, okay, God, the he's he's this fucking ja the the uh, games uh, it's a games director. Let me go fucking find oh, his, fuck. uh, his his thing. Uh, to somewhat <laughs> loop back to a previous question, it's not the mm -hmm. Alex Haluka's game funds like all of this crap. Because mm -hmm. Sweet no, Baby Inc. is no only... Way. There's no fucking way. 
<laughs> Sweet Baby Inc. has only actually done like 15 games or something like that. Hmm. And their yeah. parent company, um, Weird uh, Ghost. Ghost Ghost Baby? No, baby so ghost? it's Sweet there's a, there's Baby Inc. baby ghost in there somewhere too. Sweet Baby Inc. I, I remember is funded by Baby, baby ghost. ghost, which is owned that, by yeah. Weird Ghost. Oh uh, Weird Ghost has deleted every studio they've given money to. Weird Ghost is the one that gives out something like two hundred fifty thousand mm -hmm. uh, dollars, and currently it's not disclosed what companies they gave two hundred fifty thousand dollars to. Mm. Um, That's a lot of fucking money. It is. It is. Uh, but the thing is, there's multiple of these consulting companies. All of them have their their money coming from different places. Uh, this one I don't doubt is getting some of their money from Canada because they are a Canadian-based company. So there's probably some shit up there where they're getting money from the government. Mm -hmm. Which, in that case, that's Canada. There's only so much you can do. Yeah. <laughs> but this the, the country is up. lost. Osama it's like California, but cold. <laughs> Osama Dorius. This, this person's a fucking professor at College Dawson. Uh, oh, oh, is this the guy who, who tried to school people on the definition of racism? Yes. And didn't even look at the fucking link that he put? Yes. That clearly says that racism is based on fucking race. He's he's very much focused Oy. on the second definition. Uh, which, the, the systemic power racism power definition which that still, was added in like Hold on, which even then, yeah. even fucking then, you can fu like you are you fucking kidding me? Are you like are we really going to pretend like fucking like white and Asian people aren't like f systemically excluded out of higher education? Like, fuck off! Well, yeah. <laughs> you really Luckily, want to talk we, about we, systemic we, racism? Are you fucking kidding me? We we did manage to run back affirmative action, so at least that's gone. But that was around for a fucking long time, and that was expressly discrimination against whites and Asians in academia. Yeah, and it's just like, like, dude, it's like, it's absolutely fucking mind-boggling. The, like, retardation. And again, this person is a fucking professor at a university. The word scholars you know, means fucking nothing. It doesn't really surprise me, right? I don't believe in you. Again, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a university professor. We, we know what's going on in the universities these days. We all know. Eat hot chip and we lie. Know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, the fucking Palestine flag and his goddamn banners. Let's... Anyway, uh, as scholars and saying. journalists have noted, the targeted harassment, right. <laughs> hate, and cult no, you're good. And cultural norms that were at the heart of Gamergate in the mid 2010s never went away. No, what never went away was the fucking people who started Gamergate in the fucking first place. Sarkeesian's legacy has carried all the way here to today and lives on in fucking Sweet Baby and Ghost Baby and Baby Ghost and all, all that no, shit. she has her own consulting company. She still actively yeah. consults for game studios. Sarkeesian's yeah, you, you legacy it's got sounds like a like 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 the fucking uh like 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 some like 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 Elden Ring like lore <laughs> yeah, like yeah like a, like a faction like a subtitle on, yeah. a, on a DLC. Sarkeesian's legacy. So, We're gonna fight the the, the ancient Sarkeesians who rule the That's just Midland. something though. Like I always have to kind of <laughs> complain kill about the that. gamers. <laughs> Because you'll, mm -hmm. you'll get a ton of people that are like, well, Anita's not relevant anymore. She doesn't do anything. That was years ago. No, she's still mm -hmm. a consultant. She still actively consults for EA and Ubisoft. Mm -hmm. She literally yeah. works in, like on these games still. Yeah. I don't know what she you're just, talking she, about. She just she just doesn't like make herself <laughs> as obvious anymore. Like, she did learn a lesson, is that, and that one lesson is stop making it so obvious. She clearly didn't teach that to you know Sweet Baby and some of the others. Oh no, she, popping she's their heads done, up with um, this bullshit. But uh, but yeah, she, she made it obvious on purpose. <laughs> she's yeah. done talks about this before. The whole thing was a scam. Yeah. <laughs> Like, and of course, it, she, the only thing she if came you up with like was Anita Sarkeesian, there's a extremely... video out there where she explains yeah. how this entire thing is a scam that she learned how to do at a seminar where mm -hmm. basically you make yourself the target of a harassment campaign and then you mm -hmm. capitalize off of that to make money. <laughs> she yeah. got this advice from a scam seminar and she admitted that on oh video. My God. <laughs> just like that one person who was on Twitter a while back who like was was like whining and bitching about being like harassed, but then like they didn't actually that log narrow out it down of their at main account. Yeah. Well, no, 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 no. Because this person like the stupid thing about them is that they didn't like log out. I can't remember the actual name, but they didn't log out of their main account, and so people easily found out that they were the ones writing the harassment comments to themselves. I don't <laughs> so, know. I needed to do that to myself one that? time. Oh man, Brianna Wu. Brianna Wu. That's the one. But that was Wu. on Steam. She was tried to harass oh, okay. herself on Steam. On Steam, okay, yeah, yeah, that was the one. But that's that stupid shit. 
The post was something oh like, God. is Brianna Wu, uh, de developer Space Cat Gal, an awful per- and noted feminist, an awful person. Uh, and it was under her own Space Cat Gal account. It's like, good, good job, hon. Good job. Damn. Oh, no. Couldn't even, like, go the extra mile to make it actually sound vitriolic, right? Couldn't, like, call herself a bitch or something, you know? Like, at least make it sound actually mean to yourself. Like, the fuck are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Brianna Wu, that, that, Brianna, <laughs> Brianna Wu, that beautiful, intelligent, powerful woman is actually a, an extreme feminist? Oh, really? Like, like what the frick are you doing? If anybody in chat wants to provide it for me, because I'm genuinely too oh, lazy to god. go find it again, but I know it exists, there's an interview where Brianna Wu mm -hmm. reads the Navy SEAL copy pasta. And she says, mm -hmm. this is a legitimate threat somebody sent me on Twitter. Oh <laughs> and my she God. literally also, reads King. the entire Navy SEAL copy pasta start to finish. It's fantastic. That is, I'm pretty good. <laughs> Yo, King I'm, King, I'm glad you're here. I need to ask you, how the fuck do you keep getting these screenshots of me for the for the thumbnails? Because like, <laughs> I was looking at the thumbnail King made for the Convergence mod. And it's like, how does he keep getting these fucking... Like, is he just like actually just taking screenshots of the, of the streams, like of specific moments and just starting to... <laughs> Yes, holy shit, man. I, I I appreciate the hustle on that one. I really do. Uh, but anyway, hang on, hang on. We, we, have, we have to get through the rest of this. I want to read the rest. Uh, where did I, I leave off? Uh, yeah, Harder Game Mitch has never went away. People in game spaces, especially marginalized developers and content creators, face hate and harassment daily. Good. Damn. Execute them. <laughs> you deserve in it. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's, let's be real here if, if you are if you are marginalized in whatever way because that could just mean like you're a minority of some kind right if you're doing all that but you're not making that the center of your fucking personality and you just make a game that's fun and shit no one plus, would care they you. exist they're great. real there's a few of them great. they you're actually doing exist you're, keep doing that keep doing it uh yeah you know the, the grass you guys also <laughs> fell for a seal, uh, navy seal copy pasta literally like yeah dude Neil deGrasse is a fucking idiot like I, I I hate him. Every time I see him, I'm like I'm like, why the fuck do like the fucking people worship this man? This man is the fucking science man. Like this dude's a fucking moron. Have yeah, you guys seen the meme video? Which one? Uh I think it was the um years. the oh, guy who's like talking to his friends mm -hmm. and he he's like, Hey guys, uh if I was going through something, would you be there for me? No. And each of them no, just starts no. ripping That's on him. That's how yeah. that's how I feel about this article. I'm just the guy that goes, I hope you reach out to me so I can <laughs> hang up on you. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, fucking up. I want to go to I want to go to your funeral knowing I could have prevented that. <laughs> you were smart in the books and uh but dumb in the in the streets. No. I I think Neil's a good example of like not like has all the knowledge, has zero of the fucking actual intelligence to like apply it and like understand it. Right, like oh no, I, in, in, there was that intelligent one but he, not wise. I, I, ugh, I think it was, I think it was uh, a couple years ago. He 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 was talking, I don't know who the fuck it was talking to, but he was quoted in saying on the lines of, uh, "If if the majority of people agree on something, then that's probably the, like the scientific truth or something like that." Oh, and it's just like are you fucking retarded. Like what? Yeah. <laughs> okay, no, well we, in that I, case, I, cigarettes I, I, are I, good, I, good I, for I, you. I, how dare you I say otherwise? Him, uh, the other day in like the under the tea thing, we were making fun of mm -hmm. him because yeah. he he and Bill Nye and a lot of other people are the same thing. Mm -hmm. And like they're really smart in one specific field of science. And they have like gaslit themselves into believing that means they're a genius in everything. Mm. Well, yeah. smart yeah. and knowledgeable are different things. I think they're very knowledgeable in their fields. I think intelligence is something that you have, like, that. that's more of, like, an overall thing. And I think mm. people are overall fucking idiots. Like, these people are the definition of a fucking midwit. <laughs> well, that, and I think one of my, like, favorite interviews I've ever seen with Neil is, because, reminder, he's an astrophysicist, and he's yeah. in an interview with a biologist talking about biology, and Neil looks at the guy dead in the eye and goes, I know mm. more about biology than you. I was like, you literally don't. It's literally not your field. Yeah. <laughs> and that is the problem with Neil. Oh yeah, wasn't, he got wasn't way Neil too like big for his, to... own, his own bridges, and now he thinks he's a genius in all science. Wasn't Neil like trying to like argue for like the 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 hundred genders and shit? Like, was, was isn't that was yeah. that him? That was yeah. Bill Nye. That's 
Was that what was that was that Bill Nye too? I hate the Frankenstein. I hate the Frankenstein, you Neil, but but uh, your fucking astrology bullshit does not have a play in fucking like biology. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Here, is uh, Neil is one of the smooth brains that pushes the spectrum of genders BS, yeah. Yeah. yeah uh, it's a complete Christ. fucking world. Okay. All right, where were we? Uh, okay. In fact, research conducted by Take This has outlined an entire spectrum and typology of extremism and dark participation. <laughs> Hold on. What is the dark participation? What does this mean? There's a link to dark participation in games. What is this? <laughs> dark participation. Oh my god. Uh, I, I think he probably means like the, the shrieking like 10 year olds that say the N word on, on the Call of Duty lobbies. <laughs> I think that's probably what oh, he's look, there's Brown Woo. <laughs> Dark so the condensed version I found was that dark participation yeah. is any deviant action that takes place in games, whereas toxic mm -hmm. behaviors are actions that cause harm to another player and can vary from culture to culture. So, like... Anytime you're an asshole in a game, you are a dark mm -hmm. participant. Oh, so if you make, like, a cheese build and Dark Do Souls and dark invade pass? somebody and fuck their shit up, like, are you a dark participator? Is that, is that is that the next <laughs> the next Souls game and there's gonna be the Dark Participator Covenant? <laughs> you know, I, I found like a proper study for it, and they define dark participation. And so dark participation in games, i.e., trolling and other toxic behavior. So it's literally just being an asshole in a game. Why do they have oh to call it God. dark participation? I thought they liked dark things. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even think about that. That's awfully oh, racist. Do you think you could get them to remove their study? If you're like, don't you think it's a little racist <sighs> to imply that bad things are dark? Dark, dark participation, is that what I'm doing watching a jazz stream? <laughs> <laughs> Darker, say the word! <laughs> I love this. I love this so much. It's the dumbest shit ever. It's great. Oh, man. Okay. Hey, God. Let's, let me, let's. Okay. I gotta like fit. I should get through the paragraph. I can't. Like every every sentence makes me gotta stop. And be like, oh. <laughs> okay. In games, uh, that is it's bigger part than of your dark participation. <laughs> Okay, okay. Outline entire spectrum of uh, anti-pology of extreme and dark extremism and dark participation in games that is bigger than any one movement but underlies all of them. It's the fucking dark Illuminati of video games or some shit. It, it can be scary or uncomfortable to think about, to talk about it, and to understand. In overwhelming situations, it's not unusual to feel at a loss or to have thoughts of helplessness. But there are things we can do to mitigate the harm. It's like I, I, just, I just imagine like a... <laughs> I just imagine like a, like a leftist, like purple haired, fucking nose ring, like all that shit, decides to play Call of Duty like, for some reason, dude, even though I, that is not a game they would play, and so they I, just calls them a faggot on, on like, in the lobby, and they just like and they just, they just huddle up and, to I themselves, can, yeah, they're, just, like, they're, just, they're just rocking back and forth and whispering. I can imagine like, them. <laughs> the, the, oh. the dark participators. The dark they got me. They're like reading this. They're like, oh my god, someone's here for me. Thank God. <laughs> I'm oh, sorry, uh, thank, uh, fuck, who's the fucking LGBT god? Who, who's their deity now? Uh, the spaghetti wizard. Uh, <laughs> spaghetti wizard? What the fuck, huh? Noose-chan. Nope, I haven't heard of him. Noose-chan, that's really fucking good. Noose-chan? Is that an actual person, or is this like Have a... Have you seen <laughs> Noose-chan? I have not. Jess. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> here, I will. I will share news chat in the chat. Okay, okay. While, you're, while you're finding that, let me, let me let's finish. No, I didn't up need here. to find it. I have that on lock. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, he was ready. Uh, he was ready. He had this. Hang on. Mm, thoughts. There are things we can do to make it time. For everyone, it's extremely important to speak out and step up for folks who are being harmed. This kind of support can take on many different <laughs> forms. This could be an email or quick check-in with the people in your orbit Jess. who are targets of the harassment or Jess, close look. to the to those targets. How about that? Let me see. Where is it? Is it in the... Ah, hang on. Oh. This is my god. Oh, I see. <laughs> oh, no. I worship oh, this god. Oh, god. Jesus This god is Christ. oddly... Oddly curvy. 
Yeah, weirdly cute. <laughs> hmm, how about that? I'm in. I'm sold. Uh, at any rate, um, dude, I, I, I love, I, I love that. I love that my phone's constantly listening to me and just suggests me things based on what I'm talking about. I don't follow Brianna Wu, and I just got a notification for a Brianna Wu post on Twitter. <laughs> oh yeah, she's uh, trying to reform uh, herself or something I, now. I or fucking, something. I, I fucking said her name, <laughs> and it sprung mm. up. That's uh, that, that's why no one ever mentions you, Mizu. They're afraid that like they'll speak your name and you'll end up on their fucking feed. I won't because they banned my Twitter for like the fifth <laughs> time. <laughs> Are those close targets, family members, colleagues, friends of those targeted experience different types of harm in these situations? Wow. During organized harassment campaigns, people sometimes are forced to leave social media and online activity for a time. They often need help filtering messages, dealing with threats, and maintaining their mental well-being. People of marginalized identities often already have some of those these tools in place out of historical necessity. <laughs> but the volume of large campaigns like this can be quick, can quickly become overwhelming. The still relevant games hotline website hosts a digital safety guide that can Sorry, support what? people experience the digital safety guide on the games hotline website that can support games people hotline? experiencing i don't fucking know can support people experiencing or at risk of experiencing targeted harassment at risk just, bully yes. hunters <laughs> wait the bully hold on hunt. how do you mitigate yeah. risk of experiencing targeted harassment on the internet, you fucking don't. You quit being a bitch. That's what you do. Yeah, like it's just like it's like okay, okay, okay. <laughs> You're a girl. What are the risk levels everywhere across the board? It's just like super high. It's like okay, well, just just don't play video games then. If you're gonna, this oh, could be a problem. They were partnered with Trans Lifeline. Ooh. Of course. Uh, <laughs> let's see. For industry leaders, you may be inclined to be quiet or cautious, but that's actually not helpful. As noted in a resource, Empowering the Game Industry, a major lesson learned from Gamergate was the importance of taking a loud public stance. At the time, many studios were hesitant to address the hate and abuse from Gamergate in a meaningful way. The reasons varied, but usually the hesitation was born out of fear of losing profits or concern that taking a stance would attract the attention of the Gamergate mob. And you know what? That was the right fear to have, because that you're taking the if you're trying to side against the paying customers, you're taking the yep. wrong fucking side as a business. Yep, that as, is... <laughs> as a business, you your job isn't to have morals. Your job is to fucking make money. Yep. Guess <laughs> and, what? And, 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 like, your money and is my money. If I don't pay you, you make no money. And here's the thing. They, they haven't forgotten that. They haven't actually forgotten that because like, hey, why don't we have a look at the uh, the Middle Eastern version of Spider-Man? Oh, where'd the pride flags go? Oh, no. Oh, they're yep. gone. Where'd they, where'd they go? Like this, this, it's all like, it, obviously like, because they're not morally consistent across the planet with their, with their shit. Obviously you can tell it's all just bullshit moral grandstanding. But it's wait, all, it's but, all for show. So but like, Jazz, what the fuck would anyone care? We love the Muslims now. Okay, don't look, look Do at we? my, Do look we? at my LGBT and Palestine flag next to each other on my bio. You see how they're friends now? They would yeah, never throw me off a building. One off a building. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Same brain cell and it's like, yeah, cell. we're friends right, right, right up right up until the the muslims team up with the christians to protest the the fucking middle school that's trying to teach gender theory like like the, it is it may, like oh my god dev's video where he was talking about the uh the how the, this fucking what, what, what was it exactly it was like the the, the oncoming uh issue of uh like incompetence or something like that shit what was it Medicare made a good point and said SBI to Iran start protesting for gay Spider-Man. Yeah, dude, I, I would love mm. that. I would absolutely adore that. As a gay uh, woman myself, the, the, I would really appreciate it. The competency crisis explained. Yeah, this this video is great. I, I listened to the whole thing. It's it's actually fantastic because it all it talked about how um, like in the modern day and age, this whole movement of the, like the LGBTQIA plus two spirit, et cetera, et cetera, and so on and so forth. Like these people don't necessarily have a whole lot in common in terms of what they are. But the do thing they do have in common is that they kind of exist on the outskirts of society because of, you know, whatever thing that's that it, that is a minority in in one way or the other. Right. Like if you're trans, it's like a like a point two percent of the population or whatever, you know, shit, shit like that. Right. But they all come together in this mass fucking hodgepodge uh cronenberg monster that is the lgbtqia plus 2s yeah, all, all that shit right <laughs> it's like yeah you're gonna like because you guys don't 
realize that you can't really just shove everybody into the fucking gumbo pot together when like a lot of their ideologies and shit directly conflict with each other you yep. get the instance of the muslims protesting the the gender theory at the middle school that's like like that's a that's a foregone conclusion that is going to you happen get the it's going the to keep going of like the fucking leader of like a like uh, a fucking what was it it was like a fucking like 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 a like a, like a lesbian like like intersectionality yeah that's the one yeah mm -hmm. uh fucking getting kicked out for not being trans inclusive to the lesbian group yeah because yeah. of the progressive okay. stack yeah and in that same vein like in like directly related to mizu here you get that person who was like hey we're gonna have the meetup of the bisexuals but only the queer bisexuals if you're a bisexual who is uh romantically involved with someone of the opposite gender then fuck off this isn't for you 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 straight uh you 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 straight coded bisexual we don't want you <laughs> did you know that mizu did you know that you're straight coded oh and no that's I not am. okay i've been told that's not that's not okay mizu you can't be that it's, that's not cool stop that how dare you claim to be bi bi bisexual because <laughs> i i'm gonna be hung up on this if i don't say something because i'm autistic yeah, and ahead. i get stuck on this kind of stuff i was mm -hmm. looking through the <clears throat> games and online harassment hotline Mm -hmm. And I was going through their partners, and some of their partners include Take This, who we were talking about earlier, mm -hmm. yeah, that's as one. well as the Crash Override Network, which is Zoe Quinn's um, group. Okay, what's what's their deal? What do they do? Uh, ba -ba 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 <laughs> it's I don't really know what she does with it. It's just her thing that she owns. I just I genuinely mm. don't know what it does, but she shills it, and she wrote a book about it. But yeah, no, this this links to a resource, so, uh, which then links to Zoe Quinn. Quinn. started Gamergate? Zoe Quinn started Gamergate. Ah, uh, okay. Well, yeah, she's go. the one that fucked all the guys. She's oh, the one that was yeah. the sandwich between the five guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five guys. That's what it was called. It was the five guys <laughs> no, draw. The five, no, just, five yeah. gate. Wait, wait, five wait. Sorry, gate. I just... <laughs> wait, I didn't context here. What happened? So Gamergate started because <clears throat> Zoe Quinn's boyfriend outed the fact that she was sleeping with five different game or um, games news outlets publishers in order yeah. to get like good reviews and attention on her games and shit. Mm -hmm. And that is literally what kicked off Gamergate. <laughs> <laughs> That's so fucking funny. Including a Kotaku editor, of course. Of course, Kotaku. And she <laughs> always tries to dismiss it, and she's like, Gabergate started because my boyfriend was salty. Your boyfriend was salty, you were cheating on him with five other people. Five Shut the fuck again. up, Jesus. you whore. Like, yeah. <laughs> I don't feel uh, sorry for you. Cheaters suck. Yeah. Die. Oh, she did a Mari Mari? I referenced the Mari Mari <laughs> on Twitter until they deleted my Twitter. I called her the yeah. YouTuber oh. Five Guys. Chat, I wasn't around <laughs> no. for the first Gamergate. I was busy in the real world, living life. I, I will say, sometimes I look at all this internet <laughs> stuff, I, ju I just kind of like, I take like a step back, chat. I, mm -hmm. I, I, I'm not gonna lie, this happened to me like the other night. I take a step back and I'm like, wow, all this stuff seems really, really grand. Until I like, look away from my computer. <laughs> like, I don't mm. care about any of this shit. You were 12? Well, I mean, I... Yeah, I, I was like, fucking I 12, and like, I just, I didn't care, like, about any of this. Like, uh, I, yeah. dude, I, I saw, I think I mentioned this before, I think I mentioned this, uh, maybe even last, uh, episode. But, like, mm -hmm. I, I did see this one fucking guy on Twitter talking about how, like, uh, how, like, he wasn't aware that games were shit. And everyone, and everyone started, like, mm -hmm. making fun of him for it. And it's just like, it's like, oh, you live in a rock, oh my god, how did you not notice, blah, 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 like, calling him shit, and, like, like, all sorts of dumb shit, and it's just like, no, he's just playing good games. He doesn't give a shit about any of this crap. He's like, wow, this game's bad. I'm just not gonna buy it. I watched a review. The game looks like shit. I'm just not gonna play it. Man is out here fucking living his best life playing Dark Souls 2 for the 20th time. Like I am. <laughs> I also wasn't aware of how bad games were becoming, and I worked at GameStop. But I wasn't aware because I was, you know, focused on just playing the good games and ignoring the bad ones. As a to good be fair, customer. Dark Souls yeah, 2 was consumer. a banger. Yeah, I know, right? It's yeah. the best one. Yeah. And it's just like yeah, true. Yeah, I don't know. I, 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 I think there's nothing wrong with that. With being like the average Joe who just kind of wants to play the mm -hmm. games that they want to fucking play, and you know, if a game is shit, they just ignore it, and that's it. They move on yeah, with no, their absolutely. lives. They have better shit to do. And I feel like absolutely. if more if more people were like that, a lot of these companies would just fucking die. 
Most likely, I don't know I mean, why here's, 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 here's the thing. That, bad. That, that, that's what's happening now, right? Because like with, with Suicide Squad, like I, I believe WB went on record saying so, something like paraphrasing here a bit, but it's like, yeah, we if we were like a lesser company, Suicide Squad would have fucking ah. sank us. <laughs> would have that that game would have fucking killed us if we. And it's like people, more people are, and it, it's it's a combination of the fact that like the I'll entire right fucking. Oh, hi, Jenny. Continue. Okay. Please continue. I'll, I'll be right Here. back. I just need to use the bathroom. I'm okay. dying. <clears throat> no, you're okay. Um, man, yeah, so it's a combination of now the fact that Jenny's that, like, gone. Can we talk about how women have small bladders? <laughs> Must we? I mean, why not? Some people in chat are into that. I'm sure you'll get like a new audience from that. Clip I, it, chat. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, like Saints Row, like how Saints Row Saint Kids Company, yes, the, 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 ob objectively, yes. Though, um, again, bringing up, I'm back. The, like, would you say about my small bladder? That was quick you had a small Jesus bladder, Christ. and I said your Yo. chat might be interested in learning about it. That that's Yo, not true. I, I, I can actually hold uh, my pee in like basically all day. Uh, sometimes I, 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 I sometimes I, I forget were... for multiple days. I only went to go blow my nose. <laughs> there you I, go, I'm chat. Too fucking like it. competitive There's speed the... pisser. Like Jesus Christ. There's no, the Jenny D. I, I didn't go to pee. I like I've been I've been trying not to suffocate this whole time, looking for a moment where I can like step out, and it reached a point where I was like, okay, <laughs> I'm dying. I can no longer breathe. <laughs> I'm, I, I will, I will, I'll be right back. <laughs> also, before Jenny came back, I was going to say that I totally agree. The new mm -hmm. Saints Row game is what finished the company, but it's not what sank it. It's been taking yeah. on water ever since they released. What was it? It was like Saints uh, Row it? Mayhem uh, or something. Yeah. Agents, Agents of Mayhem. Mayhem. Yeah. Um, like, it's been on a yeah, downward so... decline for a while. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We, we, we kind of touched that, on that this during the last terrible. session. Yeah. Like, okay, it, it was terrible, bad. but but it was it was enjoyable still. Yeah, <laughs> I think it yeah, was more we... because they tried to market it as Saints Row, so yeah, yeah. it was literally like Wait, Saints it, Row. Agents Mayhem, Mayhem or? Oh, okay. I was, I was talking. I was talking, still talking about Agent Mayhem. Or were we talking about Saints Row Reboot? Because Saints Row Reboot was just a terrible fucking game. It was an awful I'm game. I'm tempted they, to play reason... it on stream because it's, <laughs> it's free on Humble Bundle. This it's free on Humble Bundle this month. The only reason we had such a good time with that game, Rose, is because we played it together when we could that, laugh at that, it together. Okay. I, I would think... not want. I would not have wanted to play that game solo. I would not I, have wanted to okay, do it. Okay, hold on. I think that you're right, mm -hmm. but also I would have totally played that game solo. I would have still had fun with that. There were so mm -hmm. many moments that were just like absolutely the way that like our like types of comedy kind of just fed into each other while playing that game. Yeah. Absolutely made that a much better experience. Absolutely heightened experience. Mm -hmm. It went from being a good experience, a good, normal, funny, wow, this game is shit experience, to a holy shit, this is awesome experience, okay? Like, that to me was mm -hmm. the best game of that year, because I had such a blast with you, right? It's like if you could play the yeah. room. But even without you, <laughs> I think I still would have had fun shitting on that game. Mm. Yeah, it was, I, it was playable that, enough, that's... and like, the gunplay was satisfying enough, and like, the finishers and stuff. But I think it would, I could have easily still played through it and had fun with it. Mm, I suppose. Like I, I'm in a I'm in a camp where it's like I would have like it's it's fine that it was like so bad it was funny and like there was you know there's the ironic enjoyment of that. I would have preferred just like a good Saints Row game like two or three. That would have been nice. I just want my dildo. I would have liked that much better. <laughs> exactly. I just I want I want I want a, a new a Saints Row two or three again. That's all I'm hoping for. That's all I would have liked. I, I think that would have been a much better. I've seen in years. I, I think that would have been a much better outcome, to be honest. But um, but yeah, no, because Dev went over that that whole thing. He finally released his interview with the uh, with the the anonymous uh, Saints Row Dev, who was talking about how, like, apparently inside uh, internally there was just like too much of ev the team being pulled in different directions. Uh, too many instances of trying to like have to redo the whole game because somebody came up with some idea and decided to just implement it immediately without like thinking about how it would actually fit. You know, it's, it's shit like that. And just like the the whole ESG stuff was just kind of like the the shit cherry on top of a shit cake, right? So that's what like, happens it, we, when you we, don't we, have we... somebody in in command, right? Because a lot, like, yeah, exactly. A lot of people they, they don't like being yelled at or being forced to take responsibility for like specific things. They don't like yeah. not being in control of their own fucking actions, right? And like working for somebody. So they basically mm. put into those positions, they're like, yeah, just go do your thing. And they, they kind of go and they do their thing and they change it up and they, you know, they do what they want. Right? Because there's no actual fucking structure to things. And if you yell at someone and you tell them to do the thing they're supposed to be doing, you're going to get fired. Yeah. So it's... That's why yeah, all, it's just... all of my fucking messages to, like, my... Like, I, I, I was watching Doodlin the other day with you. I don't even remember. I mm -hmm. was, like, I was looking through, like, my old fucking, like, GameStop, like... 
like like fucking uh like like video messages I would send to my fucking staff. Mm, mm. They're all yeah, extremely yeah. passive aggressive. Because God forbid yeah. I fucking yell at someone. Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 the coddling of the people coming in. Get the fucking like, Charlie we're, on me. We're also very like okay, so here's the thing. There was there was a time when world, work culture in America was like fucked up and awful, right? Like there was a time when like people bosses just didn't give any kind of a shit about no. like how you know, they were treating their associates, and that's that's, the way that's not be. great either. That's ooh, mm, I I believe there's a happy middle ground here where like we can still treat adults like adults and yeah. expect competi competency from them, True. but we don't have to literally like throw a fucking book yeah, at their yeah, head yeah. or whatever. Yeah, fuck, yeah, right? like, like, like there's you know, I, here's the thing. It, it all just comes down to fucking yeah. basic respect and human decency. And yeah. part of part of that respect is not treating you like a fucking child when you're in your fucking like mid to late twenties working in a fucking video game company. Counterpoint: We're not allowed mm. to hit children anymore because that's child abuse. But some people <laughs> still need to be hit. <laughs> uh, again, so I believe we can't hit them when they're children. I don't see why we can hit them when they're adults. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I mean that that's when well, the law gets involved and all that, you're gonna get sued and et cetera and so forth. But you know, it it, it is it is what it is. It's what it Depends is. if I can provoke them to hit um, first. Yeah. But it does it does seem like there has been like as far as all of this Gamergate 2 shit goes, it, and in, in terms of ESG in general, because this is also, you know, we we've been seeing a bunch of this shit in like movies and, and TV shows and like especially like the like streamed stuff and all that. Like shit like uh like like rings of power and more recently I, I don't know if it's actually out yet but i'm i'm hearing some some things about that uh that fallout show we we, we had the the interview with the with the uh, director of the fallout show saying that they didn't make the show for fans of fallout and it's like that's one of those moments where i just kind of like do the thing where it's like oh they made the helmet a visor now of the yeah. power armor yeah, because they're following in the footsteps of like the fucking Halo thing with Master yeah. Chief, where they're like, yeah, um, "I have mm -hmm. you have to be able to see my this pretty face, or you can't see yeah, my emotions." Right. Shut the fuck! Nobody cares. It's it's just like like do you, how do you how do you as the director of a video game adaptation? If listen, you can't like, fucking express say, emotion through a fucking helmet, you're not a good actor. Yeah, that that too. But like, the, just the 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 thought of saying the words as a director of a video game interpretation. TV show, we're not making it for the fans of the thing that we are directly adapting this from. What fucking sense does that make at all? How do you how do you square that fucking circle? If you're not making it for the fans, then what the fuck are you doing? Like, who are you expecting to come watch this? See, chat, it would have been fine turning Halo into a love story as long as he ends up with Cortana. Which <laughs> probably was not going to happen. He needs to end up with Cortana. It's the only canon ship for Halo, and anyone who says otherwise is a fucking liar. We we can't really do love stories anymore, unless they're queer love stories. We can have those, but yeah, we the, have a mini the for old Cortana. the the old traditional cis het uh, love stories. We, we we don't we can't do those anymore. Like the miniature we Ronnie, we can have our Cortana. Yeah, in the <laughs> mi miniature Cortana for uh for a uh, John oh, Halo for John Haloman's miniature Johnson. Yeah, but all all this to say that like the the coddling <laughs> on top of the, the the virtue signaling on top of the lack of competence in general that, that we're getting from like people coming in, it, it's it's starting to show the the results across the board. You know, there's the, there's the the, the fucking uh, the strikes, there's the layoffs everywhere, and of course we have this breaking news about BlackRock itself finally being directly affected by all this shit. Because oh, this was be a while back. You guys are late. Six six hundred employee. Oh, okay. Is that was that a while back? I've well, been keeping I mean, up with it's, this. It's, it's, BlackRock it's still is it's still pertinent to the company. The ESG to the division company. because it's yeah. lost too much money. Yeah, collapsing because five trillion in just two years is what the ESG division has lost in terms of because nobody fucking wants what they're selling because it's garbage. They announced it in 2023, and you can actually go through a lot of right. major companies, and most of them yeah. have completely deleted their ESG section on their websites. Mm. They've been so, having I mean, deleted them so for like the know, last maybe, year. Maybe, maybe, maybe these industries are healing. Just maybe. I, I think like they've got, got too our, much corruption yeah. already in the I, business. I don't think it'll fix it. 
I think it's, it's going to be a ways to go to like get back to a sense of normalcy and like, you know, people actually wanting to make good shit for the sake of making it good. <laughs> you know, I, I think it's going to take a minute to get there, but who knows? Who knows? I, I, I would like to maintain a little bit of optimism about all this, right? I would like to think that hopefully we can get back to the point where people just make fun video games again for the sake of being fun and not preaching bullshit at you because like again like rosie you were talking about how like you were kind of like just sidelined on all of this and and i and i get that and that's totally fine i was sidelined on all this i would have loved to continue my life not caring and just enjoying good games like spider-man uh the first one on the ps4 loved that game and i i very much liked um the miles morales spider-man game too the ones on the ps5 this much shorter one it was good too and then we got around to spider-man 2 and uh, and they, they they just overplayed their hand a little too much on all the representation and the signaling and all that shit. And it, uh, especially the fucking Mary Jane sections of the game. God damn it. Like, come the fuck on. I think it depends how much influence they <laughs> so, have. Yeah, it's but then, it's like that's when I really started noticing it. And then, of course, Suicide Squad came and fucked up everything. And it was just so god awful in general. Like, I, I watched the story synopsis. I saw the cutscenes. And I watched those goddamn the entries in the in the actual game itself that were written uh, about like different characters and shit. And it's like, come, come on. One of the good ones on Green Lantern's fucking synopsis. Are you fucking for real right now? What are you doing? Yeah, it is. It is. Uh, I think the part that really annoys me with that game is just the disrespect on Batman. Oh, oh Jad, look, look at Miles Morales' story. Yeah, no, the comic, the, the re, yeah, it, like this shit's been fucking up the comic in industry for like the last decade as well. Like comic, like the, the American comics are getting their asses beat by manga all over the place and we know why because you get shit like miles morales is thor and he's got and he's saying shit like by odin's fade and goddamn uh by what, what, what odin's there? fade did you yeah. not see that no also, and I, I, oh, I wish yeah, i didn't hear and they, about they, it either also yeah, and they, odin they fucking, and uh, thor in this one live in an, a ghetto in harlem that's also like the most <laughs> queer ghetto you've ever seen it's well, unbelievable, which is which is hilarious because like ghetto black people are yeah. not down for the gay shit ever. No. Like that, it's it's nope. such a weird combination of shit. <laughs> like the most homophobic people in existence might well, just be like, is, like the ghetto there blacks. Is, yeah, yeah. There, there is nobody more fucking Christian than a fucking like than a fucking <laughs> than the fucking black people in the fucking ghetto. Those motherfuckers are at the is, fucking church every yeah. fucking day begging for forgiveness. Yeah. You fucking get me? Go, we, we, and, we, and we just talked about this. The intersectionality shit, like, collapsing in on itself when you're trying to smash together different groups that have very different beliefs and trying to, like, pretend like that shit works. And it's like, no, it just, it doesn't. It does, it, it's, gonna, it's gonna implode. And this is what it looks like. Of all the five uh, realms, Asgard is his hood. <laughs> <laughs> I can't I like, read this. I love this. how these people are just racist to themselves. Yeah, that's just what I'm saying. I can't read this without sounding like I'm making up a racist caricature of like, <laughs> yeah. this is what black people think superheroes should be, lol. <laughs> and like his fucking, his Thor outfit has like the like the Air, the Jordan Air Ones and shit. And it's like, what, you, what the fuck what are you guys it? doing? Who's the writer? Oh, Please God. tell me. Who's the writer? Who is the writer? I what don't remember. Like? I need I, to know. I, I need to I know. I don't remember. I don't remember. I'm sorry. Uh, I don't know if I even bothered to look, like, cause I just I I saw that those those uh, snippets of the comic. And I'm just like, I don't fucking give a shit. I'm I'm just gonna go read uh, Goddamn Berserk again or something. That's so that's what I'm gonna do with my time. Fuck this. This is garbage. <laughs> Oh uh, man, which writer? Uh, the, the guy Mexican who wrote dude the... ain't no fucking way. Oh man, is it the same Mexican dude who wrote the fucking Blue Beetle movie and was like antagonizing people about how it's a movie for Mexicans and white people can fuck off? Is, is that is it was Bro. that guy? The author's and then, name and then immediately is... after the movie started bombing, it's like, no wait, please come see the movie. <laughs> please. The author's name. This is, is why Cubans are the are, are, are the are, are, this is, I'm sorry. Uh, but th this is this is why 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 Cubans are the superior Latin Latin American race. Mm -hmm. We are the superior Latinos. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? There you this go. Why, this is why I Taco Bell. Fuck you guys. <laughs> All of my Mexicans in chat, like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> uh, man, man, what the fuck, Holmes? 
Um, he, made another, so... he has another comic called Sai Fu. <laughs> Sai Fu. Which has a black guy in a Kill Bill outfit. He come directly from Spain, superior in every way. <laughs> yes, sir. My God. <laughs> the mix of of, of 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 uh the the fucking strong Spanish genes with uh with the uh, with the uh with the uh what am I calls it uh all of the like what sort I'm looking for how, how do I want to word this without sounding fucking racist <laughs> just be racist. <laughs> With all of the fucking yeah, fucking yeah, uh, with the like uh the, the the like native and like black slave like background, like it's great. It's fucking amazing. It's fucking amazing. We got to be like the we we're, we're just so superior. I'm sorry, guys. Well, what's that? Like you you you're a racist and you're like you think that like white people are superior. We got to be on that one. We're also white. Oh, what's that? You're racist and you're like, you know, like, oh man, my background, my all the slavery. Guess what? Fucking Cuba was a slavery hub. Go fuck yourself. My ancestors were also fucking slaves. What ball what game do you want to your... play? I will beat you. <laughs> Are you suggesting your ancestors were something of a master race? Uh No, I'm saying me currently am the master race. Fuck you. <laughs> Yeah, Spaniards are Schrodinger's whites. Yeah, it's great. Like we're, we're Asian. We we are we are so mixed. And well, guess what? We also have fucking Asian genetics. We are so mixed and fucking mudded, the Cubans. Now, like it's like it's like no matter what ball game you want to fucking play, we got you. <laughs> and Asians are cuter though, so I got you beat there. Yeah. We have cute Asian girls. <sighs> nah, not as cute as regular Asians. The little like like I. Mm -hmm. I'll fight you on that one. I will. We literally have Chinese win. Cubans, yeah. Like we literally have Chinese Cubans. My uh, yeah, my, like my grandma's Chinese great grandma people. was straight up like Chinese, like from China. What yeah, but Chinese aren't even like the cutest Asians. Side food actually looks like, kind of cool. Yes, that, that is true. I'm just saying. I think. I, I think. I'm just saying. I think the Vietnamese have, are the cutest have... Asian. I agree. Yeah. That's it. I. All no, right. I lose. So I lose. yeah. That was just like that. So yeah, that was... <laughs> Th this this shits all in our video games, our it's movies, our TV shows. But as a matter of fact, it's also in our tabletop games because a uh, a, a creative director who was involved in D and D had some words to say about a uh, historical book that's coming out about how D and D came to be, and had some interesting uh, comments to to drop in. At the end of said interview, and I went ahead and put a link with a timestamp to to the comments. I think we should listen to it together and let me know what you guys think about what uh, this man has to say. Hold on. About the roots of D and D. I, I know you two have, have a, a, a vested interest in D and D, so I figured you might find this. I don't know what you mean. Me, I've never played D and D. Oh, you never played I D and D? Oh, I thought you. Did. I have an yeah. idea for a D and D so had... character, but that's it. Hold on. Hold on. All right, hold on. All right. Check, hold on. check this out. Wait, did, did you give me a link to a specific part that we needed? Yes, yes. Okay. Right where it's at. An inclusivity review of all these materials. Multiple. So let's, let's take a step back here. Let's clarify. There are materials in original Dungeons & Dragons that would never pass yeah. our inclusivity reviews today. Mm. Uh, and a lot of it is, you can, some of it you can understand. Like, okay, these are a bunch of war gamers. And they're using armies from history. And so when they create a warrior class yeah. for Dungeons and Dragons, they call it the fighting man, right? Because that's what they were used to. And they were all men. They were all white dudes from Lake Geneva and the Twin Cities. Like you, Man sir? refers to mankind, you retard. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But also, it's like, like the, the, you, the, the self flagellation. <laughs> Like the the the, 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 these white people who like engage in this self-flagellation, I, I cannot understand it. I like, this assure is, this you, is the all of, of them the have a, I assure, I assure you, all of them have a BBC fetish. This man's a faggot. They're getting cucked on the side. 100%. <laughs> he's, 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 a, he's a faggot or a cuck, one or the other. I bet you anything in the world. Anything. Uh, yeah, so, so just, just, you know, compartmentalizing all of D&D &D and its history to 
some white guys made it and it was problematic but then we came and we made it better with our inclusivity this man is like course, joseph not... letting a uh, black god fuck his wife and make a black jesus <laughs> all right that's what's happening right now they're so annoying he's praying he's flagellating right now he's like he's like yes look at me i'm so inferior <laughs> Yeah, I, I think I think it's a, but that's just the tip more. of the iceberg, right? Like, oh, there's yeah. a lot of material. He loves the tip tips. of something, and I won't go over all of it. <laughs> but it would not pass our inclusivity reviews today. Inclusivity. Well, mm. we couldn't change it. It's it's history. What we, we tried, can do but we couldn't. Is acknowledge it <laughs> and show how far we've come, because mm. that's not D and D anymore. Yeah. Right. Reverse D and D gets more. <laughs> diverse and uh, has a larger audience every day. The more diverse the- mm. What is this? I'm looking at Like the building? I don't actually know what that is. What the fuck I'm is super this? sure. Uh... Temple cross-section of levers? Can... Le levels? Like levels in like a dungeon? What is this? Uh, hang on. Let me see. I don't it know. looks like it's a dungeon Cavern? layout. I don't understand why this would matter, though. The game becomes. Yeah, I don't know either. The more people of different genders I mean, this and is cool. ethnic backgrounds and, yeah. and faiths and see themselves <laughs> in the game. <laughs> then they go make their own version of the game. Pause. See themselves in the game. You mean the game in which you are encouraged to create your own fucking character from the ground yeah. up to look whatever you fucking want to look like? And that's how the game has always existed? Like, what the fuck do you mean? <laughs> see yourself in the game you're literally putting yourself in the game that's the point of D&D for fuck's sake well here's what are, we, like, what are we talking about here here's the problem him and all of them have if they if they legitimately believe everything they're saying is they, they have this weird do. idea they're on the Kool-Aid that... Pos yeah, possibly. But they have like this weird idea they always preach or that it's all about being able to see yourself in the game and I've never understood like that thought process like, well, that's because you could see yourself in games before. It's like, no, my favorite cartoons when I was a kid had, like, women as the starring lead. I didn't care that they were women. I didn't imagine myself as them. I just yeah. liked the cartoon. Yes. I don't understand it's... if you have to Bro, see yourself. The, one of the characters that I most identify with in all media is Guts. Mm. I look nothing like Guts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's, it's 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 literally that we were talking about stone toss earlier. It's literally that stone toss comic where uh, the, the little black girl is sitting in front of the the black yeah. Ariel and it's like, oh look look, she's just like me. And then like one panel down is it's all, all the, the black, black boys kids like super like, saying like, Goku with the blonde over, hair yeah, and exactly. blue eyes. <laughs> yeah, just losing their shit. Well, green eyes, but yeah, <laughs> just losing their shit over Goku. And it's like, yeah, that's that's that is that's not me. a joke for a comic. <laughs> that is observable reality. Yep. I was that black kid who loved Goku. All every black kid I knew was the black kid that loved Goku. Man, I grew up in the like, hood. Me Me Mexico uh, is so <laughs> Gokuified that like they 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 like taco joints that are fucking Goku themed. You could go get a Goku taco right now, right? Like. Yep. Like, what, what are we? What are we? What it's, are it's, we talking about? It's so about here? true, dude. I, 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 I've told this before. I've told this story before. But I literally grew up in the hood, and like, when a fucking new, the new episode comes out of Dragon Ball, I'm just saying, mm -hmm. there's a whole lot less crime that day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know how much truth there was about like the the article that came out saying that the the cartels like took a day off after Toriyama passed. Which oh, again, they did. We, we did want to. They, they actually did. I, absolutely. Like, they I, issued I, like a ceasefire. That's fire. fucking incredible. I have, I that's have no doubt. fucking incredible. That is fucking incredible. The fact that he, the man had that much influence. And and like he's he's a Japanese creator. The cartels, they're, you know, Mexicans and stuff. Didn't fucking matter to them. The man made something they loved, so they respected him. That was it. That's all it took. That's yep. all there was to it. And it's like, fuck. Can we not just all adopt that mental, that one right there? The fucking criminals can like take a day to respect a man from an entirely different culture, but we, the, the upstanding fucking educated people can't like look Are past fucking skin color Are you trying to say that Mexicans aren't educated? Second. What the hell, man? Well, you, well I mean, I, I would <laughs> think the there's, hell, there's, a, there's there, what, there should be a man, sort of moral, there, there should be a, a, a vast moral gulf between like people who work, you know, actual, jobs and people who fucking run in cartels like i, I don't think it, i don't think i'm wrong to say that 
<laughs> but like for but for some reason the cartel members are the ones more morally respectable in this instance and that's that's what's fucking with me right now that's what i'm trying to get across yep. here mm-hmm. the, the, the 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 fucking like the journalists and the the, and the the sweet babies and all the those motherfuckers they seem more like a mafia than the fucking cartels right now and one japanese like, man making making cartoons and more for ending gang wars than the u.s government in 50 years yeah it's wild it is it is crazy but yeah it's and it's like we're talking about again D D, right this was never something that was meant to be exclusionary in any way it was always left open so that you could use your theater of the mind your the beautiful power of your imagination to imagine whatever person you wanted to be the hero of whatever story you wanted to have and it was always like that there was never there was never in a fucking D D guidebook that said but your character has to be white or you can't play that shit never existed. What the the D and D guidebooks. <laughs> the, the, the late, the earliest one uh, that I own is uh, second mm-hmm. edition, and somewhere like mm-hmm. the first few pages, it basically says, "By the way, mm-hmm. everything here is just the guideline that you can follow. What you do as a DM is up to you. All the rules, mm-hmm. everything, everything here is a suggestion. You can play the game however you want to play it, right? And that's the whole yeah. thing with D and D." That is yeah. what, like, that's what people love that's about it. it. It's basically like you know, you could do whatever the fuck you want. Right? As long as you have mm-hmm. the, like, the creativity, like, the imagination for it. Like, you are, like, it's, it's literally playing with your imagination. That's all it you is. You be white, you be Asian, you could be a fucking lizard man. Children for, do for this. gives a shit. Like, yeah. Straight up. It's, I was I gonna make know, a it's... racist joke, but I'll save those for Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Damn. Hey, I don't need preferential treatment just because I'm black, okay, Mizu? You can, you can fire them <laughs> off. I can take it. D and D does require you to be able to count to at least twenty, so that excludes most of the black community. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? No, no. I can't read that. I can't count. God damn. No, God Jesus damn it, Christ. Mizu. You are you are at all. You're, you just, like I, I can start to see why you're the Voldemort of, of VTuber. <laughs> I'm starting to get it. Mizu out. Me. I think Mizu might be the new offensive. I might have to quit. <laughs> Oh man, yeah. I don't, yeah. <laughs> I've okay. Hold on. I've 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 I I, I will say, Mizu, have you ever audibly called for oh, violence? Fuck. No, I don't think so. I have you beat? Oh well, yeah. Well, I no. think die faggot went pretty hard. <laughs> See, look, I have to. Well, I mean, to be fair, I did used to send people forty-one percent memes, but that's a different story. <laughs> Jesus um, Christ. Yeah. No, see, I've had to explain this to people before. I grew up with, like, literally one white friend. And mm-hmm. I don't think people realize, when you have, like, an extremely diverse friend group, everybody mm-hmm. just rips on each other's race. That It just inevitably oh, yeah. ends up at there. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Especially if you're talking, like, a group of guy friends. Like, yeah, no, they're absolutely going to be, you know, calling each other all kinds of slurs. And everyone's going to laugh it off later because we're all yeah. just, like, fuck it. Nobody, like... The, like I always try to it's, explain it's, it to people. It's, it's with playing this. at racism, but it's not real racism. It's it's I everyone just fucking of, around, treating racism like a joke. Which God, I, if only we could all just it could be just a joke for everybody, right? When that I can think of exactly three white kids I knew for my entire like tw- like twelve plus years of fucking schooling. I can think of literally mm-hmm. three white kids I knew because everyone else is either black, Latino, uh, something. There was maybe like one or two Asian kids. But for the most part, it's just variation of like Latinos and then blacks. Here, like, I think I, I, you I guys can, like, yeah, it's kind of the same. It's just like I, 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 yeah. I, I never understood. The Here, I think of you racism. guys in your chat would probably get a kick out of this anecdote. But I had one, we had two Indian friends in our group, and one of them, their mother came to school one day, and they had like the bendy on her forehead, the little red dot. Mm-hmm. And yeah. we we're like, hey, man, you know, we've always been really curious about, like, your culture and everything. Like, could you explain to us what the red dot means? And he goes, do you really want to know? I was like, yeah, like, we're really interested in your culture and your heritage. And we've always <laughs> just been curious. Like, what does it mean? He's like, all right, if you guys are really curious, I'll tell you. So when an Indian man gets married to an Indian woman, he scratches mm-hmm. the dot off and he sees if he wants a gas station or a motel. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he he refused to tell us what the bendy with meant. The real, with the real meaning. If we ever asked him, he always gave that same response. He would refuse to tell us oh, what the dot man. was. I was hoping I mean, he'd, he'd like. I I, I, was hoping he'd be I like have a never been presented. Like it's a I fucking never, scratch and sniff or something. <laughs> I 
have never been presented <laughs> with any information otherwise. So that's now what I believe. Thank you. Uh, we asked him multiple times, time. and every time he's like, I told you, gas station or motel, dude. <laughs> <laughs> he was always dead serious about it. That's so funny. That's so good. Should I unpause? Uh yeah, why don't we why don't we hear what the rest of these guys say? Let's let's hear them out. Why not? We have to. We've, we've been we've been dogging on them, but why not? What, 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 he, sur surely more players. There's something not stupid in start here. Start to see themselves <laughs> represented in the game. Mm. The more diverse the creators get, the more diverse the players become. How? All you do is present a list of fucking rules. How? That's it. Explain That's to it. me how. It what what part of the character creation <laughs> process? Do you dip your fucking muddy little fingers into that affects how diverse my character is in a world where I can pick between like 20 plus different fucking races and that is without well, even going into homebrew. Well, well I mean, now dungeons are wheelchair accessible, so it offers more. Yeah. They... <laughs> every time I laugh every time I hear about that shit, dungeons are wheelchair accessible. Because the fucking evil wizard that is Dudge is like, oh, but you know what? Some of the adventurers might, you know, need wheelchair access, so I should probably just make a make a make a slope here. Uh, yeah. See, Ooh. I want a campaign <laughs> like that where all the dungeons are wheelchair accessible, and everybody starts getting <laughs> suspicious about it because it's like, why is the evil guy like providing all this? You shit? get to the end, and, and the evil get... guy's in a wheelchair. <laughs> Well, no, you get to the end of the evil guy. You find out the evil guy's like being controlled just by like the government, and he's like, OSHA is actually the real enemy. No, 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 no. Here's, 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 here's what we do. It's a, it's a whole party of, of wheelchair adventurers, right? And like they go through the whole dungeon, and there's plenty of. At there's, the very there's end, there's a everywhere. set of stairs that says, Get fucked, nerd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like in the actual boss room, the boss is just sitting at the top of a flight of stairs. Yeah. <laughs> I've, I've never played D D, but the only ideas I have for like characters are shit where I just try and gaslight the party, and that's you like would all love I know. A changeling. <laughs> that's I. That's what I had lots of fun with one time. That, that that's how Ginny was born. Well, because my first idea I was I wanted to play like a sheet of paper. I wanted to play like a rogue or something, but every time I would fire an arrow, I'd be like thunderbolt, fireball. <laughs> Just whatever somebody would ask, like I'm a wizard, bro. What? What's the problem? I just every really time. Good. I think it was one bit from from drawn together. It's probably my favorite joke of the entire show. I like the idea. Wait, hold on. That is the idea for a character. I love the idea of a character that's like constantly smoking, and then like it's basically what you mm -hmm. just said, and you like you know you realize like oh he's just on LSD. <laughs> he really thinks he's a wizard. <laughs> just three sheets to the wind at all times. The reason Jenny's favorite wife is the genetics. <laughs> I'm gonna hit play. I'm sorry. We keep we keep cutting this man off. Oh yeah, yeah. That's yeah. The way it should be. So this book is very interesting because I think it really highlights how far the audience has come, and which book and how the game has changed over the 50 years, <clears throat> like we were talking about earlier. Yeah. How it's played, who plays it, and how it's mm -hmm. created. That's in mm -hmm. many ways the way that it's created is the part that changed the least because a huge driver in early D&D was fan creations mm -hmm. and that's still true today still true don't today don't you guys sue people for that now <laughs> yeah i was going to say i was like i don't think so yeah. not anymore you guys aren't the biggest fan of that as i checked you, you, you know what they did do they they fucking took away your ability to make half races so they did that that helped question mark wait what well, I mean, it's just... <laughs> they, they 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 like abolished like half elves and like half orcs kind and of, shit kind cause... of so what they did was that they got rid of yeah. half elves and half orcs and then they made a whole system for making half races but the system is dog shit and basically it's just hey just take whatever features you want from whatever race bro yeah yeah and so, it completely breaks the balancing up, of the game the yeah. yeah and like the yeah, like up it, balancing entirely. It, it completely breaks any value <clears> of like building a character Right? Like, yeah. I, 
Cause, cause I like, want to play a 20 cause... foot tall fucking midget. It's like, what? Yep, you heard me. Yeah, because they, they're, they're fucking what they're doing is they're looking at fantasy through a fucking reality lens, which is a, something that's been happening far too often lately and fucks up the very concept of fantasy. But it's like they're looking at it and it's like, it's like if you think about like uh, in, in reality, like a black guy or a white guy or an Asian guy or a Mexican guy, they could all be really good at math or whatever the fuck. Right. They can all do the same trait. I don't think the halfling is going to be able to throw the orc as far as the orc can throw the halfling, okay? <laughs> like, there's, there's a massive difference there between... Like, yes. We're not talking about different... We're not talking about no, different not, races. Not like, like, we, uh, we, say, we say races, but these are, like, different fucking uh, species. Is, is, is to, more like, accurate to what these are. Picture it in your head. Not just an eight-foot-tall man who says he's a dwarf, no, but no, an yeah, eight-foot-tall yeah. man uh -huh. who has, like, the outline of a dwarf, yeah, like, yeah. that really wide, yeah, thick yeah. build. Yeah. Like, oh, literally like the, a fucking it's brick It's called the wall. enlarged spell. <laughs> <laughs> or, no, it's, a, it's that motherfucker from uh, from that one, I think it was, was it Infinity War? When they made the, the axe, the storm burning? Yeah, yep. The fucking, the dwarf there was, like, taller than fucking Thor. Yep, that's exactly, it was, it was, yep. Wasn't it Peter, was it, was it Peter Dinklage? Yep. And they just, like, sized him up? Yep. Yeah. Peter Dinklage, the only, Peter Dinklage, the only dwarf allowed to have a role. <laughs> No, the there's a better midget. one. It's uh, the best midget in <laughs> movies is Deep Roy. Who? Deep Roy was the Oompa Loompa in Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Chad. Factory. Which the wait, was there only one? Yeah, Deep Roy did every mm -hmm. role. They, <laughs> they literally had him do the dance twenty fucking times <laughs> over amazing. the same reel of film. <laughs> That's <fucking> incredible. <laughs> That's fucking incredible! Holy shit! That's I did so not know funny. that. I thought they just had—I thought they actually had like twenty different, uh, uh, you know, short people to handle that. But wow, that's. that's you know, so chat. Google funny. him. It's his. His name is nah. literally Deep Roy. <laughs> no, nah, you know what? No, nah, my 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 fav my favorite uh, little person in movies is fucking Mini Me from uh, from the Austin Powers series. That guy's my favorite. He's great. He's fucking fantastic. I never watched Austin Powers. I wish he. Oh, you shit! They're such. Oh my god, we gotta watch those together sometime. Those movies are great. It was just like that. That is those movies are from an era before people like gave a shit about being offensive. They have like amazing, like just completely not given a fuck humor in them. They're just, good. They're so good. I'm gonna play. Oh, and man. I, and I, I find it very interesting and and very exciting to see how the game has grown, how the audience has grown. How we oh, as creators, yeah, as designers, have learned from the past both what to do and what not to do. I think this mm -hmm. book has a lot to teach us. Yeah, but it's me, also oh, just he, oh, fun he, to see. Did he die? Yeah. There, there, there is a, a kind of grognard collector's oh, no. desire for yeah, these materials. Right. But also, I, I honestly believe, and you know, you can blame my years in the classroom for this, but I honestly believe that. People just want to know more about this thing that they love. Most of our players have never played any edition of D&D other than 5th. Yeah. This is the only version of D&D they've ever known. Where did it come from? Where did this cool game come from? How was it made? What's the story? I got your story right here. <laughs> Didn't you say earlier the story was a bunch of stupid white guys that didn't have like any opinions other than ones related to their own race? Yeah. Like, why do people yeah. want that story? I, you just told us that was a shit story. And and it's like the, the, his his big like gotcha there was like they they called the fighter class fighting man in the beginning. That's like, well, yeah, they're fucking war gamers. Usually, wars are fought by men, or at least they were in the past. I mean, obviously, they're female soldiers now, and that's great and all. But it's like, yeah, it's, they they changed it to fighter already. Like they, that, I'm, Actually, I'm, I'm assuming that happened that a good. Because I'm assuming that well. Uh, I can tell yeah, you why. I mean, that's a. <laughs> I, I can tell you a conversation why. for another uh okay you really want to go ahead yep i can tell, I can you, tell why. you really want to <laughs> go for it uh because rather than having a separate set of standards for women <laughs> rules in combat mm -hmm. uh they just lowered all the standards for everybody across the board so now any fucking like like weak bitch fucking retard can just fucking get into the military uh, oh so i have to i'm gonna be the um the egalitarian here or the equalist yeah. or whatever the fuck you want to call me and yeah, do the man it. i'm gonna bring the manslander for the military uh, it's mm -hmm. a shit idea because men are simps, and we have statistical data that prove when men and women are in a squad together, the men mm -hmm. will throw themselves into getting shot to protect women because they're retarded. Lamau. <laughs> well, 
That also makes sense, yeah. Hey, yeah. Stop well. being a simp. Let her get shot if she put herself in a shit situation. Yeah. But here's the thing. I'm fairly... I, I, I don't know this for certain, but I feel like it, the chance are pretty good that the, the, the fighting man class became the fighter class long before these people got a hold of D&D. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I'm, I'm like long, long before. Like, I'm pretty sure like a gender neutral term for like any class was in place a good while before these fuckers came in and started fucking everything up. So if I had to yeah, hazard the point? an actual guess back yeah. when it was the fighting man, it probably wasn't like a class that you could build off of. It was a specific character you could play. And the character was the fighting man. Possibly, because we even know. even today we see this in some like <clears throat> MMOs that have limited character creation, where <clears throat> a certain class will be relegated to one gender, and yeah. it's not that they, they're trying to prevent your creativity. It's like they just happen to have like limited resources, so that's what they made. Mm. Okay, uh, not just simply it's, it's, it's biological. Men are coded to protect women, yeah. and men are stupid oh, for and not, it, and not a race. <laughs> Well, I mean, yeah. hey, context, context, nuance. Like, if, if, you, yeah, if yeah. you're a man who, like, wants to protect your wife, that's not a stupid thing. A man should protect, like, his wife and children and all that shit. If you're just, like, jumping in front of, like, any woman for any reason, like, maybe you, you might want to, you know, Stop defending your... roasties. <laughs> like, yeah, especially if you're defending a woman who is, yeah. who is straight up in the wrong, then, yeah, no, that's, that's fucking dumb. You should stop doing that. Will chat we'll protect, protect Jenny? Jenny? Please don't. I can handle <laughs> myself. Like, that's what I say. It's like, chat, you've known her for long, this long. Like, you, you must know that she'll just handle the shit on her own. Yeah, if we're getting shot, I'm bringing Ginny in front of me. You, chat, you're going to have to protect whoever the fuck is fucking with Ginny from her. That's, that's, what, that's probably going to be the real. Because she's so, just going to stab somebody at the earliest opportunity. Somebody like, fucking, you, we all I can't know remember this, who chat. it was. I, but somebody sent me that one fucking clip from the movie where, like, like the dude, like, looks at the window and, like, fucking crazy chick holds up a sign and says, do you want me to kill them? <laughs> Yeah. Someone tagged me in that, and like it, like they tagged they tagged me that gif. It was like, oh, like like Ginny. Anytime like someone bothers Jazz, <laughs> do you want me to kill them? I'll do it. <laughs> What's it gonna take a bullet? Yeah. I've never been shot before. Oh yeah. I've been stabbed. Oh, oh, so... I've never been shot before. So there's a couple of stories we kind of missed talking about. Uh, I, I think we said we would. Do we want the, the Snyder comments about Batman? Do we, we want to loop that into like the rest of this somewhere? Because uh, uh, our, our, our boy Zack Snyder had a interview with, I think, was it Alex Jones or was somebody else? He was on somebody's podcast talking Joe about Rogan? Batman. Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan. Yeah, yeah. He was talking about Joe Rogan, uh, talking to Joe Rogan about Batman on his podcast and about how, how somehow Batman is irrelevant because of the fact that Batman doesn't kill people. So and it's like what? From what we, I understand. We, we're, we're talking about like the is... second or first most popular superhero on earth. That's who irrelevant. That's who we're talking about. Uh definitely. From what I understand, I, I, he, this he, is there's no way he's first. Spider Man's way more partially popular. out of context. He's not saying like Batman should be able to kill people. Mm -hmm. He's trying to say like the fact that Batman is not allowed to have any sort of like growth in his character because now there's like a character bible right of mm. like the joker can't die he has to always get brought back like mm -hmm. stuff like that how they <clears throat> only want batman in this perpetual state of fighting the joker he can't actually ever fall in love with somebody he can't actually move on with his life he's like trapped in this <laughs> cycle and they refuse to let him be anything else Okay, I can I can see like how there could be some issues with that sort of thing where it's like there there isn't like a fresh take on Batman. I feel like they did a pretty good job with like uh with, like Batman Beyond, right? I, I feel well, like Batman they should have like, kept going in. Batman Beyond was really good. They should have kept going in that direction, maybe you know let let Bruce find his peace through there and like you know pass the mantle and all that good shit, right? Though the whole thing with just like him, you know, never killing anybody, that's pretty integral to his character, and I think that's like a yeah. That's that's a, like a stuff. It's a, it's a strong moral like standing for the character, and it's like part of what makes him so compelling because he lives in a world in which, like, there are horrific fucking monstrosities and absolute psychopaths like murdering people in the city he lives in. Yeah. Constantly, and, and the fact that he's able to like keep his his moral integrity and not just murk them when he absolutely could. He kills people. Be fair. He does the way that you... he is open to killing people and beyond. 
the way that you tell a different mm -hmm. story, right? And you break that mm -hmm. character development loop, right? Is by making a mm -hmm. fucking new character. That's literally the yeah, whole that. point of Red Hood. Yeah, and as I, I believe somebody brought this up on a video we watched recently, but they had a good point where they talked about how like there's the the, the massive difference between like Western popular culture and like Japanese popular culture, where Western popular culture will just come like keep recycling the same hyper popular characters over and over again the batmans and the supermans and the other dc people and all the marvel people you know we just keep rebooting and rebooting and fucking whatever right now whereas japan will come out with new fucking uh franchises like every anime season yep every right? three when, months when, when, there's a whole new list of fucking franchises to fucking watch with, with all, all new, new characters and yep and people yeah, fall and in love like with that, them in cycles Exactly, and could like like uh, like as soon as Demon Slayer came out, it became like the most popular thing in the fucking world for like the the the, the several months, and still is. Like like when I went to used to go to conventions and whatnot, I, I think half of all cosplayers I would see would be like either fucking My Hero Academia or Demon Slayer, right? Can you imagine and if these, all and these of are... fucking like Japanese media was just Goku? It, like it, it, it's just Goku <laughs> and Naruto, like new which, which, to, of to Goku be fair. And Naruto. To be fair, those characters have like continued on, but like they've also been allowed to just you know grow up and and have their stories and for the most part. I mean, go, there's there's problems with that with Dragon Ball. Like Goku's still kind of yeah. Gokuing even in Super, which is the most recent thing. But like Naruto, I mean, well that one's also kind of a bad test case because like Boruto's well, stupid. But, yeah, but I mean, there's but, nowhere near as much was all, of it. Yeah. Like it's it's not yeah, nearly at least he, at least like he was allowed to grow up. Yeah. There are like fucking 20 yeah. different alternate fucking universe versions of fucking Goku, right? Goku, yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. the closest we have There's to that two. is the, uh, is, well, the closest we have to that would be like the, like, Xenoverse crap. Xenoverse. Yeah. yeah. And it's just like, okay, but like, it's nowhere near as like, ex like, extremely, extremely fucking filled with like AUs and all this like random shit. The way that, because like, you've yeah. uttered that horrible name, I now have to, I'm legally obligated to bring this up. <laughs> Boruto is just the legend of Korra of Naruto. Yep. That checks out. In, in, in literally every way. Yep. I uh, dare you guys, out. if you know anything about Boruto or Legend of Korra, compare them side by side. It is legit the exact same fucking show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God. Well. So yeah, just like in, in general, uh, America just has a problem with this sort of thing, but they kind of just need to be able to oh, let... Legend of Korra chat. Let let the heroes rest and like create new heroes. Except the the problem there is that people are making heroes like fucking Snowflake and Safe Space. So it's like we're, we're in a fucking lose lose situation at this point. <laughs> like new I'm heroes. I'm sorry. Are bad. Snowflake Stupid. and Safe Space actual hero names? Yeah, here I'll, I'll pull it up for you. They're great. Yeah. Yeah. Who made these? Yeah, Who made these? They're real. Uh, they're a, a part a, of the... a, a fucking gender studies major made these. <laughs> Brother. <laughs> So, yeah. Believe you know what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. As 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 a as someone who's currently working on my own superhero, the Snow Roach, I get it. I get it. <laughs> I want. So I want you to like hear this out, right? So this these are kind of like the <laughs> new warriors or whatever. The new warriors, yeah. This is the whole new warriors. I want you to understand this. This <laughs> got canceled <laughs> because the progressive people they were pandering to thought it was racist and offensive. Yeah. <laughs> I fucking because, would. because specifically the girl on the right, Trailblazer, who is mm -hmm. apparently Native American, mm -hmm. it, it got canceled solely because of her, <laughs> because oh. they thought she was just that <laughs> horrifically racist to Native American people. I mean, what's what? How, Be I negative. Mean, she, she, looks, she looks like a normal girl. I don't. What's the actual racist part here? I don't get it. So, like, are, are her powers racist or something? Like, does, the, does she fucking like throw tomahawks? People didn't or like her shit? name. <laughs> they felt her name oh. was like a very stereotypical oh, Native like, American thing. Uh, okay. The yeah. second mm. thing is she has no powers. She oh. has. Oh, she's the in, Batman of the group. No, okay. no, she she's not smart either. She has no powers. Oh. Batman oh. is at least a smart detective. She so has. What, is, what does she a, do? She has a mystical, magical backpack, which provides her completely. She's still is, is, wait, wait, is that what the fanny pack is in the front there? Is, no, it's in the back. The costume is a fucking, oh, okay, what's, what's the fanny pack do? Please tell uh, me the fanny pack does something. I'm not even sure it's a fanny <laughs> pack. I don't, yeah, I don't think it's a fanny pack. It's like the, oh, it's like the imprint of a fanny pack. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, she's the Native American Dora the Explorer, except Dora can actually choose what the 
comes out of her backpack to some degree. Native American uh-huh. girl just gets random shit thrown out of her backpack at her, and she has to make it work. Okay. <laughs> it was also passed down by her grandmother and the ancestral spirit and whatever the fuck, because they're trying oh, to so tie it into Native American. She- Okay, she's just fucking, uh, what's her name? Uh, Echo, but in like the, the live action Echo. Yeah. Where her powers go from Taskmaster to ambiguous Native American heritage powers that do whatever and they need to do <laughs> in the moment. Uh, so uh, before I showed you bro, guys these B-Negative pictures, I didn't know there was a fifth member. Yeah, yeah, what, what does B negative do? Because I heard B negative. I know what I I I, I heard uh, I, I watched like a, a video essay and like heard about what screen time steal is. I was like connected to the internet. It could like Google shit in real time to I guess win arguments or something. I, don't I know. can do I that. Mean, it's a phone. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, he can do it way faster though. He because it's like the internet's in his brain. Sam, so he got ten G. Like... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's his power. <laughs> I have no idea what the fuck happened in this comic because this just opens with B negative is one of the billions of humans who were turned into vampires in the V Day incident. Oh, that's. that's I'm sorry, the what? That's it. Just Why on our he? earth, billions of people in a day got turned into a vampire, and that's just a thing that happened. And he's just one of them. He's also uh, he's drawn a in vampire, a completely different art styles. Everybody else. <laughs> What I, what I want is like screen time to like have to fucking like, like let's Hold say it's on, like a, there's like a bomb it's gonna blow up. I would love it like like screen time is like having to defuse like a bomb at City Hall or whatever. And he <laughs> looks up a wiki, he looks like a Wikipedia article about how to defuse bombs. And then it fuck he like fucks up and it explodes because anybody can edit the Wikipedia articles and somebody like just put some wrong info in there. <laughs> Apparently, B negative got canceled because people said it was hit too close to COVID nineteen. <laughs> <laughs> I love his I love his power Holy section. Shit. Powers, those of other vampires. Weaknesses, those oh. of other vampires. That's all it says. Great. He's just a vampire. <laughs> wow, how creative. Wow. He's just a vampire Wait, so, when apparently there's billions of other vampires in this universe. Why him? So does, that, does that mean he can't like do shit at all in the daytime or I guess. Or are they like are they day walkers? <laughs> he has no black I, I, I don't I don't uh, know. Who knows what other yeah, vampires so, are, are the, the reference here? Who knows what kind of vampires are still by the way, screen time? Yeah. I know exactly how, how to fucking defeat him. I'm just fucking cut off the internet. <laughs> uh man. I'll tell you what though, there th- so while the the mainstream comic scene seems to be you know shitting the bed, there, I will say that I've seen some I've seen some cool indie stuff going up like uh uh on on the Archcast. Wait, are the they one. actually? Wait, hold on, wait, hold on. Are they actually like? Okay. Is this all like a Morbius reference? Is that what the the vampire thing is? Is that following the like that Morbius really storyline? Because Morbius is Marvel. I'm pretty sure. Are these guys Marvel? Are the new yeah. warriors? Are they are they Marvel? Yeah. Oh. He comes yes? from Blade. They had to ruin Blade to bring this guy oh, in. Oh no. <laughs> uh well. Why? Well. I'm mad there now. There we go. <laughs> Christ. I I, uh, I hate but, this. But go no. on. But like, I, I would I would say there there may be some hope left in the American indie comic scene. Because uh I'm actually uh, excited to look into this this comic called what is it called? Uh, Blade Devil or is it Devil Blade? No, I think it's Blade Devil. Um, but it's this one made by this dude named uh, Raging Golden Eagle. Uh, Arch was interviewing him or talking to him on the the last Arch cast about you know about the, all the GamerGate stuff and everything's going on. But he's talking uh, he's talking about uh, his comic and it it looks pretty fucking cool actually. Let me see if I can actually uh, bring it up for you. <clears throat> Uh, blade. Fuck. I think I found it. Mickey it's got a blonde hair. Yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. It's a great character. I love. It's a great movie. I love. I love that character. Mm, yeah. Past, yeah. It's wild. I can. Pro- I bet you. I. I can probably list more good movies. Are you than sure black this isn't a hentai? The average fucking like. I mean. ESG I don't think it is. Person. Look, this is. I opened this up, and this is like the third result for cover art. Oh. <laughs> Well, here's the, here's the thing. Like, it doesn't necessarily have to be hentai, this is but there the was second. a time. There was a time when, uh, I mean, hey, that's just, that's just her and Jane. I don't know. 
yeah it's, i mean hey the, the character in the comic is attractive i want to buy i want to read this comic now and the art no, is I mean, nice so there you go she's hot i just want to know like if i'm <laughs> yeah, like there, there used to be a, there used to be a time there, there used to be a time when there like american comics could just be like this where they you know they use some sex appeal just? to sell some fucking comics uh yeah wait is well, because uh, Music just posted one? some. Yeah, yeah this is this is the Blade Devil. Yeah, yeah, that's this is what. Uh, what well, that first and, uh, one I posted is a thousand percent a hentai. I don't care what hentai, anyone says. Right. It's even got like the, the stuff around the tentacles. It is a hentai. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's like an uh, just like a raunchy, but still technically a, a safe for work comic. Like I there, there was a time, Mizu. There was a time when, when comics Jazz could starts... be raunchy without it having to be like actual porn. I can't right? wait. There I... was a time. No, Somebody... that one is and I porn. That I remember a time when comics could be raunchy. That is porn. Editor, who oh, I whatever. haven't hired yet, take this mm -hmm. moment and then, like, in a couple weeks, send it to me, who mm -hmm. I haven't hired yet. Uh, to and mm -hmm. just until uh, next week when <laughs> Jazz uh, shows up and he's like, okay, so I I I read the devil manga thingy. And it was Blade Devil. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. I can make fun of him. Please. Mm. All right. Well, uh, yeah. So, so there's that. Uh, hang on. I, I feel like there's still one more thing we need to talk. Oh, yeah. The, the fact that TikTok might be getting fucking deleted out of America. Yeah, that was that certain. That, that's a story. That's an interesting story. And then, the, oh yeah, there's the, the, oh yeah, the fact that um the shift up guys who developed Style Braid and Nikkei who just earned money fucking arm over fist because, you know they got they got sexy bitches and people want to pay for that. You know they got like they're making like fifty million dollars a month and shit. Oh, like, someone said some gameplay of the fucking like of uh, the main character going up and down a ladder, and I only just now realized mm -hmm. that uh, her fucking outfit, her suit, is not a suit. Yeah. She just has robot skin. She's naked. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, that's one of the costumes. Like her, actually, her like default costume was like the, the like the gray and uh, like black number, like the one from like the trailer. And that's like an actual like clothing. But like, yeah, there's just a costume in there that's like a fucking like skin suit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they like... don't give a fuck, and I love it. It's great. <laughs> but um, they're they're so they're gonna go be going uh, let's see, let's see. Although the investment climate in the games industry remains turbulent, a new large public offering is on the way. South Korean developer Shift Up recently applied to be listed in the Korean stock market, uh, stock exchange, uh, for a value of 2.3 billion. This is a fucking phone game company, right? This is guys that made fucking Nikkei, and they're about to go on the stock exchange for 2.3 billion dollars. Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> I think they made Nikkei. <laughs> Nikkei was level infinite. Oh uh, man. Wait, they made one called Destiny's Child. Which has no relation to the band, just so we're all clear. Or <laughs> pop group or whatever the fuck Destiny's Child is now. Yeah, so that's wild, but I mean hey, congrats to them and I hope uh I hope Stella Blade comes out and crushes it. I'm gonna get a copy. I wanna play that game. Just change that I'm not interested. Uh yeah, it's okay. I'll tell you about it on the podcast. Uh, but anyway, let, let's talk about the, the fucking the U.S. House panel unanimously approves bill that could ban TikTok from all devices. So could you fucking imagine the government finally stepping in and getting rid of TikTok? That is that is certainly that's certainly something. I for one God damn. welcome this change. I yeah, someone in chat said that they don't like the idea of, of uh, banning a company. That gives the presidents, and yeah, I kind mm -hmm. of agree. I, I, I kind of do agree, right? But in this case, it's like it's some fucking foreign fucking Chinese spyware company. Like, fuck off. Yeah. You know, like there, there, there's the a whole... lot of like foreign crap in our fucking country that I don't like. For example, people in office with dual citizenship. That's the end of that that statement. Oh, I'm yeah, sorry, uh, I got distracted. The, I've, yeah, I've just uh, gone on an accidental, like, rabbit hole. <laughs> and uh, there's also that, like, kind of, that, that weird creep shit over. with TikTok Live, you know, with the, the underage girl stuff. That was, that's, that's kind of weird. Yeah. That's a, uh, I'm, not, I'm not a huge fan of that. Oh, Almost I've got one Almost there were social media in China. Why should China have a social media in our country? For real. 
or here i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and provide chat the clip as well as like possibly going into a segue speaking of underage girls um mm. yeah do you that's, guys that's have you guys ever segue. heard what are we doing a, here you guys ever heard uh, of an indie horror series called the mandela catalog no that sounds vaguely familiar i feel like i've heard the name before it has multiple very large very popular videos by another youtuber called wendigoon it is in the indie horror space it has been one of the biggest for a while like since fnaf uh the guy who <laughs> makes it alex kirster just had a document <laughs> dropped on him yesterday on twitter from his ex-girlfriend exposing him as a pedophile oh well and it is exploding currently on Twitter. Ba -da, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. Allegations ah. seem a bit shaky. I'm going to, so I'm going to say mm. this. I mm -hmm. tweeted out about the allegations on our Twitter the other day. And one of the people who wrote the document came to yell at me and say that I was trying to clout farm off the allegations when mm. I was just sharing what they had said. So, from my personal opinion, the allegations are sus as fuck. However, it is a big discussion. It looks like a, a lot of people take it at face value. I'm a, I'm a very simple person. I, uh, ironically, this actually plays into something that we talked about recently, and that I was actually talking about this morning on Twitter. But without fucking proof, I don't fucking buy shit. I'm sorry, but I do not buy into the, like, the trust women bullshit. I don't buy into the trust anybody bullshit. Alright, I don't trust most people as far as I can fucking throw them. Without fucking proof of anything... Fuck off. Oh, they had tons of, like, screenshots of their conversations. And some of it is sus as fuck. At bare minimum, the entire series is his weird fetish series. Uh, it's just mm. some of the other stuff I'm not, like... The important stuff I'm not convinced of. Mm. Mm. But definitely, the whole series is his weird fetish thing. And apparently he has like, a <laughs> scent fetish, which I've never heard of that. And I don't know how that works. I don't want to know how that works. I've never heard of that. No, I've not heard of that. What I've do you mean? Like, that's I, a normal thing. I So, the way that I discovered that scent fetishes are a thing was uh, me and Oka were reading through the uh, through the fucking podophilia. Not to be mistaken with pedophilia. Through the podophilia uh, wiki. And we discovered that there's a section near the end where they talk about related fetishes, and one of them is uh, it's like orphophilia or something like that, uh, which is the uh, the sexualization of smells. Particularly gross hmm. smells. Mm -hmm. Oh, so what Isabella Janky has. I don't know who that is. That's the person who got Chris Chan to rape their mother. Oh. Oh. Huh. That's the deep lore. Well. <laughs> Jesus, I need a drink. <laughs> Shit, I might need one too and I don't even drink. <laughs> this is what me and Akko talk about when we're not on stream. Oh, no. Chat just says, imagine the smell. Yeah. I don't know. I think overall, this mm -hmm. whole, like, um, the TikTok thing. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think I'm overall kind of for it. Look, all I know is TikTok is <clears throat> legitimately making children stupider. Yeah. Their parents yeah, aren't helping, well. but now there's TikTok, so. Like, there's, there's, there's upsides to TikTok existing. Like, somebody in chat said, you know, a lot of small businesses depend on it for, you know, getting their, getting the word out and all that. And I, I get that. That's I not, just, I don't know, hold there's on, so hold much, on, there's so much. That's an argument that I think is fucking, like, what do you think is going to happen? All this fucking marketing is money that they spend on, like, you know, like, making a TikTok, all this stuff. Like, all, what do you think people that are on TikTok are going to do? Just be like, oh, no more TikTok, tend to go back to normal life in the real world and not look at the internet at all. No. Well, like, no, this stuff yeah, is just going to fucking anyone, move. <laughs> Yeah, any, anyone who cares is gonna find it another way, and that, and that's and a part of that is like, yeah, it's like it's it it's, it sucks, but you know you figure it out. But like, there's if just TikTok so is the only many... fucking crutch, your business should not fucking exist. Yeah, like yeah, and it, it's like there's so many downsides in general of TikTok existing. I like TikTok too in some points. Like I, I see like some really talented you know artists and shit on there who put up like cool covers of stuff and like, you know, the p pianists and saxophonists and singers, of course, like I love, I love like hearing covers of things and shit. Like that's great. And all that, you know, covered out from TikTok, that's fine. But like there's other places for it. And like, we could kind of, we could stand to get rid of some of the weirder aspects of TikTok. I think, I think some of those, those weirder parts, the, the TikTok live again, I mentioned that. It's like, uh, I wouldn't, I've I never wouldn't be heard too a upset. good thing about TikTok. Tuck, uh, what? uh, oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait, I just want to address something that, that Tuck said. Because I'm down fishing on TikTok, hmm. I don't buy the social media is running your brain stuff. 
Depends on what you are, uh, what you would consider rotting someone's brain. Uh, I, I, I personally consider the social media effect on, like, just the human psyche and the constant need for attention and, like, validation. I consider that to be brain rotting effect. Well, that, also, here's absolutely the, thing. the internet creates narcissists. I think to a degree, with adults, you can kind of be like, oh, well, they're kind of doing it to themselves. Yeah, but absolutely. But a lot of people forget that the biggest users of TikTok are children. Yeah. Like, mm. that's also the biggest user of YouTube taught, shorts. Yeah, like, like you're literally being taught, from, these children are being taught from a young age, that the most important fucking resource on this goddamn planet is clout. And that's how you get people like the fucking, <laughs> the island boys, fucking blowing each other on OnlyFans. Yeah, and that's how you, well, that's how you get more kids wanting to be influencers than, you know, doctors or lawyers or firefighters yeah. or whatever the fuck, right? Because anybody right, can just, be famous, yeah. just do the next stupidest fucking shit you can think of. <laughs> Right? And so, like, that's, that's the issue. It's just the constant fucking, like, narcissistic desire for, like, people to fucking look at you. <laughs> Feeds into the, into like, that. just the natural retardation of most of humanity. Because most people just aren't smart. I'm sorry. It's just a basic fucking bell curve. Right? And it just, like, it's it's not... It's not good. <laughs> it's I, not I don't good. think a lot of chat kind of gets it because like not many people are teachers and not many people like have a reason to hang around like younger kids unless they have them in their family but mm. i have because i had like um did some substitute teaching work it is scary how there are kids that are like 17 18 years old and they type like my great great grandfather does <laughs> they have the exact same understanding of a computer as my 90 year old great grandfather did yeah. they I, physically I, cannot understand how they function and it is yeah. bizarre it's not just like one or two kids it is the entire classroom and it is scary so that lends itself to just the the progression of technology and specifically the the uh emphasis on accessibility of technology right which like it, it, it's it's all part of the thing where it's like when when computers first existed, right? Shit would break all the time, right? Your motherboard would short out, or your your battery would fuck up, or whatever the fuck, right? So a lot of and a lot of people who were like into that sort of thing would learn how to fix those problems themselves because they had to. They they learned how computers worked inside and out, so they could actually deal with all the problems that would come up with computers. Nowadays, computers are a lot more simplified. You don't really like a lot of them are made like ready made, uh, you know, built for people who who <laughs> wouldn't be able to open the the, hey, the, all fairness, the trash this is can me. that would keep out the smartest bear, right? Right. <laughs> the the all smart fairness, bear trash this can is me. thing. <laughs> well, yeah, but it's it's like that's not necessarily your fault. That's more like the world that you grew up in, yeah. Where like computers were are like intentionally made simpler to to be more accessible to more people. Um. But the 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 bad part about that is that now kids don't really know anything about how those computers work. If something breaks, they don't know what the fuck to do. They got to just send it into. I don't to think it's a generational thing whatever. though. Like, hear me out. Hear me it, out again. It can, it can be. So it can be. It's, I think to, a lot to a of you and a lot be. of people in chat are a lot more like on mm. the internet and stuff like that. Like I mentioned before, like I really didn't mm. use the internet, and this isn't like a, oh I was always on my phone type thing. Like no, I was just doing other shit with my life, mm. right? And so I have a bit more of, like, a normie kind of perspective on a lot of things. Most people don't know how the fuck computers work. It's not a generational thing. Absolutely it's not. I think mm. I'm a little bit being misunderstood. So I don't mean, like, they don't know how the computer in general functions. I'll relate it mm. to, like, a car, right? There's plenty mm. of people, regardless of what people think, that don't really know how to change a tire. They don't yeah. know how to change mm. their spark plugs. Tons That's pretty normal. I'm talking about... If these kids were in a car in that situation, they're driving five miles an hour down the interstate because they don't really understand how to turn the steering wheel. It is that level of not understanding how to use <laughs> a computer. They, they do the thing that you see in the, car the cartoons and the TV shows where they type mm -hmm. one index finger at a time with their hands lifted way above the keyboard oh, because they don't okay. know how to use two hands to type. They've never had that to do is... it. They genuinely don't do understand how. Do they not how... have the typing classes in schools anymore? God, I've no. I've, like, I, I had the fucking typing classes have kind in school. Phase them out. I've like never seen this before, and like I have like I have two like younger kids like in my house. Like I have like my two brothers. Mm. And, like they can type just fine. My sisters can type just fine. Like I I, mm. I don't know. Like with how like how important having like a laptop and like having like 
like doing like a lot of your schoolwork is on like on the internet like this is hard for me to imagine i've never seen anything like this we have had because hmm. i have a baby brother i'm not going to get into it but he is mm -hmm. 20 years younger than me <laughs> um but we had to like force teach him to type because they give all the kids in his class ipads so he he genuinely doesn't know how to like <laughs> oh the the ipad kid how to thing use a that's yeah that's that's the real problem right there God and damn. my thing is we're in a poorer school district and all the kids are provided ipads so like if you that's are not wild. getting an ipad you either have like a really just like stonewalling regressive like government i guess even i say regressive but people know what i mean or you are yeah. literally the dirt of the dirt poor because we're already pretty fucking low and we're getting ipads yeah even like Shit's, Shit's kids are getting like laptops and like ipads and stuff um mm. well i don't know like when, they I, was school, right I, now. when I was in school they would give us laptops and shit. um mm. god i we got we didn't even get pencil and paper we were that poor i don't know where the <laughs> fuck they found the money to give us ipads when i asked for a pen they yelled at me and told me i had to buy my own <laughs> Uh, back, 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 back when I was still in high school, we still had the fucking like actual PCs with the monitors on top of the like the big fucking chunky monitors on top of the desk. That's what we had. Oh, I stole one of those. It's in my living room. <laughs> God, oh Jesus God. I don't know. I I never learned how to type properly. Even though I took type like, typing classes, like I basically can't type like that. But like I type like a typewriter, so I just kind of go quick. Um, but yeah, like I don't know. They like the idea of like learning how to not use a keyboard is kind of wild to me. Oh, it's why it's weird um, seeing it. I feel like I'm teaching my grandfather how to type again. That 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 is he insane. never understood. That's super fucking strange. But I mean, it's one of those things. Like, are well, are, are we moving away from like typing? I guess. Like, I don't know. It's. I wouldn't think so. I'm, I'm trying to realize I'm not as in touch with the kids as I thought I was. Oh God, <laughs> am I getting <laughs> I, old? <laughs> my hope yeah, would yeah, be. You're, you're definitely you're old at heart for sure. My hope would be that the kids would have a better understanding of an iPad than I would, because I've never owned a tablet before. But even then, I can sit down and figure out a tablet quicker than they can, which is, I don't understand it. Like, you use it every day. How do you not know, like, how to change the background, how to swipe type? Like, I just, I don't get it. <laughs> I feel like yeah. one of the things that we don't teach in schools anymore is just it. general problem solving skills. That's just not that a could thing, be a that, thing that, that we teach in schools anymore. Like, also, it's just a, like, a matter of, like, reliance, right? So, like, like, my brothers only started figuring stuff out when I stopped doing things for them. And, like, yeah. everyone in my family got fucking mad at me for it. But it's just like, well, do they know how to do things now? It's like, yeah, but only because you abandoned them. It's like, okay, well, that was a good thing, wasn't it? <laughs> like, mm -hmm. aren't you glad I stopped helping them? It's, it's you know, sometimes the old Heihachi approach fine. works. You know, some, sometimes you just got a Heihachi. It just, just throw them off the cliff, let them climb back up on their own. Yeah, like, it's just, it's just one work, of those things, right? Like, dude, growing up, my parents didn't know how to do shit, so I had to figure everything out on my own. I once got shocked because I was trying- I literally stuck my finger in a fucking outlet. No one cared. Uh, now, man. meanwhile, growing up, my brothers weren't allowed anywhere near outlets. I had to do everything. What's that? Just unplugging and plugging in a fucking cable? Go get Rosa. <laughs> Like, I'm, I'm reminded of like the old world method of, of teaching children how to swim, by which I mean grabbing them by the leg and throw them in the lake. Throwing it yep. into the yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Let oh, it, I figure it out. Figure it out or drown. What, uh, you got two options. This, this, uh, that's kind of how I learned. I, I, I still don't really know how to uh, swim like fine. properly, but I know for an absolute mm -hmm. fact if I'm thrown into the deep end, I can swim out because I was once pushed and then I almost drowned and then I, I, I swam myself back up. Mm. Did you say you still don't know how to swim properly? Hmm. Fair enough. I'll, I'll, have to teach, I'll have to teach you one of these days. I, I, I don't like the beach or going to pools or anything. I, I, like, he just wants an I don't, excuse to get to a swim. I don't like getting wet unless it's in the shower. <laughs> we Damn, found Ben uh, Shapiro's Rick, Rick, wife. Man, Rick is going to be disappointed when I tell her that. <laughs> what? Uh, we, we can always fuck. set up a splash All zone right. somewhere else. I don't have to be in the way. <laughs> I think that's, like, unironically the excuse he used for his wife when he made the thing about the WAP song. Oh, like, no. No, you shouldn't be getting that wet. It's bad for you. It's medically unhealthy. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. All right. So, I think I think we've said our piece on the on the fate of TikTok in America. Oh, fuck TikTok. Honestly, I'm, I'm not going to... Yeah, I'm not going to care too much if it's gone. But, you know, we'll, we'll see how it all pans out. 
We'll see. We'll see if the oh, fucking no. TikTok withdrawal doesn't doesn't start the TikTok riots that end up destroying half of the U.S. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> They're just gonna make a fucking another one. Oh my god. That's yeah, they all probably that's gonna are. happen. They're just gonna make another one. They're gonna be like, oh no, we don't longer have TikTok. And then they're gonna make well, the next one, which is gonna be fucking, I don't know, something completely fucking different. TikTok used to be music alley, you guys remember that? They're gonna reboot Vine. Uh, oh yeah. Mm -mm. Oh my god, imagine Vine makes a fucking comeback off of this. That'd be wild. Didn't Vine get like bought out by some other company or something? I think so. I feel like I feel like that's what, what always happens to these these apps. They just get bought out and turned into something else. I like how people uh, in chat are bragging about being blonde, blue haired, blue eyed Aryan. <laughs> <laughs> My dad's one of those. That's just that's just that's just acumen. He's he's always been one of those. Vine is owned by Twitter. <laughs> Vine's owned by Twitter. Oh. Apparently. Hmm. All right then. Or it's like fused with sense. Twitter. It's related to Twitter somehow. I guess that's how got, they got the video player into Twitter or something. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, I noticed they want to ban TikTok now. But back when Trump floated the idea of banning TikTok, he got a lot of pushback. And the same people currently pushing for it. Yeah, uh, well, a lot more has come out, um, come out about TikTok since then. So maybe they just really couldn't <laughs> couldn't deny it anymore. That, that site's kind of fucked up. Site slash app. Kind of, kind of fucked up. Might just need to go. We'll see. <laughs> anyway, but the last of our stories. Uh, I think, I think, like the grand majority of, of this week's stories was just straight up fucking sweet uh, baby. Yeah, sweet baby. <laughs> For the most part, sweet baby took part. up the room. What, what's the deal and with all like the baby worrying and all of these? I don't, oh, we never got to talk about the fucking origin of the name Sweet Baby. <laughs> So there was a there was an let's, interview. Let's again, wrap up with, the with that, and then and then we'll go with the yeah. questions. Yeah, there was an interview with uh, the the CEO of Sweet Baby. I forget which interview this was, and I'm, I'm probably paraphrasing this a bit. There was there was, she was saying something about how, uh, like before Sweet Baby was formed, and she was doing like uh, consultancy work with with friends uh, in like a more uh, like Ronin style fucking mercenary work sort of deal. Um, they would talk about like meetings that went well after the fact, and they would say. Oh yeah, that representative we talked to was such a sweet baby. That's fucking weird. <laughs> it's so fucking weird. And like, and I'm, I'm thinking of the other interview where it's like we're talking about like how they can't keep doing the same thing with uh, that they've been doing in the game industry. You know, the, the shit that makes money by you know making good video games. Because you wouldn't just give a fussy baby the same food they've always had, right? Right. That logic tracks, doesn't it? When you're talking about a fucking customer to to. Uh, like a, the fucking consumer to uh yeah. to, to developer hold on hold on let me like, let me get this straight let me get this straight you don't yeah. want to give a fussy baby the same food right so mm -hmm. instead of giving them the food that they seem to like and have always seemed to like you're going to continue mm -hmm. giving them the food that's making them fussy so so okay here's this the, analogy like, doesn't in, work the way she thinks it does <laughs> I, I I think I also think it doesn't, but for a different reason. So like, because she if she's talking about the context of like, oh, the baby's got to eat his carrots or else he won't, you know, have enough healthy shit in his diet or whatever. It's like, yeah, sure, okay, feed the baby, make the baby eat carrots just so he can be healthy and all that shit. But we're talking about like adults mostly. You know, these people have the money to buy the video games, and we're talking about the 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 people making video games is relationship yeah, like, like, to the consumers that buy them this is not the same you can't yeah like, there's, there's no direct correlation between these relationships you own your child what you feed your child is up to you right your child is yeah. literally your slave by law okay <laughs> I, I need you i need to understand that <laughs> okay you feed your child whatever the fuck you want and there's nothing that child can fucking do about it that child doesn't have rights okay <laughs> until they're 18. <laughs> Yeah. See though, sure. Sweet Baby well, isn't the one like where I care where the name came from because I think Sweet mm -hmm. Baby is a weird as fuck name. But it's one of those yeah. where like, hey, I could maybe see where you got here. The company that gives them money, Baby Ghosts. I want to know where the fuck they got their name from. Yeah, that's I. I have no idea, and I doubt we'll ever hear that story. Have... I hope we don't. I don't. I don't think I want to. Yeah, uh, that's but fucking yeah, weird. Just, just... yeah, like in, in the case yeah, of yeah. like this sort of thing, like like Sweet Baby, you're the baby. We feed you. <laughs> yeah, like, like it's, it's my it's, paycheck you, becomes you, your paycheck whenever I buy your fucking product. Yeah, you need to just remember that it's a business. 
named after Pizzos Zoe Quinn's multiple abortions, supposed... baby ghost. Oh, uh, oh God! I, <laughs> Jesus, Jesus Christ! I hope not. That's uh, but yeah, when you're when when you're selling the fucking product, you give the customer what they fucking want, so they'll give you money. That's it. That's that's your that's your modus operandi. If you're a, co a company that wants to make money, which that's that's what you should want because that's what companies are for for making money. So you give the customers what they fucking want and you call it a day. You make your money and you're good. And everyone's happy except for the fucking insane leftists on Twitter who complain about big boobies and shit. And you know what? Like, but well, the fuck what they they're not, they're not paying for you the games. They're not you buying your shit either way. <laughs> so pander to the people with money. Like what the fuck are we doing here? Those people complain about literally fucking anything because that's the only value they have in their fucking lives. They're just like my mother. Like if you have nothing to fucking complain about, you're going to make <laughs> oh, something here up. We go. Just a fucking bitch and fucking wine. Because your entire that your entire value is a human fucking being is being a fucking victim. There is no fucking substance to you. Please eliminate yourself from society. Well, you heard it here first, folks. There you go. So why don't we on down to hell? Why don't we <laughs> take some questions? Before we before we trip down the slippery slope, why don't we take some fucking questions? <laughs> Let's see. So, question number one is from there. It says, uh, did you consider calling I this feel... the Kanye episode because of the gay fish? What? I'm, I'm sorry. I just, oh. I just, I feel like... Kanye had, like, like I... some weird thing where he was a gay fish for a while. I don't really remember it. I just can't help but feel, like, I, I, I immediately think of, like, the, the castle where Biggie's cast I always listen to, and how, like, Pat always circles back around to, like, whenever they're talking about anything sports related, he always, like, fucking circles back to blood sport. Like, <laughs> like, oh, like, you know, always, like the, the conversation always devolves to it's like you know how soccer would be more exciting if like one player on each team had a gun with one bullet <laughs> they were allowed to use at any point in the match. It's like what the fuck are you talking? <laughs> do you guys know about the hockey puck rule? I do not. What is the hockey puck rule? What is so that? if a hockey goes into like a, I think it's like a third overtime, they drop mm -hmm. a second puck. Add oh, two yes. more players to the field and add two more goalies, or one more goalie uh, on each side. Uh, I, if it goes oh, okay. into a fifth overtime, they mm -hmm. the entire team on both sides gets on the field. If it goes into oh, a shit. seventh overtime, they drop three more pucks. Oh my god! And if it goes into a ninth <laughs> overtime, they open a red letter that was sealed in 1960 something and has never been opened <laughs> since. Yeah. Nobody knows what's in it yet. One of our previous guests oh talked God. to us about this. I, I want to just be a gun. I, I, I remember this. I remember this. That's what everybody says. Ice everybody ice just ice wants ice it to be a gun. Just throw it into the ice rink and see what happens. Because <laughs> like I know, I know hockey is wild in the fact that like like if people if the players break into a fist fight, they'll just let them like hash it out. Just, like the ref will just watch, you know, make sure nobody like dies. But like aside from that, just, just you know, just let yeah. them go about it for a bit. They'll make sure out. nobody dies. Gonna, and they have no gonna... problem with fucking dudes throwing fucking spinning blade kicks into people's jugulars. That's that's you know, that's fine. It's no, no wild. one dies from those. Hockey is the closest thing to a blood sport that we currently have. Just straight up, hundred <laughs> percent. And but, for uh, some reason, the Canadians oh, are the best at it. I like. I don't understand what the fuck is going on with that. <laughs> it's oh, all of the like or... fucking like like repressed desire to kill people, just like just like the medical system. Maybe maybe one day <laughs> maybe one day we can just straight up get the fucking like the King of Iron Fist tournament back, and like UFC goes back to just being like any martial arts, all in a fucking free for all, and just they just go for it, right? <laughs> one dude pulls up with a fucking it's, it's sword just, like it's in real Street Fighter Six. Tekken. Yeah, it's just, well, okay, okay, no weapons, but, like, you can just, like, if you're, if you're, if, if you, like, come in with, like, combat Sambo, and you've been trained to, like, snap someone's neck or some shit, like, just, yeah, whatever, go for it, just get in there, just make it happen. Just, let's, just, let's just put, put the, Florida put the sumo wrestler like up against. We're also just built it. Just... You, you wouldn't think that Floridians would <laughs> be good at hockey, the ice sport, but here we are. Oh, man. Being shit the best at everything, you know? I'm I'm telling you, put the sumo wrestler in Except against football. like the Wing Chun practitioner, and let's see how it goes. I'm curious. I just want to know. <laughs> I just want to know. <laughs> Kane's being nice propaganda, which is a bloodthirsty Americans. Yeah, I think so too. Uh, what's the next question, okay, Rosa? Right. Do you feel jealous that the femboy <clears throat> comes across as more feminine than you? Does he? Thank you. Does chat. he? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that one. I'd say it's pretty even. I appreciate my, your support. Opinion. 
I don't know. Uh, fuck. <laughs> Everyone knows have... men make the best women. How do we have a How do we have a fucking woman off? Uh, Mizu, can you drive? What? Not not really. Fuck, he's right. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I always I always think about the fact that what was it? It was like Miss America was won by a trans woman. <laughs> men really do beat women at everything, including being the best woman. <laughs> It's wild, dude. It's oh, wild man. out here. No, Oh my god, I, I saw a fucking tweet, like, uh, <laughs> earlier, I think it was yesterday. Uh, like, I think it was from a trans person. It's like, it's like oh, I'm, I'm so excited about the, the uh, scientific uh, progression in uh, artificial wombs. Finally, we can get rid of cis women for good. I'm like, holy shit! <laughs> out loud? Out loud? That's in front of everybody? Wait, I, 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 dude, misogyny 2.0 is real, I swear to God. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I love, I love that misogynists and misandrists are fighting for who could get rid of the other first. <laughs> <laughs> this shit is wild. I like what they oh, really man. don't realize is that we're making artificial wombs, not artificial sperm. So the first person to be irrelevant <laughs> is just going to be women. <laughs> God, it's so funny. Because there's a lot of feminist groups that are unironically like, we're so glad we'll have the artificial womb, then we won't need men anymore. What do you mean you won't need men anymore? Who's we're getting rid of your artificial... part, not my part. <laughs> oh, man. They, they haven't come to, the, to realize that. Yeah, you know? They'll figure you gotta, it out. Give gotta, it gotta, time. Yeah. You gotta give them time. Like, you gotta give them time to learn how to, you know, use turn signals. Um, head, head but anyway. Fan dread timeline. <laughs> Uh, what is your final solution to the bug problem and their resource hoarding ways? Fire. We Wait, what was the question one more time? To... As a like, fascist, what is your final solution to the bug problem and their resource hoarding ways? Just kill them, dude. Uh, like, I don't, I don't yeah. understand. Just, just kill them. Pesticides everywhere. Why? Like, dude, humans are so good at making all these, like, really cute fucking animals extinct. <clears throat> Why are bugs not extinct? Why can't we make bugs extinct? Let's just make bugs extinct. Because what the fuck are we doing? Because they outnumber us like 10 to 1. There's, there's a shit trillion bugs, man. I don't and think my can of raid kills like 30. All I gotta do is spray it in the air around me. But like, can we actually get all of them? We'd have to go to where they live. We gotta go like deep in the jungles and forests and shit. We gotta I go think, like we gotta see, go think, see deep in the fucking look, ocean where the light doesn't reach. Like there's no I way am, to get all the bugs I on Earth. I am all for nuking the entire planet. <clears throat> But unfortunately, <laughs> the bugs would fucking live. Right? They'd be all that's left. Dude, I, you know what it hurts my yeah, soul? Yeah, the roaches. The roaches will live. It hurts my soul that I know deep down the insects will inherit the earth. That that hurts Probably. me. Probably. They're gonna win. Yeah. They're gonna win. Oh no, we've already proven this. The insects won't inherit the earth or humans. Uh, all, si all evolution leads to crab. The crabs will inherit the earth. Ah. Uh, huh. They count. Uh, but anyway. They can't, they count. Have you guys never seen that? But they, but they that? taste too good to be bugs. Uh, did you cover the Boeing whistleblower who got Epstein? 30 minutes late? Uh, if so, if you were a CEO, what public comment would you make? Uh, on an employee's death to make it obvious you did it. Uh, uh if I was the yeah, CEO, we... I would come out and I would say we got him killed because then everybody would think I was lying. Because why would I say that out loud? True. Wait, is that still like pop culture related? Because we do kind of like, sort of, kind of try to keep to the theme of pop culture. Isn't that like more, like outright political? Or you could have told me. Like, what, what, what was the whole deal with that? Like, I, 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 I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not completely informed on the story there. Like, what is the deal with that? What happened exactly? He was scheduled to give a talk on like the corruption in the Boeing like industry, like in a court case. He had already been subpoenaed. What is he was going to give a talk. Industry? They do planes. Oh, okay. Boeing yeah, Airlines or whatever. Oh, oh, gotcha. Yeah, okay, he was about to go into court, and then they found it was him or her. I can't remember. They found her mm. uh, shot in the head in her car. Oh, yeah, that, you know, that and very it was much sounds like immediately. That very much sounds like an assassination cover. <laughs> like straight, that's just what that sounds like. Come on, because they Boeing had been like really outspoken. Ah. Yeah, uh, basically, um. They had been very open about talking about it. They had, like, no history of mental illness or anything. And then all of a sudden, like, a day before they're supposed to testify in their car in a parking lot. I believe it was mm. in a Boeing parking lot, too. It wasn't in just, like, some random <laughs> fucking Lord. parking lot. It was in one of their factory parking lots. Bruh. Holy shit. 
mega bruh. <laughs> well. Uh, clearly he was upset that he could not win the case, so he killed himself. That's what they're gonna say, probably. Or they're gonna say he tripped and he slipped and fell on the gun. <laughs> Guns are dangerous. Oh. Guns kill people. Look. <laughs> the gun has a safety on still. These people don't know how the fuck guns actually fucking work. It doesn't have any ammo in it. Yeah. <laughs> it's loaded with blanks. It's like, oh, like but he, he, he shot himself, so the bullet was wasted. <laughs> Meanwhile, there's, like, no casing to be found anywhere. <laughs> Damn. Uh, can't, believe anyway. he, can't believe this man stabs himself 37 times in the chest and then shot himself in the head. That's crazy. Twice. From the back. <laughs> <laughs> that was my favorite. Oh. Unironically, there's... I forget what they got caught for, but somebody was ruled a suicide... And it was, it, the article literally said suicide by two gunshots to the back of the head. <laughs> the I was like, what the man, like, yeah, like, oh, No, 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 listen, easy, easy. This person clearly had, like, one of those fucking Tom and Jerry, like, cartoon ass, like, like, uh, <laughs> Like, 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 fucking, like the rolling ball and the fucking tipping over, like, uh, uh domino and all, all that shit, right? Like, just had yeah. all that set up. And it was all tied to, like, a shotgun. And he just sat in front of it, waiting for it to kill him. It was, like, twice at uh. the back of the head. Did you really write this in this article and you didn't realize what that sounded like? <laughs> that was real specific. Oh, really took two. Yeah, and it's fun. Dude. <laughs> Let me put my tinfoil hat back on. Yeah, it's it's literally Bro, like the mouse trap I, I, little I shit, right? Tinfoil hat for that. That's just chat, chat. I am like, <laughs> ask Jazz about the things like I I fucking rant about sometimes <laughs> off stream. I have like one bad day from going on like a fucking like gay frogs level rant. Okay. Oh man, you're gonna be right there in the Voldemort dimension with me, Zoo. <laughs> the VTuber. <Bro. laughs> No! I'll never get over the fact that gay no. frogs is half right. I think that will like forever ruin my psyche. I think I think like you know I, I I think some people just need to put my name on a list to you know give themselves some attention. Oh, um, they can put your name beside mm. mine. Huh? Yeah. They can put your name beside mine on the list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, but yeah, dude, I don't. I, I'm just saying. I'm just time. saying. There's some people out there with funny hats, and they're up to something. But uh, anywho. Uh, if you had to... Yeah. Wait, what? Would, would that oh. funny hat be a uh, fez by any fashion? I thought fez was for the Shriners. Oh, was that? I thought that was Illuminati. I don't know what the fuck their their their, their hats are called. Uh, yeah, fez is like the Shriners. They're like I don't a give enough about them or their culture. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't think the Illuminati wear hats. They're just rich assholes. Oh, okay. Damn it, Jenny, stop getting put on right. list. I'm sorry, but it's just, you know, I everything seems to add up every time. Uh, anywho. Uh, what's, what's the next enemy faction you'd want in Helldivers, and what do you want them to be an allegory for? I want an army of neon-haired midgets to represent Sweet Baby Ink staff. Uh, man, I just I, I got all the respect in the world for uh, for fucking hell divers devs, right? Because I uh, there was a story about how some people were in their Discord or their stream group or whatever uh, putting forth questions like, "Hey, can we have the rainbow flag in the game?" And those people got their fucking comments or their threads deleted because fucking no, super Earth, <laughs> no flags, no no actual countries or or ideologies or any of that shit. Thing. Super Earth, fuck Here's you. The thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Yeah. If we ever reach the mm. point where gay people were accepted, you wouldn't fucking need a flag, faggot. <laughs> you ever thought about that one? Fucking hell. Listen, anyway. if they if they get the rainbow flag, I want my straight flag in the game. All right. <laughs> where's my super? Where's the super straight flag? Actually, that one's kind of in the game already. Is it? Yeah. Lamel. It's yeah. the orange and black cape. Oh yeah, I forgot that's what the color the super straight. <laughs> Wait, there's now straight colors. Is that a thing? No, there's a flag that <laughs> was, was used was... to make fun of the LGBT flag for a while called the super straight yeah. flag, and the it's literally straight. just a thick black bar over a thick orange bar. 
which i mean like they 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 made a big fucking fuss way back when but like they kind of deserve it because like now you got the the flag that it has like the, the the black the brown the 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 fucking trans the the like it, it's like the, the triangle that's going across the fucking rainbow flag the original rainbow yeah. flag and they just added like the palestinian colors to that fucking thing like it's, it's <laughs> at yeah, a point like, the rainbow is going to disappear you're literal fucking clowns, and your flag only represents your complete lack of any actual fucking message. You don't want anything. You just want fucking attention because you're fucking narcissistic little fucking bitches. Yeah. Who just don't never, never flag. really the wanted. Colors? Oh, you're right. It is the porn hub colors. That's a big. That's great. That's funny. <laughs> that was the point. Oh fuck. Okay, sorry. You were saying. God. No, I, th I think I'm done before I, I drop another f bomb. Uh. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Wait, wait, I, I, I'm just, I'm really fucking annoyed at the, like, it's like, it's one of those things which is like, like, people who actually cared about this way, way back and actually mm -hmm. wanted something, they got what they wanted, yeah. and then now you're here fucking ruining it for the rest of us. Like, fuck off. Well, hey, the, 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 listen, listen, Rosa, the organization that's grifting money for the, the movement, whichever movement, you know, the gay movement, the trans movement, whatever, they can't keep grifting money if they don't have something to fight. And if they don't have something to fight, it's gotta fight make one communism, up. you fucking retarded fucking cunts. God. Please. Did you guys uh, know that Google warns you about memes if you search for an offensive meme now? Oh, what? of course. They, wait, did they warn you I was you trying about to their... find a specific meme to share with y'all, and I got a warning on it that says memes about groups of people might be disturbing or hurtful. <laughs> do, they, do they warn you about their racist uh, AI bot? That if, if you were to type in Greek philosophers eating watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> Google. I'm going to go search on Bing. Oh my god, it was so funny. Uh, I, I think they actually turned off that AI the, uh, image generator thing, but holy shit, that was so funny. Please tell me that someone someone typed into the, into the AI. Please show me Tarzan. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> No, you, the, the fucking the fact that like the German soldier when you type in can you generate images of German soldiers and you get a fucking black dude in a goddamn Nazi helmet like the fuck are you doing? Yeah, I still oh, have to ask you if these make any images of people in it. That's fine. Oh, that. okay. All right. All right. <laughs> it's so funny. Uh, so we, oh, we didn't actually answer the question, did we? About like with the an actual faction yeah, we want in the game. Yeah, what faction would you want? Um, we I already mean... have the, the, the bug communists. We have uh, mm -hmm. what are the fucking robots now allegory for? Uh, uh, I I don't think they are. They're just they're fucking robots. I don't know. <laughs> um, I, I... you know what? You know what? Bears, and it's the Russians. It's just a bunch of bears with the fucking the Russian hat. And you have to, <laughs> you have to fight the bear. <laughs> Fucking brown bears with <laughs> uh goblins. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> why goblin? Bear what? Don't oh, ask wait. me why goblins. No, I, oh, I, I forgot I forgot bear is a bear. My bad. My bad. Not not you, bear, the other bears. The Russian bear. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay. Want, you can come out. This I, is a safe space. I want them to just add the fucking the fucking goblin bankers from Harry Potter. The go are the goblins actually all bankers in Harry Potter? Are you fucking for real? Yes. No. Not all of them. Oh. The other ones oh, are okay. bad guys. <laughs> oh. I see. But like are the are the only good goblins bankers or like Yeah. Oh my god. That's okay. So I I'd heard the bit about like how maybe there might be some some anti-Semitism in Harry Potter, but that that's pretty uh, on the nose. <laughs> so no one. Yeah, that. I mean, so okay, no one fucking denied the, the fucking like oh goblins were were like were absolutely a fucking like allegory for the fucking dude. Like no shit. That's like it's so okay. fucking well, obvious, right? Well, but at the same time, like yeah, people will be like, go. oh my god, and they made this game about like beating up the goblins who just want their independence and blah 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 it's like no what the fuck are you talking about the whole fucking mm. plot of harry potter's the goblins want to fucking kill everyone <laughs> like what are you what are you talking about I do, I do i do wonder how those those same people will react if you ask them now about how they feel about the jewish nation of israel i wonder i wonder what answer they would get <laughs> oh they're so funny when they go back and forth on that yeah. Oh man, it's great. 
It's it's uh mm. they they can never square that circle. Mm. It will forever live in in the fucking I don't know. What, what, what's, what's like the the rhombus zone? I don't fucking. Know. Dude, I. Here's the thing. It, it, they would react the same way they uh, did when they fucking uh, gave an award to that one fucking uh, Ukrainian soldier, who historically mm. fought against the Russians uh, mm -hmm. during World War Two. You know, mm. when the Russians were fighting with us against the Nazis. <laughs> They tell you October 7 should be a holiday. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> oh, no. Holy the shit. only comment I have about people representing other countries is, do y'all know what Azure Lane is? Yes. Yeah, vaguely. Azure Lane had an event where they were going to release like the very first ever Russian ships to the game. And they had it mm -hmm. scheduled months in advance. They had it hyped up. Everybody was ready for it. The mm -hmm. day before, as they were currently publishing the event and had the servers down, Russia invaded Ukraine. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Literally, as what? they were updating the game to add Russian ships, Russia invaded Ukraine. That's and they funny. had to disable... <laughs> They had to, like, disable all their forms and everything, because all the comments were just, take the event back, you shouldn't be supporting Russia. That's so well. fucking funny. <laughs> well, That's fuck. so fucking funny, dude. Uh, how about that, huh? Look, oh, all their man. forms were, like, That's shit rough. up so bad for weeks. And, and look, like, oh, man. People, again, it's just, it's the constant Nobody wants these like... Russian titties anymore. You put those Russian titties away. It's they stayed the it. course and keep the boats? Yes, they did. The event continued. They just had people's comments on it disabled. <laughs> Good shit. And I got every single Russian oh, they ship because they're all hot. I even have a poster of one of them in my room. Oh, well, there you go. Send a picture. 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 Picture Take the she picture of the one on my wall. White hair no, blonde. she does not. All right, all right. No white hair, nor blonde. <laughs> not this one. What? There, because there's there's a few of them. The Russian ships, right? Like how many? Uh, I think they added like seven during that event. Okay, chances are good one of them's either blonde or white haired. So you're good. <laughs> God, my cell phone takes really good pictures in the dark. Holy shit. Hmm. I should Technology. use this more often. I know, right? Mm -hmm. No, th this is the uh, <laughs> the poster I got from them. God damn. On screen? I cannot show that on screen. <laughs> 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 I am not going to show that on screen. Fair uh, enough. I'm going to move on to the next question, though. Uh, if yeah, you had to re-end... <clears throat> what? Is that it? What? Is that, is that the whole comment? I, I, I'm going to assume that's going to tie into the next question that NBA asks. So I'm going to... Uh, let's see. To the next one. Uh, with it being mm. 10 years from the uh, G from, from Gamergate from GG, and we have mm. the results from that, uh, Carl Sargon, uh, wife, four kids, uh, a flourishing business, uh, he not work out, work out, out, and Anita celebrating 40 with a wedding. Yeah. Scrap the previous, I'll follow up in the next question. Okay. <laughs> oh, never mind. yeah. Okay. Go ask again. Yeah, that, that 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 was that shit was just sad. The fucking pictures of Anita Sarkeesian <laughs> and her wedding themed fortieth birthday. Jesus Christ, <laughs> that was weird. That's the, that's the saddest shit I've ever seen in my uh, life. Uh, exact and, and had to rename the company in order to uh, go under the radar. What would you now call the company? I recommend Sour Fetus LLC. <laughs> We're renaming Sweet Baby and trying to go under the radar. Uh, fuckers. Sorry, what did you that's say? Right. Futbuckers? Futbu Futbuckers, yeah. That's that's the new name of the company. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Eat and feed. Black non-gamer girls. <laughs> Don't look. Non-sweet oh, baby. <clears throat> Uh. Yep, chat. Sneed, 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 sneed and feed. Sneed and feed is pretty good. It's cool. the best rebrand cool in the world. LLC. <laughs> uh, 
is is play gank taken already i think that i feel like yes. i heard that one somewhere before yes play play well, gank's a video game uh unfortunate <laughs> it would have been so it would have been a little so baby and oh, just well. uh making the company snoot game formerly chuck suck and fuck <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna move on to my question. Uh, with the result of GG coming to fruition 10 years on, Carl Sargon, four kids, wife, uh, flourishing business, and uh, the other side, Anita recently celebrating turning 40 with a wedding themed birthday. Who won? Uh, yeah. Neither of them did. They're both cringe as fuck, and I hope Sargon goes down in the same fiery pit that Anita does. Oh, no. Oof. Ah! Uh, hey. I hear Devin uh, and Arch mention Sargon to be every so often, but I don't, I don't know much about him. If I was to be objective, I would say... I mean, they're both doing pretty okay for each other. Or, well, for the, you know, for, the, for themselves. Like, like, yeah, Anita is, you know, celebrating her 40th fucking birthday, but she still has a fucking, her fucking firm claws gripped. I don't even think she likes men, I'm gonna be completely honest. She has her fucking firm claws gripped into the fucking... Into the fucking... The fucking gaming Sargon industry, is though. Arch's DM. Oh, oh, so Sargon's in the in the D and D campaign that they're doing. Oh, okay. What did Sargon do? Look, Sargon was British, and you might think that's not a big crime. <laughs> you might think that's not a big crime, but here, you guys need to understand this. Sargon talks a big game about like free speech and all this, but he has mm -hmm. a British understanding of free speech, where if you say ah. something offensive, that's not free speech. That's still hate speech. So he'll talk this huge game is like, we guys, we need to band together as free speech absolutist. And then somebody will say something racist and he'll be like, we don't tolerate racism. Racism is not free speech. It's hate speech. It's annoying mm -hmm. as fuck. I, I hate British people. They're terrible. They don't know what freedom is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What, yeah. Wasn't there I, I don't know anything about Sargon ah. other than that he once had a fish thrown at him and it's on video. <laughs> I didn't see that, but that would be funny. I can find Wasn't there something you, recent probably. about them making a like a law in the UK about how you can actually get like sent to jail for for several years for saying mean shit on the internet? Yes. Yep. Jesus. They tried know. to get um what's her name the Harry Potter lady on it recently and it didn't work. Oh, <laughs> because she's rich. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, so that actually got like written into law? That's like a legit law now. Well, I mean, people have gotten arrested before in Britain for saying mean shit on the internet. It's like a considered bullying, harassment, yeah. something. Oh, I don't yeah, just like know. That, that one fucking stone toss comic. <laughs> the guy's like typing like some bullshit into in, in, into like Twitter, and then like you see like the like key, keyboard smashing is like a, a fucking British cop is like pinning him to the keyboard. It's like, oh, you got a racist for that racism. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they do. That was great. Sargon was such an idiot for that. <laughs> I'll never uh, get over him saying that. Sargon is also running for political position during the campaign. He told a female rival that I wouldn't even rape you. Wait, wait, are you suck? What? He did. <laughs> and then he tried, the when fuck? he got questioned by it, by like his own party, he tried to justify it and he says, I said I wouldn't rape her. I don't see what the big deal oh, is. <laughs> the fact that you brought up rape at all, man, it's weird. Sargon, it's with that one comment, <laughs> unironically destroyed his own political party, which was a bigger political party he had latched himself onto. It oh completely nuked their party, and they basically lost all their seats. That's uh, very funny. He, 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 he fucking sweet babied them. He did. It was... <laughs> and everybody made fun of him baby. for it. And then when people would make fun of him for it, he's like, well, at least I tried, guys. Like, you didn't try very fucking hard, bro. You couldn't even keep your mouth shut for five seconds. A girl went to prison for posting a rap song oh, on Facebook? What? Oh, yeah, no, uh, because some the rap girl, song like, had the n-word in it, yeah. It had the n-word in it. She got arrested for, like, hate speech. I think they ended up letting her go, but they still took her to jail, and they were going to prosecute her. I'm going to move on to the next question. Uh, Jazz, you're the only one here who hasn't gotten kicked off Twitter. Uh, when that does happen, what do you think the post will be? Uh, I'm sorry, what was the question one more time? Well, what's gonna uh, get you kicked off Twitter? Yeah, me? Uh, yeah. probably, You're the only one probably here who my... has not gotten kicked off Twitter. What do you think it'll be? Probably my ongoing fight against people giving a shit about the n-word. <laughs> I'll never stop saying that people should stop giving a shit about the n-word. And I mean the hard R. I mean the fucking hard R. 
they're gonna get me on that eventually but i'll i'll like i'm i'm it's i i literally retweeted that image of like the entire army gets the one guy saying nah y'all y'all all of y'all are the wrong ones and it's true all of the black twitter is fucking wrong about the n-word they should get over it because that's exactly how the fucking trolls are gonna get them every time because they know that they're always gonna take that bait they're always gonna take it but i am actually yeah, superior be the because black the n-word cannot black man banned for not <laughs> dropping the hard r <laughs> i am i am i am the strongest of the blacks because i'm immune to the n-word they should fear man, me <laughs> <laughs> they should fear me the oh, weak no. should fear the strong <laughs> power word power word anger black people doesn't work on this one. Oh god whatever will i do <laughs> Jazz for Black Captain America. <laughs> Maybe the first black man. <laughs> Me putting down a watermelon oh, and running away. <laughs> now I'll distract him. I should roll a watermelon thing, in the I, direction. I, you don't like watermelon. I actually. I, no, I don't. <laughs> yeah, I know. I like, it's so if, funny. If you, if, you do, if, if you do like fried chicken or orange soda, that'd work. Okay, okay. It's him, the. Uh, wait, orange soda, not purple <laughs> the, drink? The, the, <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting that in the fucking possible podcast. <laughs> the end walker. You should put that in your fucking bio. <laughs> I'm him, the end walker. <laughs> Wait, how do you feel about Oreo? Uh, I I like Oreos. They taste good. Wait, is this like it's is this like a slur? Is Oreo a slur? It's a white now? chick in the middle and two black guys on either side. Oh, that yeah, makes sense to me. It's accurate. <laughs> or it's a black guy with a white guy inside him. <clears throat> Depends on oh, your, your yeah. fetish, your preferences. Yeah, I don't know. Sound, you get fucked like by it, a white guy? It, you want to be it, an it, Oreo? It, no. But it it's sounds like the logic follows feelings. for the situation, so... <laughs> Another boss with status immunity. <laughs> Oreo is a black Oreo's guy black. who acts... Look, you gotta be more specific, bro. There's a lot of different Oreos out there these days. <laughs> <laughs> the ad mock is gonna be in my brain for like the next few days. Jazz is out here fucking being, uh, the, the fucking, uh, the fucking Yang, in the fucking Yin and Yang. Uh, He's black on the outside, but he has a white soul. <laughs> uh, reminder, Jazz's dad is white. We win again. Okay, t correction, for, for posterity's sake, my stepdad is white, but he's better than my real dad, so there you go. Snow Roach in the end walker. <laughs> <laughs> there you go! That's it! That's it! That's we finally, we finally found your fucking character name! <laughs> Uh, for yeah, context, Mizu, I'm putting together a band of superheroes to fight racism <laughs> through the power of of equal opportunity racism. We're fighting fire with fire with better fire. Uh, and uh, and uh, but my character's called the Snow Roach. I'm just trying to figure out a name for 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 Jazz. Uh, uh, the Ed Walker uh, is definitely it. I'm taking Helmsman's that. Helmsman's character it. is uh is is called a uh, uh, Cracker Jack. Is that Cracker it? Jack. Was that Cracker it? Cracker Jack. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what's yours, Mizu? What's yours? I would be Yellow uh, Fever. Yeah. I dig it. Or dig my it. my favorite one for that is Yellow Tuberculosis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, wait, no. What was that shit they called uh, COVID nineteen? It's like ah, fuck. What was Oof? it? The Kung Flu. Yeah, Kung Flu. The there Kung you flu. go. That's you. <laughs> Kung Flu. <laughs> I can't do this anymore. I quit. Okay. The Wuhan what's Madness. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna move on. What's what's the next uh, one? Do stream idea. Rosa Can finds pictures and shows up all the different types of Cubans to prove their visual aesthetic superiority. I'm not gonna be on. Let me. Let sorry, me chat. Right the quick. Vietnamese girls clear. Yeah, sorry. The Vietnamese. Yeah, they they they, they do clear. Chat. I'm, I'm gonna be really honest. Cuban women are kind of mid. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Damn, tell, I, I heard they were like. Don't tell anyone I, heard they were, I like, said Latin that. Sexy. Uh, they can. I, be. I thought they were the sexy Latinas. They they can be. <laughs> Chat. Hmm. But they get cleared by Brazilians. <laughs> Cuban women.
Brazilians are fucking crazy, okay? Don't, don't, don't. I hear Brazilians are pretty hot, yeah. Chat, don't, don't, don't stick your dicks to Latinas, all right? Just trust, trust me on that one. <laughs> Just trust me. Always use protection, <sighs> chat. Also, specifically no. German women from 50 years ago. Or 60. Hmm. It's been a while. I get the dates mixed up. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Just the ones from 60 years ago. Modern German women look terrible. <laughs> oh, Damn. okay. Gotcha, gotcha, Oof. gotcha. Uh, are Latinx women from LA safe or more dangerous? No, those are Mexicans. Those are worse. If they are first <laughs> generation <laughs> immigrants, they're safer. Mm -hmm. First Brazilians generation to immigrants with are white pretty men based. To breed the color out of them, those Brazilians. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the, fucking, <laughs> the Brazilian urge to, to fucking... Uh, <laughs> to Become breed out white. their own their own brown skin. I dude, I what the what, eugenic what urge of Brazilian. I need to fucking make a fucking meme that it's just it's just a fucking moth <laughs> moth meme with a fucking lamp. It's it's the mm. moths are Brazilians. The lamp is whiteness. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> the so Brazilian funny. urge to commit eugenics. Oh man, fucking hell. That's a, like, as long as we're on the topics of racism and eugenics, have That's you guys ever been on way. African Twitter? No. <laughs> do, African do Twitter. To? Yes, African Twitter. On a scale of one to ten, how fucking racist are they to like American blacks? Oh, they horrendously. They, they 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 hate they fucking hate American blacks. Every <laughs> every blacks outside of America fucking hate American blacks. Let's be if real. You go to African Twitter, you cannot find a single post of them calling someone a African American. They always use the word like field monkey, I think is the one they go with most <laughs> of the time. Damn. Holy shit. Yeah, um, that I, it's like their favorite insult for them, dude. I so the way that I learned that like that like African blacks don't like American blacks was uh, I think I've told the story before. I'll be on this podcast before, but uh, uh, I used to play Destiny uh, a lot with people from like different places in the world, and I had this one group that happened to include a African guy and a black mm -hmm. guy, and mm -hmm. he would fucking shit on him constantly, right? <laughs> and I have con like this is forever in my brain. Uh, normally, I this is during like the Kingsfall era. I don't know if, how much you know about mm. Destiny, Mizu. Mm. Uh, or if you've ever played Not Destiny. Enough. But uh, in the Kingsfall it. era, right? And then, and then the Kingsfall raid. Uh, at the very end, when you're fighting uh, Oryx, you have to like this is what you, this is one role where you have to basically go you have to jump up on the platforms, right? Uh, with like a with, like a relic, to, like charge it, and then you go down, mm -hmm. and then you you can like beat up the fucking dude that has the the the, the relic that actually gives you like the overshield. If I'm remembering correctly. But it's, it's, it's like a mm. really simple fuck. It's just a few set of jumps that you have to do. Typically, you want your fastest guy to go and do it, right? Normally, I'd, that'd be me. I'd be, I'd be playing like a hunter with like max like speed stats and shit, right? And this one time, I was too far away from where it spawned. When it spawned. So the black guy, uh, he, you know, he, he goes up and he's doing it. And he fucks up the last jump. And it costs <laughs> us the run. And we've been at this for like hours. Right? We've been at this for hours. The African guy... Somewhere in this run, disconnected, because, I shit you not, an elephant knocked out his internet for, like, an hour. Uh, that's not a joke. That is that is verbatim mm -hmm. what he said. So, well. we've all we've been at this for a while, everyone's stressed, everyone's annoyed, right? And this dude, like, we have, we're so close to beating it, and this dude fluffs on, like, the last jump, basically, of this entire thing. And this dude starts, the African guy starts going off on him, basically like insulting him, all this, blah, 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 blah. And he ended, he ended his, his, his slew of like, of, of, uh, of, of negativity, of, of, of dark, what, what, what's, what was the, the terminology again? Dark participation. Yes, he ended his slew of dark participation <laughs> with, uh, <laughs> you're fucking useless, this is why we fucking sold you! <laughs> Dark participation. I we still can't get over that. We all fucking died. It was so fucking good, and that will oh, never. Man. That that will never. Like him with his like fucking like like European ass fucking South African accent. Like I guess what we fucking showed you. Like it's, 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 it will never leave my brain. It's so funny. 
It's just like the dark participation. How do you react, bro? Like we all started like... laughing. Like, 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 none of us gave a shit, right? Nobody like, could hear the comeback. They were all laughing too hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like we were all yeah, fucking that's like, that's dying. Like the, that's like the worst. That is the worst fucking situation to be in when like. Like you're you're going back and forth with somebody, and they hit you with something so good that the entire room just starts like breaking <laughs> down laughing, and like you you're, you're like, trying so hard to get a word of it, nobody can hear you. <laughs> I need you to understand. We were all this man was like yelling. We were all dead <laughs> silent because we were all fucking. We were all annoyed, and we were all peeved, right? And no one really mm -hmm. like what like had anything really to argue with. Everyone was just kind of upset, right? So I'm just kind of letting this dude rant out, right? Everyone's in a bad mood. These like this dude's actually fucking yelling at him. They're fighting, all right? This dude's actually legitimately angry at this person. We all are, mm -hmm. right? But none of us want to actually say anything, right? So this dude's fucking going off on this guy, and then he drops that bit. All of the fucking depression in the room gone instantaneously. <laughs> Everyone was immediately dying of laughter. It was fucking great. Uh, see, chat. Racism it really is the way to a better world. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, we, we we all we all got a second wind after that. We all got a second wind after that. Oh fuck. Alright, what's, what's the next question? Uh fuck. let's get through these. Jazz goes a Mizu, please tell us the benefit <clears throat> of uh of level what? The benefit of level one of your human race. Uh, I don't you get. I, I get it. Uh, it's a D and D question. Uh, oh. For yeah. the uh, Latina race, you get. Mm -hmm. uh, you get uh, fire damage resistance. Mm -hmm. uh, and a plus two bonus to uh, attack and damage uh, with ranged throwing weapons. Mm. If you guys ever played Skyrim. Yeah. I have, you know what the have, Nord's passive ability is? I have multiple pl uh, platinum trophies Aren't they, Don't they have like cold resistance or something? They have cold resist. Well, and there's they... another one they can get where they do bonus damage to every other race. Oh. That yeah. isn't a Nord. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, you get fucking nationalism buffs. <laughs> that's, that's my human buff. You do bonus damage to every non-human character. <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god, that's amazing. That's pretty yeah, that's good. Yeah, my, that's my human buff. You do bonus damage to everyone who's not a human. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, that's, that's fantastic. I see nothing wrong with this. <laughs> okay, so so for the black race, uh, you, you also get uh, fire resistance, but yours is scaling, and it uh, it gets higher the darker your skin is. <laughs> You get scaling viruses. Uh, you also get a uh, an extra, let's say, five feet on your on your jumping ability. Okay. Yeah. An extra five feet on your jump jump specifically <laughs> while jumping. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can't jump nearly <laughs> as much because you have an innate foot deep. Rosa, what class were they playing during the raid? Fuck, man, you're asking me a question from, let's see, when did fucking, when was King's Fall fucking relevant? <laughs> like, Jesus Christ, this is, like, 20... Plus jumping minus swimming. 15? Oh, yeah, you, you get a Almost movement debuff if you ever have to swim. Uh, I know for a fact... Where did the black hunter. people can't swim thing come from? I've always I wondered know. I'm that. A, I'm a I don't know, I'm, pretty, I'm a pretty good swimmer. If they were a warlock? No, the person doing the jumps is a titan. I know that for a fact. The person, I know, I... I the person doing the jumps was a titan, I was playing a warlock, and the African guy was playing- Sorry, I was- I was playing hunter, the per the African guy was playing a warlock, because I know that- I know that for a fact, he always played warlock. Uh, yeah. and the- 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 the black guy, the American guy, uh, he- mm. he was playing a titan. All races yeah. are inferior right. for the hunter master race. Or class, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, uh, I got you. <laughs> Alright. All I right, don't know, well, you really yeah, seem yeah. to me like somebody who'd want to be a warlock. <clears throat> Why? Well, I feel like you'd like wearing the D &D. I feel like you'd like wearing the robes. Nah, mm -hmm. I'm not into, a certain like, kinship. Nah, I'm not into, like, robes or, like, dresses or shit like that. Oh, what kind of fucking faggot <laughs> do you think I am? <laughs> <laughs> 
there's a well. there's there's a song called um blue dress by cranius mm -hmm. that i highly recommend you guys check out but the entire the song is basically mom. about how this guy is describing himself as this epic wizard that can like shoot fireballs and like burn people's like flesh off and shit right uh, blue dress and by then, cranius yeah, and and then uh, it it breaks down to him being like uh like like why can't I get cool gear? Why, <laughs> like why must I wear all these robes that are gay? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, okay, what's the next question? <laughs> it's really good. It's really good. You should check it out. I, I, that description did not do it justice. <clears throat> it's really uh, wrong. Come on. What's your take on D and D players banning truly evil role playing, such as rape, racism, child abuse, etc.? stories on TikTok of groups kicking people out of their circle just for attempting. Uh, as a DM, what you allow is up to you. If you don't want that sort yeah. of stuff in your fucking campaign. <coughs> like, I'll tell you right now, I've kicked someone out for something like that before. Uh, yeah. And by kick someone yeah. out, I mean I've had their fucking character executed. Oh. Because guess yeah, like, what? Oh. Every single, even remotely fucking morally, like, like... I don't, I, don't, I don't want to say higher, but like a uh, morally good line creature, mm -hmm. and even most of the bad ones are going to think you're a fucking piece of shit, and they're probably gonna kill you. For the most part, unless the like the campaign is themed. Here's the thing: I, I don't like the idea of I don't fucking baby my players. All right, if you decide that you yeah. want to hop in and play a chaotic evil, not a not a not a not a lawful evil, a chaotic evil, just retarded fucking mongrel person who's gonna go around killing people and in front of their mostly good party and they turn on you and kill you i don't want you to then turn around and fucking complain boohoo you let the other party members kill me they were role-playing yeah like you're a yeah, fucking I mean idiot <laughs> maybe don't play that character for this campaign and don't expect maybe, me to make a campaign to to, to, <laughs> yeah like don't expect me to make a like Find a DM that will do that for you. I'm sure there's many out there. Or DM your own. Yeah. Right? I, I, I don't doubt that, like, somewhere in, in the dark web, there's the, the dark d and -ers who, you know, get all up in that, like, all that horrible shit. For but, sure. like, they kind of, they, they probably the do that together in a group that's all cool with that here's sort of thing. thing. By all I've, means, fuck it, do it. So, I've had villains do all of those things. I've had campaigns where the mm. villains do those things, those really horrific things. Yeah. And the purpose of that is to, like, you know, incite uh, anger in the player. It's just, like, some of the people understand yeah, is that, like, to I, 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 want to kill I always see people talk villain, about, yeah. like, uh, like, Berserk. Like, oh, my God, people like Berserk, even though it has sexual assault. It's like, I don't think you understand. It's not like people are like, oh, yeah, sexual assault. Mm. No, the people are like, oh, my God, this is horrible. I mean, it, it makes them identify with the character and, like, you know, hate it. The point of having these I mean, dark things. Shut up. The point of I'm having. Sure some graphic, get some Griffith lovers out there. That's all I'm, I'm saying. I'm sure. <laughs> But the the point <laughs> of having wrong. like dark <laughs> somebody had to say it. The point of having dark participation in stories is to create fucking drama, create anger in the the reader and the person that's having this experience. That is an emotion that you're allowed to have and is really powerful and really makes you feel a fucking story when you're legitimately angry. For like what's going on. It's good story. Also, though, chat. chat, as somebody who does kind of enjoy darker stories, typically mm. if a guy comes into a such situation like that and they want to have like a long RP session about how they rape somebody, it's a fetish. That's yeah. not like That's a they're fetish. trying yeah. to include everyone in their fetish. It has nothing to do with role play. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. Yeah, and we and we know these days very well how trying to include everyone in your fetish goes over in a, in a larger. If, if I've learned sense, anything uh, about D and D, a lot like <clears throat> D and D is how a lot of people like discover their thing. That's something that I've come to learn over a long time playing. A lot of people are like mm. it's like oh you know this person they keep making like furry characters and then later turns out furry, they pick a closet furry. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this person keeps making characters that are gay. Turns out they've been gay all along. This person but, keeps but making character you... that rape people. <clears throat> yeah, they might be a little <laughs> weird in that regard. Some people. I tell you one thing Here's though. Thing. I didn't some need D and D to tell me I love tomboy abs. Lamel. Uh, <clears throat> some people. That, just, that came naturally. Well, like obviously enjoy to play like a dark character, right? And like that's fine. 
right? But, like, you have to remember that you're not the only fucking player. Yeah. Like, sh like, drop the fucking narcissism at the fucking door, because if I, if I don't give a shit when the fucking faggots are narcissistic, I sure as fuck am gonna give a shit when you are. Hmm. Uh... Boo -boo -boo -boo. Fair. Fair is fair. D&D's, at, it's a, it's, at the end of the day, it's a, it's a team deal. Gotta make it work with other people. It's a, mm -hmm. it's, it's a whole, it's a cooperative uh, kind of game. And if you don't want to, you don't want to cooperate with people, if you want to like do your own thing and make your own do it story intelligently. That, you know, everybody. Well, I once, it's, well, it's, I once played a fucking lawful evil character in a in a mm -hmm. campaign where everyone else was good. Yeah. Do you want to know how I got through with it? By fucking disguising all of my evil deeds as good deed. Yeah, well, I kept I mean, going in, in terms around. Of like the, like giving the horrific, offering like, prayers shit, I mean. for like enemies and like and like good people that would die during the campaign, like people that would die, right? I'd be like, oh, you know, I'm just offering mm. a quick prayer for them, and like I go and like I like close their eyes and stuff. I put my hand on like on my chest on their chest, and people are like, oh my god, wow, she's so sweet. Mm. I'm actually stealing their souls mm. so I can sacrifice them to my fucking demon lord, who then later crushed the BBG for us and then became the new bad guy, which I did not help <laughs> in fighting. Mm. For obvious reasons. I got you. But I mean, I mean, I meant like in terms of like the, the horrific like fetish shit. Like, just just, just go write a fanfic. Just, you know, just <laughs> like don't stop trying to force people into your weird thing. Just you know, just let it be your thing. Do it behind closed doors. There's just some shit people aren't gonna be like yep. down with. I mean, I mean, and actually, some people will be down with it. But go like go find the Reddit thread for that or whatever. I don't like just, you know, don't try and force it on people who clearly aren't down with it straight up also to like it's never it's actually, never gonna end well to actually do like a sexually ass to se a sexual assault story you have to be mm. a very good writer mm -hmm. and let's be honest 90 percent of people playing D D have nope. no writing experience at all you're yep. not yeah. doing it very well trust me yep. it comes off really creepy and weird yeah anywho uh next one is uh <laughs> Mizu, why does your model look so sad why are you so sad Oh, I gotta, I gotta mm -hmm. fix my toggles and whatnot. Whenever I, oh like, yeah, look you, down, yeah, you do have the little like the the teardrops the coming in your eyes, and I'm like, uh, <laughs> oh He's no, you so make me so upset. But I'm, I'm just waiting until I get like a brand new model, and then I'll, I'll sort it all then. Okay, okay. Ah, gotcha. Fair enough. Uh, all right, next. What you take on? Wait, did I? Oh, I already read that one. That's what I just read. Oh. I somehow managed to skip the sad model. Uh. <laughs> oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Any thoughts on the Haitian warlord barbecue basically taking over? What? The fucking what? Oh, uh, there, there's a, oh, um, I think I heard about call, this. a civil war or something in Haitia, and apparently all the cannibals came out and they started eating people. Ah, well, I, Haiti, think sorry. That's, uh, I think that's bad. I don't think we should eat people. That's, that's my thoughts on the matter. I don't have a problem with this. I don't know why they devolved into cannibalism so quick, but I also don't understand their country's, like, whatchamacallit, uh, it's state. A shittle. It's a shittle. It is a, it's a, yeah. a terrible, mm -hmm. terrible, terrible shittle. It's part it's of possible, why, like, like, Haitians in the U.S. are so, like, patriotic, usually. Mm. Like, they, they look yeah, that shit and they're like, yeah, fuck that shit. Haiti is sucks. Well, there you go. I guess that's our thoughts on the matter. But, uh, don't yeah, go I, don't to know. Haiti. I don't really have a problem with cannibalism. Like, if, like, would you eat someone? Yeah, I mean, if they're already dead. Depends but how like, hungry am I. Yeah, okay, yeah, if, if it comes down to, like, deserted island, there's nothing else to eat, you're, you're, whoever you're stuck with there fucking dies, uh, and you, you're, you still gotta eat, you, know, I, you do what you gotta do to survive, like, you're always gonna do what you gotta do to survive at the end of the day. Like your, your your brain, your body, something's gonna force you to do the horrific thing in order to keep living. But like in a, I'm just like I'm not. I don't have enough context of this situation. Like, is there other food nearby? Are they just eating people out of spite? Like, what is what is happening here? Like, I don't. I, don't, I mean, like I don't, it's Tuesday, hmm. and I'm a little bit famished. Yeah, like I'm pretty sure like they're just they're just they're just straight up cannibals. I, I yeah, I, I'm not a I, I'm not a huge fan of the idea of eating another human being outside of like the most extreme possible cases of like needing to survive. I have zero qualms with it. Well, we'll have to agree to disagree on this one, I think. I love my cat more than I love most people and I've eaten cat before and I know, I know that I could do it again. Lumi dragged right. me and Akko to play the Sons of the Forest or whatever with her. 
And mm-hmm. I, the first thing I questioned is like, at the start of the game, you crash land on the island, and mm-hmm. within the first day, we're already eating human meat. And it took me about like five minutes to think about it. And I'm like, we've been here for a day, and we have like all these like food supply rations. Why is the first thing all of us did kill a person and start eating them? <laughs> oh, is that is that how that game opens? So, oh, all right. Wow. Yeah, I, I'm no, not that, that was right player now. choice. They didn't make us do that. We just immediately yeah. started killing and eating the natives. I, and I was like, why, why are we doing Well, clear, I think clearly when it comes to video games that, that only like... hands could satisfy. <laughs> I think like when it comes to video games, like we very much think of it right as there. a like as a like, was like, oh, here's my food meter, right? If it fills my food yeah. meter mm-hmm. and it doesn't cause me to get poisoned, I literally don't care what it is, right? Like, mm. like in fucking Power World, I, I only eat berries. <laughs> This diet would make me want to kill myself in real life. I've yeah. never eaten one of my pals. Neither have I. Um, and so, like... But, like, when it comes to, like, real life scenarios, it, it just comes down to, like, how hungry are you? Right? Are you real hungry? <laughs> I know I've been real hungry. I've eaten a cat before. And it's one of those so things that, like, can... once you... Th- there's a certain point, right? When you start to kind of accept the fact that, like, oh, humans are just people. <laughs> And people are just animals. You kind of really get over other it. Animals. You get over it really, really quickly. Like, I I know for an absolute fact I can eat a person without even needing to be all that hungry. And like, if it was like, hey, here's a new restaurant in town. They, op- they opened up. They eat people that have, like, sell... You know, some people, like, sell their bodies to science? Uh, so, like, these people, hmm. uh, like, you know, this restaurant basically makes food with, like, the meat of those people. Right, because like you don't really need the, the meat for science. They, you know, they only need like like the, the fleshy organs, like the heart and the and the other stuff, mm-hmm. right? Like, and so it's just like, well, okay, yeah, I'd try it. Why not? Why did Rosie eat mm-hmm. a cat? I want this story. <laughs> uh, long story short, uh, is uh, he was a shithole, <laughs> and sometimes, sometimes there just isn't enough food to go around. Uh, and so all the str- all the stray cats disappear miraculously, and Abuelita somehow somehow can always seem to procure meat. Who knows mm. where it came from? Mm. <laughs> My God, I just I just always think of that fucking uh, that comic with <laughs> where, where like the the guy is like, man, I'm I so you, hungry. Yeah. <laughs> you, guys are, you guys have seen the comic, right? The one where the guy is like, oh man, I'm so hungry. And then there's the horse in the background. It's, its face turns like ultra realistic and just says, how hungry? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so like, that, that, again, like, that, that's a thing. Like when you're hungry, like it doesn't matter. Uh, I, I, I kind of got over the like, like dude, like I don't, you know, people like freak out like, oh my God, but the animals, they suffer when you kill them. It's like, yeah, but they're dead now. So who cares? Like, yeah. I, dude, I, I, the way I, I learned have... this lesson, uh, when I was really young, I used, to be, I used to love animals. Like, I loved, 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 loved animals, right? And we took a trip, and for context, this is like a multi-hour trip. Like, we're spending, like, f- like mm-hmm. three to five hours in a car, right? And I don't mean, like, a nice mm-hmm. car. I mean, like, a shitty fucking car from, like, the fucking, like, 50s, okay? Like, the 50s, mm-hmm. 60s era, because we don't have any new cars in Cuba. And so we're driving mm-hmm. this shitty car all the way down to the fucking, like, fishing hamlet where my fucking grandma's family lives, right? And her family just mm-hmm. ranching, right? And I yeah. immediately made friends with a duck. Don't ask me how, hmm. but this duck became my friend. It would follow me around, right? And like, it was very cute and I would pet it, right? And I would carry it around mm-hmm. and this duck became my friend. And I was insistent that I get to keep the duck. And they were like, okay, fine, you can take the duck. So we took a duck and we also took a chicken. And we drove <laughs> these all the way back to where my like where like like uh like my like my grandpa's family uh lives which is like closer to like like the the fucking capital it's closer to havana and mm. uh we drove the whole way back right uh once we got there right uh like you know I, the entire time i was the entire five hour drive i was like petting this duck i was i was friends with this duck all right i was i was nuzzling this duck into my cheek okay i was friends with this duck this duck was my homie. Yeah. We got back. Mm-hmm. I put the duck down for not even five minutes. And my uncle was like, all right, sweet. Uh, since Rosa got us some duck, now I know what we're making for dinner. And he grabbed the duck and killed it right in front of me. 
Jesus fucking like you got norbited pretty much. Have you ever saw that fucking movie? I have no idea what that is. Uh, but he uh, like he, he took the duck and he killed her right in front of me. And I cried the entire time until I tasted the duck. Oh. And you're like, huh, Jeffrey tastes pretty good. Yeah. Oh, did you name it? Did you actually name it? I don't remember if I named it. This was like we're uh, talking okay. about something that's more than well, happened like twenty years ago. Uh, well, hey. Rosa, your your friend lives on inside you now. And I just shot him out ages ago. But uh Oh. <laughs> but uh but yeah, like and so like that's kinda what I came to realize. I was like, yeah. I mean, you can like that, that's what I, I I came to understand. Like, people that like farm animals, it's not that they hate the animals, right? Or it's not like, oh my god, like or that they don't care, right? Like these animals, like you you build a bond, right? I feel like humans it's have bacon a natural taste really fucking good. Yeah, like humans have like a natural way of like creating bonds with things, but it's just like you have to kind of accept that it's just the cycle of life. Right? You are predator, mm. they are prey. Right? It can be your friend up until the moment that it's time for you to eat. And it's goodbye, and that's mm. fine. That's just the way it is. Bacon is the only argument you need against vegans. Now when it comes to warfare, I'm the predator. And the people I kill are my prey, so I will eat them. I will eat their corpses oh. and parade their spines across the battlefield with their heads. Because okay. eating brain is bad and right. has prions. Oh. Uh, yeah, no, that's you. Okay, alright, we're done. We're done. Mo next question, for fuck's sake, please. Please uh, go to the next question. Do you understand? Do you stand hours. for freedom and democracy? No, I hate democracy. Most people are fucking dumb. Manage democracy? Maybe. As long as I'm the one managing it. Maybe. There you go. Alright, you have your answer, chat. I, I, I can go for some freedom. Freedom is pretty cool. Alright, next. Jazz! I sent you a link hmm. to a uh, redesign for the Snowflake and Safe Space stuff. Oh, yeah. There was a small yeah, you did. I, I redesigns looked at that. after the shit designs came out. Are they any good? Uh, yeah, I mean, it looks pretty good. Hang on, I'll just, I'll just post a link to, uh, yeah, to the group so you guys can see it, too. It, uh, yeah, I think these are, I mean, I like them better than the originals. Those look fucking They turned sick. him into a pimp. Yeah. <laughs> I did, I did. They gave him a pimp cane and everything. Yeah, he's got a big fucking giant medallion around his neck. He's got a grill, too. That's fucking so sick. fucking funny. Yep. <laughs> so someone in the comments uh, renamed him to Chad Space, and it's like that's great. <laughs> oh, you know. Uh. That's pretty My good. name is a pimp. My name is a pimp named Safe Space. <laughs> it's a bit of a misnomer. <laughs> that was pretty good. That was pretty fucking good. I like that a lot. That was great. <laughs> God. All right. Okay. Yeah, solid though. With that right, chat, we are at the later. end of the questions. Um, oh, is it? We're done. All right. We are. We are, we are done. Yeah, it is late. It's like almost like two yeah. o'clock in the morning. I think this is the Wait, we got it. We got it. We got it. You know what? I'm gonna start like making a mandate for you, Rosa. Like on, only one horrific Cuban childhood story per <laughs> per podcast from now on. Oh. And I fucking cl classically, I fucking broke the TV screen right at the end. That's I was about to Great. say the TV screen lasted the whole way through for the first time ever. <laughs> nope, broke it right at the end by accident. Oopsies. All right, Mizu, Mizu, why don't uh -huh. you remind the people who you are and maybe tell them if you got anything cool coming up that they can they can check out. I'm a fish. I have nothing going on. <laughs> go watch oh. our podcast instead under the yeah, there you go YouTube. watch the, the podcast is something <laughs> you have going on dumbass <laughs> all right when, do, when Look, does i just play stupid happen? games on twitter once a month i like the podcast way more it's much more in my interests in my wheelhouse okay, okay. when, when is funny. the okay. podcast when when and where is the podcast our podcast will be tomorrow uh at what the fuck what is it 11 p.m eastern standard time Eight, it's like 8 Damn. p.m. if you're in California, which is whatever the fuck yeah. is wrong with you guys over there. Uh, actually, I don't know what time it is for y'all, because where I am, we don't have daylight savings time anymore. But, like, most of the states uh, still do, so it sucks to be you guys. It's just about 11 here. I still have in, daylight savings time. In, in Cali. I hate time. We got rid of it, so, like, my time is kind of fucked up a little bit. But oh. it will be uh, under the tea tomorrow. Oka has it in chat. Uh, mm -hmm. Thank you, thank Oka. Thank you. We are probably going to talk about Stone Toss getting doxxed, since a ton of VTubers decided to come out in favor of doxing after it happened. 
the wild including hamburger. everyone's mm. favorite fat annoying fuck face crimbo oh crimbo yeah yeah i'm surprised we haven't seen mm. marina come back in a while uh, yeah exactly going. it's like what the, what, what the fuck happened to her uh she showed up on our podcast lit herself on fire and disappeared after going naked on twitch yeah, that, that oh. pretty much wraps Wait, it up. You, when you say she showed up on your podcast, she showed like, up on like their actual? podcast. Yes, we I were say making she fun of her. We were making fun of her, and somebody linked her to my stream of the podcast because at the time we were doing multiple podcasts, and oh. then she didn't want to talk to me, but she wanted to talk to my co-host, so she reached out to one of my co-hosts and got mm -hmm. onto the podcast through them instead. Uh, oh. And then let themselves on fire. Every time I'd ask them a question, they'd just like try and dodge it, and I'd push them on it, and they wouldn't have a good answer. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't well, know. I I I think some go. of your questions were shit. I'm honest. Uh, he got Grimbo blocked me. He got mad with my facts and logic. Womp womp. At any rate, all right, cool. Uh, Rosa, what you got going on? Uh... <clears throat> I'm gonna be playing. I'm gonna <laughs> uh, as I'm like looking at my fucking uh my fucking calendar. Uh, I'm gonna be playing uh fucking uh what you calls it? Uh, Bloodborne. Two. No, Bloodborne. Damn. One handed. Probably starting tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Uh, besides mm -hmm. that, on Monday next week, I'm gonna be over on Camelot's channel, over on his show. Mm, cool. Man, how come I don't get invited to any other shows? Sad. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. Well, I mean, te one. technically, Akko invited. I think Akko uh, did invite me for Under the Tea at some point. There but, you go. Yeah, there's that. Akko's <laughs> <laughs> like, wait. Um, I thought you showed I up. I invited you. Uh, same Camelot that was weird with. Oh, no, that was when we. we yeah, that one. No. Oh. Mm, I don't know nothing about that. <laughs> he doesn't know that Rosa has completed the Dark Souls arc. God damn it. Yeah, I, I played all of uh, Dark Souls uh, 2 and 3 one-handed with my feet on stream. Camelot, did Camelot fix himself? Well, fuck if I know. I, I've never heard of this guy. Uh, I don't know but, what um, that means. <laughs> I heard he faked the swatting? Shit, Jesus. I, I, I don't know fuck about any of that. What I do know about is my schedule. I've still got one more day of streaming tomorrow. I'll be back with some more Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth in the early time. And then in the evening, I'll be continuing Asta and Pathos training in monster hunting. So please do feel free, feel free to swing by my channel. That is twitch.tv slash digital soul spark to check it out if you would. Uh, and with that, I think we're ready to wrap it up, everybody. So, guys, thank you so much Wait. for coming and hang. Wait, title. Oh, oh, that's true. Title. Uh, let's see. We got, we got, we got a few here. Uh, some, some strong, some not. So first, I had uh, "Welcome to the Trap House," which was in reference to Lies of P. Okay. Uh, there's phys physical reality is not safe from AI in reference to the the fucking costume designers who are getting ready to go on strike. Uh, I also had dicks out for costume designers, you know, because because uh, was his face came out naked. So <laughs> I thought that was kind of fun. Uh, there's Prima Nocta Kiwami, which might be a little too highbrow what, for the title, I think. What, what was the first one again? Uh, Welcome to the Trap House. Yeah. Oh, are you putting all these on? Or no, are you just going to choose I, the ones the you one like the most? Like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add to the, to the pool. Oh, you like that one? Okay. Uh, so yeah, Prima Nocta Kiwami. After that was uh, Shabriri Coded CEO. For, of course, the CEO of Sweet Baby Inc. Okay. Uh, there's Covenant of the Dark Participators, which <laughs> I need you to put that one in. <laughs> Please. Uh, I got the, from, from Mizu's story earlier, I got the Indian Lotto Scratcher. That's pretty good. Uh, from the D&D &D thing we were talking about, we got, uh, the Indian Lotto Scratcher. No, no, fuck. The, uh, Tyranny of the Stairmaster. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> <it's just so> <laughs> <funny>. <laughs> uh, we got we got the TikTok riots of 24, which is say current year. Uh, you know what? I, I I had Rise of the N Walker, but I like Snake Dudes better. I like N Walker Origins. That one's really good. <laughs> uh, 
uh, we got we got the Brazilian urge to commit eugenics. <laughs> There's and no then way lastly... we're putting eugenics in the fucking title. <laughs> I'm telling you that right now. And then, and then last, and then the last one uh, is also uh, thanks to to Mizu, nationalism buff OP. Yep, it's good. It's all... Pretty good. Uh, so my, uh, out of all, all those, my all four favorites were Ed Walker Origins, <laughs> Covenant of the Dark Participators, Indian Lotto Scratcher, <laughs> and Tyranny of the Stairmaster. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put a poll. Well, let's chat decide between those four. Okay. Uh, uh, nationalism you, buff didn't make it this time. You, you guys can keep talking to chat while I pee. Okay. And uh, while they vote. I, I have a guess, though. I think it's gonna be the fucking N Walker. Yeah, I think uh, right after we had the fucking Chronicles of, of, of Cracker Jack is the last title. <laughs> Covenant of the Dark Participators is pretty strong, though. I think I think I put my vote on that one. That's where I put my vote. Uh... <laughs> Uh, no, Ed Walker Origins is still too strong. I don't know what, it's going half and half. It's, they're 50-50. We're on the fence. Remember to vote, chat. We need votes. to. Right now it's tied. We need we need tiebreaker votes. <laughs> Come on, chat, please. Only six of you have voted. There's like, th there's 28 of you here. I know some of you are lurkers, but... Keep it tied, oh, chat. Do okay, it. And, and, Walker, and Walker Origins is pulling ahead. Come on, chat. Keep the tie going. <laughs> oh, oh, and what? Oh, oh. 50-50, oh, chat. 50-50. Nah, and Walker Origins is too strong a lead at this point. I believe in you, chat. Come on, bring it dark, back. Dark participators would need like like three or four more votes to tie it back up. I don't know if they can. I don't know if they can pull it out. I think. I think I it's over. In you, chat. Do it for I think your the fish. N, I think the N Walker has defeated the dark participator. Do it for him. <laughs> oh, Do I still have my do it for him meme image? <laughs> Where I put Ed it? Walker, Ed Walker is so strong. Oh my god, it's so good. <laughs> I'm gonna make a fucking tweet about this. <laughs> After the podcast, I'm definitely making a fucking tweet about about Ed Walker. It's my new title. The end is too strong. <laughs> oh fuck. Ah. Uh. Oh yeah, also I get put um in the chat the Marina episode. It was our first episode. Oh, was that your first episode? Holy shit, that's that's quite yeah, an opening. Uh, that's quite I, a strong I don't know start how there. it happened. Ah, uh, damn. It just kinda it kinda blew up out of nowhere. How many Come minutes back. did she put the how many minutes did you put the fucking uh thing? How up many for? times do I have to explain this to you, old man? There's no fucking time limit for the fucking YouTube QA. I can have it running all stream if I wanted to. Not Q and A though, the the fucking the the poll. Same for the Q and A. Oh, okay. Running all so how do we how do we decide when it ends? I hit the poll. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that that'll be it then. I'm, yeah, and yep. Walker and Origins. And Walker Origins with sixty nine percent. Daz, you could change your X name to N Walker. That is true. I could. But I need I need to keep brand consistency going. Just, just put Anna Walker into your fucking. She tried like, to find like, to friend Lumi and I, and tried to get between Mizu and us. Oh, well, I can, I can, I can imagine how that worked out. Yeah, I think she <laughs> forgot I was in the group chat with both of them because she would constantly say stuff like, "You guys don't understand how like dishonest and gaslighting Mizu is. He's twisting your poor little mind." Oh Says my god! You know I'm in the, the, the... Says the yeah, fucking exactly. snake. Like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I just, I'm just like, ima like, imagine trying to twist Lumi of all people, because Lumi's like worse than Rosa sometimes. Like she, she'll, she'll throw out some faggots and some retards and all that shit. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> Lumi's pretty fucking corrupted in her own right. Let's be real here. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, funny because I think a lot of people don't realize that between the three of us, I'm the nice one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm always the one be, like Lumi Oko, so we nice need one. to rein it in a little bit. Let's be nicer to people. <laughs> I don't, I've, I've never seen Oko be that bad. All right. Uh, I, I can hang around you guys more. I get the get the Mizu is nice and I scream. <laughs> ah, well, at any rate, that right, is chat. now the actual wrap of the show, guys. Yep, yep. Any, uh, any last words? I say they pull out a gun. Uh. <laughs> 
<laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, no, I mean, just the usual. Make sure you guys are taking care of yourselves. Thank you guys so much for watching. Mizu, thank you for being our guest uh, tonight. It was a lot of fun to have you. Traps are gay. Traps ain't mm. gay! Yes. They are gay, and you're gay Traps if you are not trapped. gay! No! And embrace Wrong. your sexuality. No! <laughs> All right, everybody. We're wrapping it up Actually, there. Actually, we're for this. We'll see you... We're gonna, we'll see you all next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, and, uh, yeah, have a good night. Bye. Don't forget to go Bye. fuck yourselves. Adios. <laughs> Me when I put in the wrong fucking uh, outro. Hehe. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh. Love you, chat. Bye. They can't hear you. <laughs> I have all the power here. I'm the master of the outro screen.